Oh, staplers again? Oh, no, I need to get rid of that. I was just thinking people who are watching this video, you know, going, what is this social trivia by Susan? What, what is this thing? People keep telling me they're having such a good time and, and I should come and play this game. And here's the video they're watching. All of a sudden, it's me asking you why you have a stapler in your background again. <laughs> and there's Carolyn with a kitty. That might be why they would want to providing an answer for them. <laughs> this is the only reason you tune in is to watch Carolyn's kitties because they are so absolutely freaking adorable. Aren't they? Yes. Well, tomorrow is their birthday. They're going to be a year old tomorrow. And so they had their, they went to the vet today. So they got rabies updates. And Ooh. one of them has to lose weight. And uh, yeah, so it's kind of hard because they're brother and sister. So one's overweight and one's not. So I don't know how that's going to work. But. <laughs> How are you gonna do it I, I have an overweight kitty i keep thinking i'm gonna take her and run around the house you know like give her some exercise we're gonna run and chase her and we do i mean they they play they are they do. Act, they're they are active little kitties um oh, thank you, dear. Thank you, I, don't, kitty. I, don't, I don't know how you get one cat to eat less that's the problem and, unless yeah. you lock them in separate rooms and feed them yeah well, they have and, those feeders you'd have to get a feeder like i have you know the well, unless you have a, it's, unless it's, you have a works, feeder that that only lets one cat eat because it has an electronic matching it, tag. Yeah, yeah, that's what I that's what I have for my for my back door. It's a, it's a right. it's a door, and then you put the you do the same thing, but put it on a you know like a box or something, and then they could go they, in they there. They have the feeders food. like that, but they're actually pretty expensive. Yeah. Okay. Well, well all I'm right. Hoping, Nobody said it was a cheap. <laughs> I'm hoping that. We're switching them to adult food. I mean, gradually. I know we're not doing it overnight. We're. I'm hoping because the adult food has less calories and fat. You know, That's and the fact that she doesn't like wet food. So what? Um, Jack what? Likes, Are you sure it's a cat? Yeah, <laughs> he likes the wet food. Candy likes the wet food. Ginger's like, no, don't like it. So wow, that's I've never heard of that before. My well, cat's a kill for wet food. She's different, so. <laughs> She's my different child. Now, there's a beautiful black kitty. Oh, yeah. My cat, I have one cat that will not eat people food. Well, well not to eat people. I don't let them have people food. Well. And then the other gross. thing, too, is they've got gingivitis. They're only a year old. I well, more, more, shouldn't you just use more dry food, right? And that shouldn't help? Yeah, I'm, I'm hoping, because they also have tartar control, um, treats so i don't know so i'm gonna buy kitty cat toothbrushes and see if i keep my fingers and then if that yeah. helps yeah good luck trying to brush your teeth yeah i know i gave up on that, <laughs> I gave up on that really quickly <laughs> i could do that with pepper who i lost last year but she was really good i could do pretty much anything to pepper but um Ooh. she was a good girl because she's a pepper not a pepper no wouldn't you like, to be, like to be a pepper too that's why I, I lost her um and she was my little ray of sunshine and so i got these two to because candy was depressed because she lost her sister so yeah because she was an older cat they said get a kitten and i'm like uh, i don't want to do that but i got two just in case she didn't like the kitten and then they still had each other and did they get along um did it work in there the brother and sister, oh yeah, they're a bonded pair. They love each other. But um, he tries. He keeps following Candy around, going, "Be my friend. Come on, be my friend." <laughs> so eventually, you know, she she doesn't hiss and growl as much anymore. And every once in a while, we find them chasing each other. So everyone, oh, that's sweet. I think if it's good yeah. kind of chasing, yeah. So uh, Kyle, I just used a video of you yesterday. Oh yeah. Did you did you uh, feel your ears burning? Not <gasps> just yet. Oh. Maybe there's a time delay. <laughs> it's a day. I did it yesterday at four o'clock. Well, that so. answers the question: Who Zone Giggler is? Well, that's oh. obvious. <laughs> but um, so I I did a webinar with CFI, and we're doing one every month on like how to get the gang back together again, and nice. the the topic was like creating 
a good virtual space, you know, virtual hybrid events, how to have good videos. So I had to use examples of bad videos. And it was just me showing clips of like 30 seconds of different bad videos. And I pulled up the video of you and Rob, and it was the good video I used. It was like, see how Rob has used the background of, he puts like Skeptical Inquirer. I use the video that of you two talking and has Skeptical Inquirer behind him. And it looks so nice and neat how to get rid of the zone, you know, the background and stuff. And then it's, and then there's Kyle. And I said, and there's Kyle. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't say anything bad. I just said, I said, you could tell he's, a, he's got like the things in the back for recording in your studio, like you record. And I said, and it looked, it's not, it's not like a, a, he doesn't have it. I think I said, you don't have an interior designer in your background, but it's neat. <laughs> There's nothing bad. There's no distractions. It's just a background, nothing bad. And so I use that excuse. And that excuse I used you guys yesterday. So you didn't hear me talking about you. I'm All so right. Sad. The videos Speaking are of things in your background. Are those fresh flowers from your garden? Yes, they are. And they smell wonderful. This on this side, Zeke, it's so funny because you know what that is? I know you can't see it probably really good, but I just picked it the other day and he said, this works out really well. Anybody want to make a guess before I tell you what it is? I see California poppies. I see poppies. Oh yeah, there's poppies. And those and there's free shells. crinkly ones. There's free shells and there are there Johnny, are... Johnny Jeff Pumps. No, they're too small to see, but I have a lot of Johnny. These are- Are they like, are there like wild radishes or something? No, no. that's a good guess. <laughs> These are peas, sweet uh, oh. uh, peas, like mark the ones that were on my driveway. But on this side, let me get them. Where's uh, Naomi? You know, when you let um, like you onions, and onions and carrots go to seed, they're just like Queen Anne's lace. Yeah, well, pretty. that's what this is. This is this is broccoli that's gone to seed. Nice. Oh, yeah. Funny. <laughs> I said I want something tall. So I cut these and they, they, they worked out really well. So there's it poppy. smells better than onions that go to seed. <laughs> and I, yeah, I'm trying to, have to let, these, I can't remember what these are called. These are um those little tiny daisy things. I forgot what they're called, but yeah. we have a bunch of them. They're, everything, these are all, almost all just like wild, not wild, but volunteers and plant them mm -hmm. or anything like that. But yeah, they're all from the garden. My backyard is just in massive bloom right now. It's so darn pretty out there. So yeah. crazy, but you know, what are you gonna do? So Nicholas here, Bob's here. Hello, Bob. I got a cute wildlife or wildflower, California wildflower seed thing from David Diskin for Free Thought Day. Oh, so is that right? California and it says California Free Thought, but it's got seeds in it. Why oh, we got that last year, didn't we? But we didn't, I mean, when we went, right? And I probably have that put somewhere. I don't know where I have it now, but Naomi's gone. She's in the yeah. other room. Poor Naomi. Yeah. I had to get rid of her because I got so many comments from about on my psychic explained uh, videos. People are saying that that's just creepy and it's scary. And, and, you know, you're, you're, <laughs> I just got tired of it. I said, all right, I guess I could get rid of her. Oh, so Mark took her in the other her. room. We're going to miss her. I know I'm going to miss her too, but this, at least for now, I have, I have flowers and I have a chicken I was going to put back there, but I decided not to. He doesn't quite look, Edgar, I love you, but you just don't look as good <laughs> on the video. He just doesn't, <laughs> I don't know. He, he sat back there and he kind of looks strange, but, but get one of know. those metal, get one of those metal roosters. You ever seen those? A metal rooster? Yeah, they're made of. Of sheet metal and they're painted you know the appropriate colors i've got i've actually got three of them i think you have real chickens yeah but i have chicken decor upstairs too. thinking metal <laughs> chickens with tattoos and gu guitars and stuff sorry i've got all sorts of stuff that i don't want to buy anything i've got i've got elron hubbard over there and i've got a skull i've got real cats I've got my awards. I've got all kinds of stuff. I don't know. I just was trying to grab stuff. The, right now, flowers are blooming. I'm going to go with the flowers. Hi, Leonard. Hey, hey Leonard. Mr. Tramiel. Greetings, oh. greetings. I used you so, in my video yesterday, too. Ha! You, you did what? 
you were used in my video yesterday. I did a, a CFI uh -huh, webinar <laughs> and I was showing clips of bad videos. And you oh. and you were at one of my events and we were and, talking. And I did something bad. No, 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 no. It was <laughs> it was the because the clips were only like 15 seconds long. And the clip I used is the one you did at Monterey County Skeptics Skeptic Camp. But you had said to me right before we went on, I want to sit down during the presentation. And I right. said, okay, that's fine. But what the clip was is that we didn't adjust the camera for somebody sitting down. We had it adjusted for somebody standing up. And so I, the, what I was trying, what Eric and I were trying to do is we were trying to say, have conversations with people ahead of time uh, because you need to adjust, you may need to adjust your cameras and so on, because that's going to affect the, the quality of the video you're creating. It's not going to affect anybody in the room, but the, the video you're filming, because you're supposed to be creating content for people who want to see it later. And you, right. and if we had adjusted the video, it would have looked better than the way we had it set for somebody standing. There was nothing wrong, but we, it led to this discussion of how to, um, Make sure you communicate with your speaker way ahead of time because they may have accessibility accessibility issues, you know, and you don't want to be surprised. You don't want to be like, oh, you're in a wheelchair and you can't get on our stage. Oh, uh, <laughs> you don't want to have those things happen. You want to ask them these questions. Can you get up on the stage? Can, uh, you know, should we have a different venue for you? Should we do it differently? Or, you know, right. all those things need to so, be discussed. So, you, you know, I did have a good excuse. Hip replacement? Exactly. Well, yeah, but it wasn't it wasn't really how do I say it? It wasn't important what it was. It was just that yeah, and the I mistake you changed it was yours. Yeah, it was all my end. It was like I should have known and adjusted the camera because when people stood up in your performance to move around or whatever, because of the angle that we had it. They were, right. it was more the back of the people's heads. It was like their heads were like this. Right. Instead, if we had the camera at an angle, then it would, wouldn't have been quite the, anyway. Did it you was have a good turnout? Huh? Did you have a good turnout? No. Hmm. But we're advertising it for organizers events like Romero, you know, his group. Hi, Romero. So people who are running groups, it was, it's really advertised to people who are in groups who are putting together events and, and it'll be online and and it should be available for anybody who's going to be doing groups in the future. It's just kind of like all the every month we're having these that are discussing how small groups should organize, maybe um, how could you get it back together again? How can you advertise your talks? Eventually we're going to talk about Skepticamp, but not for a while because uh, we haven't even got people meeting mm -hmm. in public half the time how to create a good youtube channel mm -hmm. um how to how to really use your meetup.com account well um should you charge money to go to an event should you should you have membership fees um how to photograph for events how to um what do you do when people are attendees that are disruptive mm. um Group ideas like solstice party, pie day, all that stuff. So, so we're going to do a whole range every month. We're going to be doing do a different one. We're going to do one on PsyCon. Best practices, you know, uh, people who are attending, what you should make sure you should know for your first time. And then we're also going to do one even earlier. Like, oh, if you can't get to PsyCon, then maybe you should within your group you should raise money for one or two people who can go. You know, mm -hmm. have time off from work or whatever. And, and fund them to go. So you have a representative to go. So we're going to really push PsyCon. Nice. All those things. It's, it's going to be fun. Speaking of PsyCon, I interviewed Abhijit this morning. And for what? That, oh, I had some interesting stuff happen on the cruise and it was all about Ayurvedic. Stuff. Oh, so you interviewed him for the skeptic zone? Mm -hmm, yeah. And, but it was, it was so fun to just talk he and I together because we met on the very first day of Skepticon 2018 at your workshop, yours and Mark's workshop. And we both sat at the very front of the class. I was just new in training. So I didn't Still not even finish training. Yeah. Oh yeah. No, I was, I wasn't finished. I was a ways away if we could have known 
and looked into the future. I was always away from finishing, but we just struck up a conversation and we've been fast friends ever since. And it's so cool. And look I, at where we are now, yeah. right? I mean, You're getting people from all over the world to, to come together. You got six yeah. or seven, seven, 800, maybe a thousand people this year. Yeah. That's he, where I, you're I'm choosing. Just a great guy. He's so and, and the guy. people you're going to meet, it's just a yeah. freaking amazing. So why would people want to go somewhere else besides yeah. the Psycon and they'd go somewhere else and pay a fortune to hang out with other people. But anyway, Romero, hello. Nice to see you. Did everything hey, okay over there? Yeah. Yep. Right. Am I still giving a talk to you guys or do we put that off? Uh. <laughs> okay, I'll let you check into that. Hi, Ron. How are you? Good. How are you doing? I'm doing great. What do you think I mean, about think Kip and Kip and Tiffany? You're welcome. I'm waiting. I'm waiting. Well, Romero? I think you're welcome to give a talk anytime you want. <laughs> well, I wasn't sure if I was actually. I think I have it written down. I don't know if I'm actually doing it. I'll, I'll, I'll see. Yeah, you're Ron. Not, you're not coming down uh, physically, no. right? You're, okay. They won't They won't pay for it. But I am going up to Sacramento, and I'm going to go to the Bay Area. So, but we might be able to get somebody to you faster, Romero. Yeah, they won't let Susan on the East Coast. I know. They just, if I was doing something for GSOW, Next. then i could see paying for it but if i'm not if i'm doing like workshops that are cfi related then they should pay for it but they don't want to pay for it they say that it's kind of expensive right now so but they'll pay for sacramento and they'll pay for the barrier so that's cool i think i forgot something tonight oh yeah Being recorded what was it? No, no, that's not. I always know that we're being recorded. <laughs> You're always being recorded. Um, and I'm and I'm and I'm funneling it, this all off to the Discord channels. <laughs> yeah. Was it uh, trivia questions? Oh yeah. Did you did you forget tonight's trivia? No, I did. He just no. shows up. Oh, okay. That's good. I got them. Hi, Troy. How are you? Done. <laughs> Troy, I have you listed third, right in the middle. Oh, and got a category today. So and I won't be staying because my head's being stupid today, and so I'm feeling very tired. I'm still trying to recover from that long flight. I think. Oh, uh, <laughs> any, uh, anybody could use that excuse any week. Oh, uh, <laughs> yeah. Are your arms? Arm. Are your arms okay, Adrian? <laughs> They're kind of tired. It's a yeah, long way to fly. Long, from the long, long flight. flight. Long flight, yeah. Hi, Jane. But yeah, so I, I'm just coming in to say hi to everybody, and then I'm going to head out probably in about 15 minutes. Are you going to make like a baby and head out? Oh, God, those were so old, Susan. That is sick. I, I just told it to Caspian and Jamie were here. They were just sitting here, and they said, okay, we're heading out now. And I said, are you going to make like a baby and head out? And they just grow. make like a tree and leave. I said, I've, had, I've said that for that's, years. That's a, that's a Vincent joke. Yeah. yeah. Make like Bobby. That's my joke. I'm out. sorry. I've been saying that for years. And there's probably recording. Okay. Speakers, and Vincent doesn't get yeah. it. <laughs> no, I'm too young for that. <laughs> you know, Jane I'm looks sorry. like, it just looks like she's at Hobbiton or something. You know, it's so beautiful. You know what actually it looks like? I stayed in a hotel. I stayed in a, um, a converted, not a, uh, one of those historic homes like thing in Wales. And it was looks just like what she's doing, except we had a nice tea tray in the middle between us. And we had two big chairs that pointed looking out the window and the window was bigger, but it looked, it just looks that whole look there is so pretty. Well, I used to change my background every week, but I've had this one for several weeks and I just like it so much. I'm just keeping it. In here, we thought it was really your house. <laughs> well, it's it's the me I would like to be. <laughs> well, you can make that happen, Jane. That is your purpose in life. Yeah, I will. I, will. I feel funny about having my back to a window, though. I love when I'm sitting in my classroom with my background, like my normal, like real life classroom and my house background, but it's disruptive to my family. So I don't do calls there on Thursdays. So I really should just take a picture of it and make it my virtual. Oh, that's background. great. Oh, that's a good idea. Hmm. I'm, sitting on, I'm, I'm sitting on my background. So Adrian, sitting on your background. 
the, How are you doing over there, Alan? <laughs> the, over doing, the, hey, uh, we're going to see we're going to see the child next uh, next Wednesday. Which one? You've got two. The one in Germany. Uh, I want to see Avi. We're going. How far? Where are you going to? Are you going all the way over to China? That's well, what he's Germany. So that would be the dirt. We're digging in the dirt. Uh, and <laughs> and they, no, we're going to. Uh, he's not in China. He's in uh, Germany. Well, Ron just said China. I never said China. He's the uncle. He should know he this stuff. Know anything. He's in Leipzig. No. We're going to Leipzig. I swear he said China. We're going oh, to Leipzig. We're, we're, going to, we're going to go to Leipzig, spend a few days there. Then we're heading down to um, Florence and Venice. Hmm. Hey, make sure you let us know what if Venice is doing much better. Because I heard it was doing really a lot better. They got some floodgates or something i don't care as long as there's a boat i don't, I don't care <laughs> have you been don't there before any, don't take any not, pictures no, of not, the statues. Not, not that part of italy no don't take any pictures of the statues in florence or we'll have to oh, we're bringing along a fig leaf <laughs> okay <laughs> oh hmm. that is wonderful that's so good that you're getting out and doing that you tell Avi, give give avi a big fat wet kiss from us i will do that I'm sure he'll appreciate it. Oh yeah. You take, are you taking Sarah with you or just the two of you? No, 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 just two of us. Okay. Sarah's, Sarah's in, uh, leading her own life Sarah's, now. Uh, Sarah's out by these guys. She, she's yeah, out. Yeah. Hmm. That's so cool. But uh, he'll be. They'll both be. They'll both be in at the end of May. So, um, hopefully, Avi will be in and be able to attend at least one trivia night. Are you eating licorice? Is it licorice? Oh, it's red. Twiz no, Twiz no. I know it's not licorice. It's Twizzlers. Oh. I'm eating black jelly beans, which is why my mouth is black. I just threw away a whole bunch of black jelly beans. They make me sick. <laughs> I cannot eat those. I, 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 I've been buying jelly beans. I'm, I'm really into a jelly bean phase right now. I still like milk duds, but they're gone. Mm -hmm. So I'm eating jelly beans. And black? I love black I like jelly all beans. of them. You too. I'll yeah. yeah. melt them to you guys. Yeah. Thursday, yeah. Thursday night trivia is my uh, eating trash night. So I, I just, I, just, <laughs> I, just, I, I, I wish it was. I wish it was my. I only had one night. I did it, but I got up this morning. Yeah. Hey, have you guys found the uh, podcast? Mix. What is it? Trail mix. Oh, that's at least no, there's no, some no. nuts in there. Have you Both. guys heard the Richard Weissman podcast? That's out. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh my god, that's so good. A really good podcast. I listened to his motivation one yesterday. I was out in the garden, and I and I said, "All right, that's it." I got up this morning. He he says in the thing in the video in the podcast, start off right in the morning with the first thing. Get it out of the way. Don't rely on your willpower. Just do it, even if you just start. Doesn't matter if you finish or if you do well or anything like. Just do it. I got up in the morning and I went for a walk. First, I pulled out my jumping rope. And I thought, I used to be able to do 100, boop, 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 you know, 100. And I thought I might be able to do five. But I got and I did it. I did 32 without stopping. And then I went for a walk. It was very short because I'm really out of shape. And I came home and I watered the backyard. And then I did jump rope again. I did 32 again. I was like, wow, I can do 32 jump ropes. That uh, While you're doing them, you're okay. As soon as you put down the jump rope and you stop, you think you're going to die. <laughs> <laughs> it's awful oh my god it's that's awful a lot. that's a lot 32 well you go yeah. fast but you're, as you're doing it it doesn't hurt it's amazing it's, it's like giving birth you know <laughs> it's awful that hurt oh yeah <laughs> jamie how you doing over I'm there busy. are we still alive on friday <clears throat> yeah. the world didn't the, implode it is but the, the weather is really bad here though oh it's, we're expecting bad weather tomorrow well, you know, it's, it's sunny, but a big, um, dirty air mass from Bangladesh came over our area. A what? The polluted air mass from Bangladesh. It, it Is that a over. thing? Yeah. Really? I've never heard of that. Yeah, it's a thing. It, there's a big yeah. air mass. Um, Delhi, you know, India is one of the most polluted countries in the world, but a big polluted air mass came over our area a couple of days ago and it's stuck on top of us. First time in like 30 years. So um, so it's all smoky outside. So I have to stay indoors, careful with the air purifiers. 
Oh, so, wow. I, I don't think I've ever heard of it. Well, I mean, I've heard of like when we had wildfires and stuff like that. Yeah, no, this is this has never happened or since I've never heard of it. Yeah, this just happens. Something new. It's global warming. Oh, lovely. Just, oh, it's all smoky and gross outside today. Ooh, no fun. We have wouldn't, that be like, wouldn't that be like so, Los Angeles smog days where the it looks it, it looks like it looks like LA in the 1960s. Oh, yeah, yeah, I don't think they still have a problem in LA like they did, do they? Not oh no, too LA. bad. No, not the same. Not not the same, but imagine you know the smog in the 1960s in LA. That's what it looks like outside today. I just picture a dragon smog. I <laughs> Yes. I went to um, the Olympics in 1984, so I'm going to bust your 1960s thing. And we were sitting in the stands at Santa Anita Racetrack, and there's all these people from different countries around me. So we're all chatting. Where are you from? Where are you from? They ask me, and I go right over. Well, there's a mountain over there a minute ago. <laughs> it's like two miles away, and we couldn't see it. That's it's how bad it is. It makes your eyes sting. Exactly. Oh, wow. I, yeah, I I didn't really go to LA until I met Mark. And it, that was it hasn't time. it hasn't been like that in a couple of decades. It's been a long, long time. Wow. In the sixties and seventies, but that's what it's like. We can't see any hills. We can't see the ocean. About a mile from our house, it's all opaque. Mm -hmm. Hi, Brandy. So, Hello. Um, I How can't. See, I can't see the ocean Good. from here either. Oh, I can't <laughs> see the ocean. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> How's everything in Vegas? Uh, good we actually got some warm weather finally isn't that something that like happens all year round and you don't it's always two non-natives yeah <laughs> did you just go to a big concert or something well oh it wasn't oh well, i guess there was a concert but i wasn't actually paying attention to that um it was this place called the huntridge out here um it's an old theater and they used to have uh punk shows and i basically lived there when i was a teenager i was there every weekend just about and so it's definitely a special place to me and it's been shuttered for like 20 years and they're finally um remodeling it and trying to get it uh reopened and they're gonna do punk shows they're gonna have um the uh, Soho Playhouse is going to have some theater productions and things like that there. And so I'm really excited for it. And they, on Friday, they had a thing where they uh, lit, relit the sign for the Huntridge. So. Oh, is that what that was all about? Yeah. Okay. I saw that and I said, oh, she's going to some concert over there that she's all excited about. It was, it was crazy. the building so, opening again. Part of yeah. your childhood, your teenage they, years. Yes, they had photos of some of the concerts that were there and were like, we were there at that one because I went there with my best friend um, from that time, too. So it was her and I were there like every weekend together. Did you go you and your best friend went to this thing? Yes. Oh, how cool. Do you feel OK? Do you feel older when you did that or do you feel like you like you felt young again? I felt young again, honestly. It felt like coming home. It, it, that's what it, it felt like walking back into that place. It was so crazy. I couldn't believe how like emotional I got. <laughs> Honestly, it was kind of crazy. They even had pictures from um, desert shows that they had out here that we had gone to. And um, so that was really interesting to see. I, I couldn't believe that they actually had some shows from the caves. That was so cool. That is really nice. Vegas is a nice place when you're not necessarily in the Elmo, <laughs> Elmo and Spider-Man inflicted places. Yeah. <laughs> I, I tell you, Janine's here. Hi, Janine. Hi. Have you counted your chickens today? I've been clearing brush. I just came in. I'm trying to get the blackberries out of my hair and hoping to get poison elk off me oh i'm looking forward to coming up there again i hear you're gonna have kenny biddle there and now i'm now i'm so jealous i'm thinking i might go up there yeah we might that we might do something later i think you should do another little yeah. conference thing uh well i'm i am i'm doing a wedding i'm sorry oh no 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 it, not, uh, i'm talking about when kenny's there oh when kenny's there yeah and I, you could I, do a little you could do another little skeptic camp 
You're so good uh, at it. You've already got the venue. You've already yeah. got the helpers. Look, Jane's right here. She's got her hand up volunteering. Well, she's yeah. she's got the screen off, but I know she's volunteering right now. Oh, she is helpful. She is helpful. Yeah. So I know Jane. Uh, yeah, we you. we we will only do that on uh, even number years at the at the most, and. Uh, yeah, but we're doing a total eclipse. What did, what's your, Is we're doing it a that total again. eclipse of the heart? Ah. Uh, I just had to do it. I, I felt that one coming. <laughs> that, that's good. Around, is, we, ha we have another Jane here. We have Jane from California who's been off singing her little heart out, speaking of hearts. Is that true, Jane? That's true. She's been ah, with the frogs out in her little pond out in front of her little place. Who sang that song originally? Frogs? <laughs> frogs. Total Eclipse of the Heart. Bonnie, Bonnie Tyler. The heart? Bonnie, Bonnie Tyler. 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 Yeah. She's Ooh. Canadian. She's Canadian, eh? <laughs> mm -hmm. okay, sister, I got to fix Jane's name here. Okay. Jane in California. Oh, my gosh, you guys. We need more Janes. I think we should have five or six more of them, and that will really fix that. Jane fix. in Massachusetts, too. She's Where? On the couch playing my wife. <gasps> Seriously? Yeah. We've got three Janes here. That's pretty cool. She's listening. She's not sure if she's going to play or not. She's hi, listening. Jane from from Massachusetts. That's yeah, really hi. cool. We've got three Janes here. I think we should put them all on one team together. Tell her to get on a different screen, and she could play like with all the rest of us. Yeah, but she had to be different. She spells it J-A-Y-N-E. Oh. Well, oh. That's... <laughs> like snobby. Jane Bob and they, got, they got all snobby. They're like, well, fine. It's like Brian with a Y or something. They get all upset. No, it's like that. Jane Mansfield that her father loved. Oh. Okay, that makes sense. All right. I saw Cindy last night. I had pizza with her last night. Hi, Cindy. <clears throat> Just went blank. Hi, Susan. We we, we just yeah. had pizza together last night. It was yeah, was, and we talked about Ted Lasso, which Susan hates. Hey, hey, show of hands. <laughs> Who has watched Ted Lasso? Loved it. Actually, I watched a cup uh, episode tonight, okay. and you guys liked it. <laughs> liked it. Was it. Hilarious. I like well, the first Ted two Lasso seasons. Ted Lasso is a Pollyannish. Even the yeah, second I, season, I, Leonard. I I, I like the first two seasons. The current one has gotten too bizarre. I haven't seen the current one yet. I didn't like the season two. I got like four episodes into it and just quit. Yeah, it's it's been going steadily downhill. The it first was, season was it brilliant. was so it was so good the first yeah. season yeah. that it could have gotten a lot really worse good. and still be worth watching. Mm -hmm. um, oh, so good. This one is yeah. Uh, how about how about Perry Mason? Cindy and I were really having a long conversation about the new Perry Mason. Carl, of course, would like that. season one was <laughs> great. I haven't gotten to season two yet. <laughs> have, have not seen any Perry Masons I except for the ones the in the Perry. previous millennium. Yeah, I like I like the new one. I think I like the darkness. It's very dark. Yes, yeah, yes. I agree with you, Peggy. That's what yeah. I tell Susan. I like the new one. Yeah, yeah. I liked a lot yeah, of it, but I didn't is... like all of it. It just felt like they were trying to titillize you with really a lot of violence that didn't need to be there where they showed it and the sex too much of that and the swearing it was so where's, too the, where's much. the bad parts <laughs> susan it's on hbo come on no it just yeah. felt like they were trying like when okay and, and i told the formula this, for hbo though i told this to cindy last night there's a scene in the first season of the perry mason <laughs> where they go into a house and there's a and and the cops are there and there's a little old lady that's left her in her house and she dies in her house and the cat eats her face and then they find the cat dead and that had nothing to do with the show yeah but I see, I why did that you that include one. that bit in there unless you were trying to gross out your audience yeah but i don't remember that one but it's been a year since i've seen the first right. do you guys remember that do you it's remember that ago. i don't remember it I don't I remember, remember it either. I, Somebody I, I else think, has to I verify think, she, it. I think she, she, Susan's she, making she it up. I don't remember that either. It was a dream Susan had about her own cats. Yeah. <laughs> that, that lady should have bought makeup that was tested on animals. 
Yeah. <laughs> you guys, I swear it happened. Randy, Randy, you know you have a category tonight, right? Yeah, we we believe you, Susan. Sure. Yeah, can I go first? Yeah, I can make you first. Okay. But I've got to rearrange a room. Hold on. <laughs> I'm not gonna do that. Okay, so you're trading with this person. Or right now that person's gonna be fourth. Let me just change it here. So I got interviewed for a podcast. Oh, is that right? Which one? Um, Hansel Minutes. Oh yeah. What? <clears throat> Hanselman's yep. podcast. Scott Hanselman's podcast. What is that? Um, it's a very geeky, nerdy tech thing. Um, and and he's he's a uh, a big <laughs> vintage Commodore sixty four enthusiast. So uh, he wanted to talk to me, and uh, I did. Oh, that's wonderful! Did you get to get no. any skepticism, or did you just talk about nerdy things? I I, I got some uh, some some skepticism in there because we like it whenever we could kind of bleed into a community it wouldn't normally. Yep. Yeah. And I see Mono. Hello, Mono. Mono's here. Yay. Hello, Mono. Yay. It doesn't surprise me you guys to bring a Mono in here. Hi. Mono Hi. rules. He did. <laughs> he didn't know he was going to be here tonight. I just automatically just <clears throat> picked him out of the the atmosphere and put him in. That's just the powers I have on Zoom. Yeah. That's I'm how impressed. it is. Hi. How you doing, Mono? I'm doing fine, thank you. Good. Good to see you. I was explaining that my uh, and my daughter is here. I, I then is her name Jane. No, no, oh, no, she's not on the call. But when she visits me, I tend to spend time with her rather than uh, on Thursday evenings, rather than join the skeptics group. So, oh, yeah. Well, she can uh, Jane. Her name is Jane, all right? Jane. <laughs> I don't, there's obviously some joke here about Jano that yes, I'm not. Yes, that's an inside joke that's been yeah. going around. Uh, it's been going around for about five minutes now. We have we have three Janes. You got oh. You got to show up early to get all the. So what you hate to watch the video. So I'm seeing you guys is renaming yourselves to Jane, which is funny. I didn't. Or not Jane. Or, or not, not Jane. Jane. Not Jane. Oh, that's pretty cute. You guys are hilarious. Now, are you? Okay, I'm using my Jane? psychic powers to figure out what I think the theme is going to be tonight for the for the categories. Most people are going to come up with, and I'm cracking up already. Okay, so give me your best, but try to keep them current, which is even better. <clears throat> Names for the for the teams. Yeah, with the yeah. teams. What else? Well, you said categories. Categories. Name for yeah. the categories. Oh, I'm sorry for the for the. You know what I mean. God, we've been together 156 games already, you guys. I've, I've never met you before. <laughs> hey, you've been in this room. Oh, I <laughs> yeah, I did. It, yeah, I've never, been, I've never met you. I've been to your house. You've been to my house. <laughs> yeah, right. seriously. Never met you before at all. Hold on a second. Where am I putting? Oh, I got to put Mono in here somewhere. Yeah, put maybe put him where I, you put me because remember I'm not seeing. <laughs> okay. I'm going to put him over there. That one's short, somebody. So that'll be good to have Mono in there. Wonderful. So Adrian's going to hang out and talk with me for a second while everybody's in rooms. Sounds I'm like sorry your head isn't feeling good. Yeah, it's actually feeling not too bad now because I took my, my medications, but I'm really tired. And I just don't, I just want to, I don't want to have a bad day tomorrow, if that makes sense. You got a lot planned? Yeah, it's called uh, something about Sally. Oh, it's my Sally. Hey, Bill's still here. Bill. I want to talk to you. Oh, okay. I'm right here. Should I have the recording on? No. Turn it off? Okay. Yeah. All right. So look at this, you guys. On my break that I usually just forget that I have and leave recording is <laughs> people watch me talking to myself or typing. We have Adrian Hill here, the zone giggler, Jane Adrian Hill. <laughs> Well, so, you did tell us all to change our names to Jane, so I did. I <laughs> so how long until Netflix, Netflix calls us? And it, yeah, there we go. <laughs> how long? How long till they pick us up? So <laughs> you finally gotten over your jet lag? Yeah, I've been, I felt well. I'm still finding it hard to go to bed early and trying to sleep late, 
but it's it's much better. I we've had a couple of really good nights. The third night was probably the worst. I don't know what it is about that third night. Great, both Greg and I find the third night anytime we travel anywhere is when you kind of go. Can I? Here, I'm gonna I'm gonna end the recording so we can talk about something really good. See, but I'm on the committee. Romero, can you tell us what Faith was so excited about? Just yes, the time this kid was born out of wedlock. Oh my God. To his back? He impregnated his wife two years before he married her. Who? Their son was born in 69 and he married his first Who wife. Who is she talking years. about? Harris Thomas. Oh. Who? The, We're trashing the immoral Thomas. associate chief justice of the Supreme Court associate justice. Who? Clarence, Clarence Thomas has had a Clarence child? Thomas. Clarence Thomas I had a child guess. from his first marriage. And the child was born two years before he married his wife in 1965. I, I didn't know he needed procreation. I'm scandalized. I would <laughs> desperately love, I would be overjoyed if that was the worst thing about yeah. her. No. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> I didn't know he procreated. He hasn't procreated with this woman he's with now, right? They, they probably Have you seen her? It. They ain't ever had hey. <laughs> hey. 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 She was attractive. Lamp. Yeah, I, yeah. I love lamp. I love lamp. That's what I'm going to call Clarence now. Well, Faith is falling out of her chair. Remember, <laughs> make sure you put the uh, put Faith in your on your screen over I'm there. I'm gonna be in and out. So she's in and out. I don't even know your personal business, girl. Well, that's I'm what Clarence said to head. his wife. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Bad, 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 bad. I gotta be a man about selling my parents' house, you know. So okay, I'm joking. Um, something tells me you don't need to tell your parents anything about that. That would they wouldn't otherwise they wouldn't joke. be your parents. Ooh, creepy. Well, hello everybody. Howdy. It's so nice to see you guys here together. I feel so good that you guys are still hanging out with me. This is just like so cool. I feel like this luckiest person. It's just the neatest thing. So Adrian says she wants to hang around long enough to hear you guys' names because it's her favorite part. And I really <laughs> like hearing the names if they're quality. I hope there's nobody in this room saying we probably should go back and pick something else. <laughs> <laughs> well, you because wanted quality. I wanted something back? fun. <laughs> something cool. Okay, so let's hear. I want something you can't pronounce. No, that's not fun. <laughs> Almost like it's it, is, it is for us. For, yeah, for the rest of us. Yeah. Oh, okay. So for the room that was known as room one is Ben, Brandy, Jane from California, Peggy, and Zeke. What are you guys calling yourselves tonight? Bad news for the braggart at Fort Braggadocio. <laughs> <laughs> That's cute. Okay, I like that. Bad news for the braggart at Fort Braggadocio. I've been watching that unfold all day. That's hilarious. Caspians have been around, so we we just talk about that kind of stuff all the time. All right, Alan, Jane in Oregon, Mono, Alan, and Vincent. Who are you guys tonight? We got the real Jane. It's not a calamity at all. Oh, <laughs> oh that's cute. That is cute. Oh that's very okay, good. that's cute. Um, <laughs> the real Jane. Oh, Except that the other Jane is feeling Jane. very hurt now that you guys say that. All right. Saunders, Bob, Kyle, Troy, and Gail. We are the we Tennessee, are the two, Tennessee steps. two Steps. Oh, the Tennessee Two Steps. Where did you get that That's from? Good. Referring they, to the they were in the, they were on the legislature, and then they're back out again. Yeah. Oh, why are you calling like them it. Two Steps? Because two of them right back in. We're out. I thought they were the Tennessee Three. <laughs> no, no, it's two. Two got back in. Yeah, so they're yes, calling they, them something different now? The no, white they, lady uh, wasn't voted out. Was right. never kicked out. Yeah, but I thought they, I didn't know they had a new name. I thought it was, what was it that uh, Stephen Goldner called them? Justin, just, oh, Justin, Justin, just in. Oh, yeah. That's nice. I didn't think of that. I didn't think of that. Okay, Carolyn, Cindy, Kevin, Leonard, and Deborah. 21 is too young to keep secrets. <laughs> no. What the hell? <laughs> Jesus. What the hell? I mean, oh my God. It's just, it's just Ukraine and Russia and America's <laughs> secrets. I, 
Jeez. All right. Jamie, Janine, Carl, Faith and Romero, and Robin. Boy, that group grew. Or um, oh. Odor in the court. Odor <laughs> in the court. Odor, Odor in the court. court. Oh, Clarence oh. Thomas Stinks. Oh, he's I coming to get you. <laughs> Okay, here we go for game 156, season three, episode 47, 47. Oh my gosh. Bad news for the braggart at Fort Braggadocio versus we got the real Jane. It's not a calamity at all versus the Tennessee two steps versus 21 is too young to keep secrets versus odor in the court. Clarence Thomas stinks. <laughs> This is much better. You guys are you're up in your game. We didn't have a really stupid one, but um, good job. All right, so we have five people who are leading the group tonight. Five, I count them, five. It's it's exactly it's arranged this way because it's the same amount of numbers of fingers on my hand. And we did this on purpose because I only have five fingers on one hand, and it's important to have it done as five fingers on one hand. We're leading off with Brandy from Las Vegas, who hasn't done a lot of these, so she's she's leading us off, followed by the king of dad puns, Vincent. You do know you're doing a category tonight. Uh, followed by Troy, who's done a few of these, but not a ton, so we're, we, we don't want to be too rude, versus Bill, another one who hasn't done a lot of these, and followed... Oh, yeah by robin who does i hope no she has a bonus category tonight <laughs> okay. okay all right so, so then, i have to say that our team name isn't about jane in california it was about other people who were changing their names to jane oh <laughs> well then that feels inclusive thank you for bringing <laughs> that up jane in oregon so. <laughs> All right, so I have no idea which category, which team name I like the best. So, you know, it's all open for everybody. Keep in mind, I do not have people for next week. So just keep that in the back of your mind. A lot of the regular players probably will say, hey, put me down. And I'm sure that's what I'm going to hear. But if you want to get in before them and, and you've been always wanting to do some categories, I've got a clean slate next week. So let's get started with our very first. And that's going to be Brandy in las vegas let me give her her permissions and she's set her, to go and is this, her, is this her first no jane so we don't, okay, we don't have to be nice to her okay good no this isn't her first bye adrian thanks for hanging this out for my first bye, adrian. Is your first brandy yeah it Take is care, all right you guys be in your best best behavior best behavior it is brandy and i want you guys all to be i don't know Sure, I'll be on my best so behavior. Our best behavior, that doesn't necessarily mean good behavior. It's just the best we can do. That's well, I'm right. just I'm just saying, you know. Point. True, you. true, true, true. Okay, Brandy, don't be nervous. They want okay. they don't know where you live. <laughs> Some of us. Some of us do. Do. Oh, I need a helper. <laughs> Who's my helper this week? Uh all right, Zeke, you're it. Tag your it, Zeke. Okay, here we go. So Brandy. What's your category? It's pseudoscience or whatever in punk songs. Oh, that sounds like oh, some man. digging. <laughs> okay, hold on. Let me. P S E U D O S C I E N C E in punk. Here, I copied it. Pseudoscience and it. punk. Yeah. So it's not all like total pseudoscience. A lot of it is like cryptids, things like that. Um, but I thought it's mm. good, with, good with these. Okay, this is definitely mm -hmm. a category we have not had before. So, okay, sounds great. So, uh, Zeke, you want to take care of that? She's shaking her head. No, I honestly don't remember how to do anything. <laughs> Go to participants, <laughs> and at the bottom, it should say mute all. Okay, you're being mutilated. <laughs> and brandy don't forget to unmutilate yourself okay so, there you go all right so this is going to be a fill in the blank so i'm going to have song lyrics and then your answer is going to be uh the the blank which is the pseudoscience or cryptid or whatever so here's the first one 
I felt like a snack in the middle of the night. I crept downstairs for a nibble and a bite. A crash beyond the kitchen door told me that it was back for more. You might have guessed I am possessed. I really must insist. May I su suggest invested an exorcist? I'm going to skip the chorus. I went goose pimplified, nowhere to run, nowhere to hide for me. I was skeptical before, but a pantry blank I saw here to stay. You're looking for just the group name or the song name? Um, neither. I'm looking for the the blank is oh, the oh. like if it's something pseudoscientific um, or a cryptid of some sort, maybe a movie monster or something like that. Okay, so and and it's there's more than one blank. It's always the same thing. Right. Okay. Sounds great. I got it. Oh, very good. Okay. Okay. Here's number two. Blank. Have you heard about the bat? Eats your goat and then your cat. Soon enough, you will not smile. When it comes, you'll run a mile. It says, soy super bien. From Mexico, it came to me. I saw it down in Miami. It vamps in and out of style. When it comes, you'll go loco. It says, soy super bien. Blank. Sorry if I'm taking a long time on, on a laptop. Fine. So <laughs> now I'm starting to I'm starting to feel old now. <laughs> <laughs> well, these songs are pretty old, some of them. Okay. Number three. It was a beautiful day. I was feeling okay with my best friend by my side. About seven foot tall, a big furry snowball with a big shag carpet hide. We run around and stay away from small towns where the folks are unaware stay out of sight, do our traveling at night, and most of the time we don't have a care. Running with blank, running with blank, and so on. When we get the answer part, are you going to sing these answers to us? I would never do that to you guys. That would be cruel. You like us too much. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> but I do have links to the songs, so. Oh, okay. All right, number four. I got a, and this one has um four words so you see how the blanks it's blank 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 right so i got a blank 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 and where we're going i don't know but it's all but all i know is i've got to get home one two three four i got blank 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 and where we're going i don't know but all I know is I've got to get home. I'm going to write my mom each day, each and every day, tell her I'm all right, tell her I'm okay, and tell her where we're going today. Okay, so number five, and this one's got two blanks. Today I'm dragging ass because last night I stayed up late. I was reading Superman DC Comic 58. I saw his blank blank and now I want some too. So I turned to page 43 and I found out what to do. Now don't you mess with me because I'm a superhero man. I can see your underwear and I can see your slimy plan. And I can see through your bullshit with my blank blank. Okay, so number six, I was a blank blank, braces on my fangs, I was a blank blank, and no one even said thanks, and no one made me stop, I had a teen land mind, I had to blow my top, under and under teen full moon, no one could make me stop. All right, number seven. They own the state, they own the church, they pick the winners on star search. They own the Christians, they own the Jews, they own the Muslims, Mormons too. They put the holes in our socks, they put this that snake in my mailbox. From the halls of Montezuma to the shores of Tripoli, we are all tools of the blank. From the littlest baby to the biggest VIP, we are all tools of the blank. Run to the window, they're coming to get you. Hide in the basement, they're coming to get you. 
flee to the rooftop. They're coming to get you. Don't go outside. No, don't let them get you. Zeke looks way too smug. <laughs> She's like, this is my category. <laughs> We're waiting for this for years. Okay, number eight. Well, here's a story that must be told. It's kind of new, not very old, about a female blank with a wild grin, big orange eyes and green skin, blue as her hair. She came from way up there. She wore silver underwear, almost naked, but she didn't care. Why, oh, why did she come from planet V? Well, I don't know. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Blank girl from planet V, will you marry me? She came from outer space. She came to see if Earth was good. And I'll just say, don't think too hard about the answers. They're <laughs> okay. They're not going to be too complicated. <laughs> it's going to be very simplistic. At the blank dance. Here's Ben and Betty. They tap their toes, but they don't get sweaty. They don't give a damn. They're done dead already. At the blank dance, nobody moves. They tap their toes. Yeah, wiggle their ears to get in the groove. And number 10. Under the arc of a weather stained boards, ancient goblins and warlords come out of the ground, not making a sound. The smell of death is all around. And the night when the cold wind blows, no one cares, nobody knows. I don't want to be buried in a blank blank. I don't want to live my life again. All right, any questions? I think it's self-explanatory, right? Anybody have I, anything? I do have a question. When there uh -huh. are more than one blank, when there's more than one blank, do you have to get all the blanks uh, correct? No, I, I think if you guys get the gist of it, it's fine. It, I just took it all out because it's like a common thing that goes together a lot. It of probably time. makes sense. I yeah. See, I see. It's a, it's a common phrase or collection yes. of sequence. Okay. Exactly. So can, okay. Okay. Good. Thank you. Uh -huh. Kevin, I sent you um, the ones that the questions that came up before you got in, back into the room. So you Thank should you. have question one yep. through five and the category name, I think. Yep, the numbers are all mixed up, but I'll figure it out. Okay, yeah, you should be all right. At least you have them. And I'm just adding the last one to my spreadsheet. All right, so uh, Zeke, you want to send, or Zeke probably, if you want to send everybody to the rooms. I'll be in team room in just a minute. Oh, see, again, you're you're making it sound like I know how to do this. Okay, breakout room. Yes, of course. Well, then you need to be reminded because that's the whole idea is we're going to get out of this knowing all about Zoom. You got it, Zeke. Good job. This. Room four. Okay, I'll be right there. Trying to, when I transferred these all over, they all, um, I don't know why, but they transferred onto my spreadsheet with, with um, spacing errors, so I'm fixing them right now. Okay, because I can't handle that. I seem to be in limbo, Susan. Oh, you sure do. So Kevin's in four. Where where are you, Richard? I was on the team with uh, Gail. So let's see which one that is. And Kyle Polish. Three. Kyle and three. All right, see you soon. Hey, Hamilton. Yeah, it's Hamilton. Hello, Hamilton. Maybe I'll see you soon. Oh yeah, I hope so. I fly out on the 26th to Oregon, then up to Canada, then I'll yeah, be in the Bay Area. Adrian was just here when we were talking about it. That's really cool. And I'll be up in the Bay Area um, the 20th, I think, 20th, 21st, 22nd. I'm gonna, right. do a workshop for, I'm gonna do a workshop in the Bay Area somewhere and then also in Sacramento. So we'll talk. Uh, we'll, we'll meet up for that at least. Okay. Oh see yeah, soon. yeah, we'll see. Well, I got to go to my room. Hey. 
I was skeptical before, but a pantry. Hmm. 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 Hello, I team. Saw. Hello. Who's the Who's the um, ringer in the group? I don't think we do. I just think we, we we're confident, even though we don't know anything. We're going <laughs> to use our reason. powers of deductive reasoning to figure this out. So, okay, so here's my argument about poltergeist is okay, it okay. alliterates nicely with pantry. Okay. And that blank after pantry looks longer than ghost. Well, and that's what I was trying to figure out. But these, if this is supposed to be the same word here, I don't They're know if she different, followed yeah, different the lengths. typical Yeah, it's the same you know, word. The amount of spaces are oh, like a Kevin. equivalent. But she this didn't one do what maybe. Kevin does. This yeah. one maybe. Because this one is let's see, eleven spaces long. How long is Poltergeist? Because this one might be the appropriate amount of spaces, but these were just done just to kind of put some spaces in there. Poltergeist is 11. And and do you notice the spelling then is British? I would say, let's do that. It's a British uh, song. I don't know if that has anything to do with it. <laughs> uh, guys, hold on. E-I-S-T? Like there you go. Did I get it? You did. Oh as far God. as I know. Shocking. Okay. Number two. Wait. Could it be something that rhymes with stay? Because it's, um, I was skeptical before, but a pantry, hmm, I saw, no, I, no, no. it's not going to be. But I think the saw is supposed to be a bad rhyme with before. Here to stay. I think it's going to be something short. Oh, I was skeptical it mean before, rhyme. but a pantry, hmm, I saw. I think it's going to be a ghost, but I don't know. Well, if we get any more, we can kind of figure out whether or not the number of blanks right. in the line really matter. Yeah, I, yep, I don't think so. Because look at number two, they're totally long. different. Okay. Yeah. I think that's the chupacabra. Yeah, Is I wrote it? chupacabra, except yeah, for chupacabra. the bat thing. Oh, fun. All right. Tell me how to spell that one. <laughs> I, I think just as it sounds. Genetic. Just yeah. like it sounds. See, a, like it sounds. a chupa cabra. You're right, Brandy. Mm -hmm. Try enjoy that. enjoy this, this part. E. It's always so much fun to watch people try it to. It's kind of fun. It looks good that way. One, it is really fun. I don't think it matters about the spelling. I think it's an A. Okay. Okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, what do we got? Okay, so this next one is probably Yeti. Yeah, unless it's really long and it's abominable snowman, but I think Yeti is a good first. Stay out of sight, do our traveling at night. Most of the time, we don't have a care. Running with Yeti, running yep. with Yeti. Yeah, probably well, not running with plus, the abominable snowman. Yeah, Yeti is <laughs> Yeti fits. The only other thought that I oh, had Bigfoot. is that Bigfoot run, runs nicely with the running with Bigfoot, running with Bigfoot. Yeah. Bigfoot oh, sounds me. better, but it says free snowball. snowball. Yeah. The Except snowball the part snow sounds Yeti-ish. Right. Yeah. yeah. Any if if you're talking about in in the snowy area, you typically refer to it as a as a Yeti, not Bigfoot. Yeah. But yeah. But all I know, I've got to get home. One, two, three. But four. I got. Uh, if the spaces are correct, going. Bigfoot would fit. And if the spaces are correct. Yeah, because all of these are the same. They're all seven. Yeah. And I'll tell Crap. you. But I understand. I, I, I mean, we're all in agreement that if it's talking about snow, typically you think of that as a Yeti, but. Yeah. But you don't. don't but Yeti is a common noun and Bigfoot is a proper noun. And the phrase running with blank sounds like a proper noun belongs. Yeah. Do we like Bigfoot better? It's more poetic and it should be Bigfoot if it isn't. If we get another Bigfoot in another category, I mean, well, and we'll, the question, maybe we'll, we'll, we can change it. And we'll have to see what kind of uh, grading Brandy does. She might, you know, if we're in the gist, because essentially Bigfoot, Yeti are kind of the same thing. So, okay. Uh, number four. Four I'm lost on. I, I was know, thinking I abducted I've by, by an alien. alien. What abducted was that? By, abducted by an alien or kidnapped by an alien. And where we're going, I don't oh, know. Oh, kidnapped by an alien. I got kidnapped I by know. an alien. See how it's long, short, tiny, short? It looks like it fits the spaces. I got yeah, even if they're not, again, they're not the same. Alien. So, yeah, it's right. probably so, just and a... I don't know. Yeah, that makes sense. I got kidnapped by where so we're we going, I don't know. So we think it's kidnapped as opposed to abducted? Oh, 
The I common got idiom would be by an alien. I think abducted. I would, yeah, because they say alien abduction. Yeah, yeah, abducted by an alien. That's good. That's uh, good. Boy, whoever came I up like with that, that's great. Um, because last night. Okay. We'll go I mean, do you, I mean, sh they're they're obviously the spaces are not the correct amount of characters, right. but it looks like it was purposeful to make the third shorter than the second. Right. Right. Yeah. So I'm I'm yes, not sure correct. about by Anne. Right. It would be by ah. Uh, yeah, but uh, I mean, it's proper would be Anne, but unless they were just had bad uh, bad grammar unless, in their song, unless it's, a it's function. not alien. Okay, number five. I think it's Spidey Sense. Oh, I have X ray Superman? vision. I thought X ray vision. No, it well, doesn't fit with the last. It doesn't fit with the first. I saw his X ray vision. Well, yeah. yeah. I mean, I saw through. Well, here's the thing: you see through things using X rays. Yeah. I can see your underwear and I can see your slimy plan. Yeah. And I, and I, and Spidey Sense would be Spider Man, not Superman. So right. Superman would be X ray vision. Oh, okay. All right. I vote That's I good. vote X ray vision. That's, That's fine. what I thought too. Okay. I was a something vampire. It, do you think teenage or... vampire? Yeah, I think it's teenage vampire. Isn't that a song? Well, teenage well, here... vampire. Uh, no, well, but all my fangs. vampires aren't the only ones that have fangs because again it's, it's, it's under it's under a full moon so yeah, that it's werewolf. probably it's teenage werewolf would be oh yeah teenage because if if it's under a full moon i would wait, assume wait, that would have to be a werewolf and it's a teenager because they've got braces no one even said thanks and no one I need to put a star. In I don't know if there's any other clues in the lyrics there. Yeah, let's see. Mimi, stop. No one even said thanks. Why? Well, I don't. Yeah, I'm trying to figure that out that mean? part. Braces on my fangs. I think you're werewolf. It's a teenage werewolf. I think I actually remember that song too. Well, it seems wow. like there was something with that. Okay, so seven. I'm. Yeah, but based on the full moon, I, I would assume yeah. it has to be werewolf. Seven. Okay. I'm thinking it's Illuminati. Yeah. For sure. Oh, yeah. Interesting. We are all tools of the Illuminati from the biggest baby to the biggest VIP. Yeah. Nothing, nothing rhymes. No, Triple E and the Illuminati rhyme. Sort of. <laughs> okay. If you, if you kind of squint, VIP and Illuminati rhyme. Yeah, that kind of rhymes too. Yeah. Sorta. Most of these, though, punk songs, man, they might not rhyme, rhyme at all anyway. But I, I think I've, I voted Illuminati. Illuminati? Mm -hmm. We're good with that? Okay. All right. Number eight. Must be told it's kind of new, not very old. But a female. Female blank with a wild grin. Oh, sorry. There's more to it. That's Is it Martian? Go down. Uh, that. Ooh, oh, but then it says plant B. Yeah. yeah, but still, that could be. Yeah, I, I wrote either Venetian alien space person or Martian. Like space girl, but okay. So there's two different ways. There's a female blank with a wild grin and blank girl from Planet V. So Martian was your first guess, like a female Martian or a Martian girl. Both of those well, work well. But then Planet V makes it sound like it is Venus and it should be Venusian. Venusian. But. Ugh. Female mm -hmm. alien just sounds horrible. The ale, 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 female yeah. alien sounds really Yeah, bad. that doesn't fit. That didn't flow very well. Okay. And. So it's, it's I think more. Martian or Venusian. Martian from Planet V. So, uh... I thought Martians were from Mars. Or extraterrestrial. That's, yeah, that's why I think it might be not right. Martian. Well, and again, I don't know if Planet V, if we're talking fifth planet, that would not be Mars. But I don't know if that's what the V is for, you know. That's kind v of new. Not I think it's for Venus. Venus? The Venus girl from Planet V, will you marry me? Yeah, that makes sense. I don't know. 
The wild grin, big orange eyes. Well, there. she came from outer space. That doesn't necessarily even mean that they're from this solar system, but. Astronaut? Female Venus with a wild grin. About a female Venus. Uh, Is there another word for alien that I'm missing? About a female alien with a wild grin. About a not, female... like, not extraterrestrial. Venusian? Venetian? It's Venusian. Oh, oh, excuse me. Is it? Oh. Peggy knows one, apparently. <laughs> I have lots of friends from Venus. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. You know, women are from mm -hmm. Venus, men are from Mars. Yes, that is true. Could it be a Martian? Well, there's a strange name about a female Martian with a wild grin. Martian sounds better, but planet V right. throws that off. Huh. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> well, and again, what you're saying about Men are from Mars, women are for Venus. So yeah, maybe. I don't I think know. That makes sense. Blue was her hair. She came from way up there. She wore silver. It's very much like original Star Trek, you know, sexy yeah. woman. Yeah. Alien. <laughs> well, whatever. I don't know. What do we think? Uh, ones we're kind of all over the place on what we think it is on this one. Do we like I even feel like Martian, Venusian or Venusian has too many syllables. I feel like two syllables would work. Yeah, and it looks like the blanks are different sizes too. Yeah, so I don't think we can go by blank size, but um... so for syllables and sounds, I like Martian. It just doesn't make yeah. sense with the V. Right. Yeah. <sighs> Martian sounds better to write the song, but Planet V, Martian from Planet V. Of course, remember that they're punk songs, so they were probably all high when they wrote them. So what what are we going with team? We like we're going with Martian or are we going with My Venetian? bet is my my vote is Venusian. I gotta look up the spelling though. All right. Because you know I'm spelling. a spelling Nazi. <laughs> okay. Um number nine. So at the monster dance or at the oh, yeah. Benny and Barney Hill. It's the it's the UFO ones, right? It's Benny and Barney Hill. No, that but that's not Barney. It's Ben and Betty. Oh, ben, 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 ben and Betty. Ben and Betty. Are they zombies? Is it zombie dance? Zombies. They don't get sweaty. They don't give a damn. They're done dead already at the zombie dance. Nobody moves. They tap their toes. Yeah. Wiggle their ears to get in the groove. Yeah. They're done dead already. So that <laughs> does make sense for a zombie. But this they can only like wiggle their ripple. toes. Yeah, because only their toes cover come out of the the um, bandages. Such a rip off of the zombie jamboree. <laughs> Aww. Yeah. Okay, Jen. So do we? We are. Isn't that, that's even a line in that song? They don't give a damn because they're done dead already. Back yeah, to back, all around. Belly to belly at the zombie jamboree. I'm curious how many knows. I don't want to be buried in a. I don't want to be buried in a I wrote shallow grave, but I don't know. It's just a guess. Oh yeah, that could fit, but pet cemetery. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody you wants know, that. Um a shallow grave fits, but it's not fit with the rest of the, the answers. It's... The other answers have been kind of pseudoscience like you know yeah and, you know, yeah and encrypted so again they're they're creatures i don't want to be buried in a but... vampire coffin no <laughs> graveyard sounds like it'd be right cryo chamber <laughs> <laughs> i don't want to be buried in a under the arc of a weather stained of a weather stain boards. Well, that would make sense if they were in a coffin, right? Doesn't make sense. Oh, weather stained boards, ancient. Come out of the ground, not making a sound. The smell of death is all around. Okay, so the night is cold, the wind blows. It's cemetery or graveyard. Yeah, or... graveyard, cemetery. Okay, to be buried. I don't want to be buried in a. Out of the ground, not making a sound. That's all of this. Barbie Cemetery. No, <laughs> <laughs> me neither. Um, 
want to live my life again. So it'd be somebody who's dead, like a vampire. I don't want to be buried in a... Where would you be buried in order to live your life again? This is a punk song we're, we're, we're talking about, right? This isn't like... You guys are so insulting to... <laughs> Well, I mean, I'm saying it wouldn't be like literal. I mean, it's not like. No, but, but you say, I don't want to be buried in this thing. I don't want to live my life again. What does that mean? Well, if you came out from your grave, you would be starting to live life again, right? Like if you were a vampire that's risen. I don't want to be, be a twilight zombie. In a, a, a sunk in a ghost ship or a sunken ship. Um I don't want to live my life. Is there a place that you would get buried um, as a precursor to um, reincarnation? No. It's got to um, be graveyard. I'm, I'm Something looking at the graveyard. ancient, yeah, but ancient goblins and warlords. Yeah. That part kind of throws me off too. Under the arc of weather stained boards. Weather stained boards would make me think about like a ship too, like you mentioned, but then you wouldn't come out of the ground. If yeah. you're if you're buried at sea. Yeah. Uh, Zombie wasteland. Now I think it's gotta be graveyard or something. How about a wait, is there a rhyme here? Hold on. In the night when the cold wind blows. No. Teenage wasteland. It rhymes with again. Um. Wait. No. Or. Or if it rhymes with around, it could be something ground. No. It's. Ground. It's. It's an. It's an a a b b c c. Yeah. It's, they're right. They're rhyming. Just each two. two stanzas right or lines rhyme. I don't want to yep. be buried in a. Hmm, I, don't hmm, I don't want to live my life again. Something. It could be something that ends in coffin because it kind of rhymes with coffin. again. Yeah. Coffin again. Coffin. Yep. Again. So, but what are, what are the two words? Wooden coffin. Well, and it's got to be something supernatural or spooky or yeah. weird. I don't want to be buried in a blank coffin. I don't want to live my life again. Yeah, even that's coffin. kind of... Uh, magic coffin. <laughs> <laughs> um... Reused mm. coffin. <laughs> Reused. Yeah, wooden. Re I mean, wooden coffin could be it, but I don't know. I don't want to live my life again. But um, based on the, based on the, uh, again, it it may not be exact on on spaces, but since the first word is shorter, mm -hmm. if we're saying it is coffin, I don't know. I'm wondering if maybe it's more like, you know, a crypt or crypt, but you're not buried. Well, you're placed in a crypt. Yeah, that's you're right. Buried crypt, buried. right? Where would you be buried in that rhymes with again? Buried in a... um... I mean, coffin does fit. I just don't know what the prior word would be. Teenage. Sure. Oh, no. Why are we stuck in teenage? Why, why are you stuck on teenage over there? I'm stuck uh, on Susan? teenagers. Um, I don't want to live my life again. I don't understand the last line. I don't want to live my life again. Well, that'd be anybody who's raising from the dead. Yeah. Well, oh. but you don't Watch want to be buried in a. On. You don't want to be buried in a something coffin. What would be? An escapable coffin? Ooh, a glass coffin? A cement coffin? A cement biodegradable shoes? coffin. I don't want to be buried with cement shoes. <laughs> All right, we're going crazy now. We're going off um, the rails. These words are way too long. I'm voting biodegradable coffin. <laughs> cardboard box. Compost. I don't want to be buried in a cardboard box. Yeah, but those are the things that would definitely not let you live again, presumably. 
I don't want to be buried in a compost bin. I don't. Ooh. <laughs> nice. It does fit. Bin and again rhyme. It actually almost rhymes. Yeah. Um. Well, she's the song person. She's the musician here. So Jane should know. I don't know. <laughs> it, you don't it, remember it, singing it, these songs once in Trieste? The only no. the, the <laughs> clues the clues in this in the in the entry are ancient goblins and warlords. Mm -hmm. So zombies and under the, an arc of weather stained boards. An arc. And then rhyming with again. Oh, how about like a, a warship, you know, like like if there had been a ship that had shipwrecked or a pirate ship. A pirate a ship. ship. Doesn't rhyme with again. Yeah, but and that doesn't go in, with goblins. No, it doesn't the uh, pirate ships don't go with goblins. Um well now we're talking about you know what's reasonable to go with goblins and war. Yeah, <laughs> I know we're talking different. like it. Well, we were on the Venetians, you know. So. That would be like um, a dungeon. Um is this yeah, is this like a Dungeons and Dragons thing? Is this like um should be okay a dungeon makes sense except it doesn't fit with the weather stained boards or goblins and warlords well dungeons have everything to do with goblins and warlords but that can be out of the ground and the night air yeah let's go with fucking coffin yeah, <laughs> it's a blank. it's a word to put in the blank. <laughs> Fucking coffin. We cannot. Hey, uh, we need a uh, language. Uh... No, we don't have that. We're Netflix ain't gonna call. They okay. ain't gonna call. We don't have to worry about uh, HBO Max a, a might call if we put enough f words in there. Okay. Um, <laughs> yeah, they want, want a coffin. A... Do we want coffin? And we just don't know for sure what. Or no, are we going to use I, Peggy's expletive in front of coffin? I, I think it should be. I think it should be graveyard. I really think it should be buried in a something graveyard, like a effing graveyard. But graveyard doesn't rhyme. Every well, other line, doesn't. every coffin, and again, again, under the arch of weather stained boards, board sound blows. Boards, no boards and warlords. Right, boards it's and warlords, warlords sound and around. around. Blows, blows the nose. Oh, oh! I didn't realize we were going with the rhyme. Okay, so again, <laughs> you where were you when we were discussing? I that, was like putting five my blanket on. I'm cold. <laughs> okay, again. Okay, okay, we can do this. Again, Are you guys, almost done. We're, we're yeah. arguing still, but you could put yeah. the two minute probably. Okay, oh, we're, we're having to remind having... remind Susan of things we just I talked was, about five I was minutes cold. ago. Okay. Do we have any we questions while Brandy's here? Do we have any She's questions? She's been here hanging out. Again. Do you have any questions for me? Sin. Again, sin? No, again. Are, so Friend? The, the spaces that you left, they don't mm -hmm. denote the, how many characters are in the word, correct? It gives a, a clue to the size of the words. So it like they're not exact. Up. But they're in not number, exact. In okay, number four. In number uh -huh. four, is it purposeful? Friend. Again. Friend. And I made four, it like that, yeah. Yeah, that the third word is shorter than the second word? Yes. Mm. Yep. I think what we have there is pretty good. But we are in our guest, the second well, it's and not third word. It's not the coffin. Same again, what, do we, what words rhyme with again? Friend? Again? Not much. Sorry, I feel like I should tell again? everybody about number 10. Okay. Why? Because everybody's having, having the trouble? same argument. Well, um, let us argue. As long as it's equal, who cares? Okay. <laughs> yeah. Or if no. you or if you tell us, you, yeah, you got to tell everybody else. Yeah. yeah so don't, yeah. don't just let us argue. That's fine. Okay. <laughs> it's what we do every week, Brandy. It's no. Yeah, I mean, come on, you That's here. <laughs> Very gonna... Ken. All right. I'm gonna try and figure out. How, how about to do this begin? Kind of thing. No, that wouldn't make any sense. I don't want to be buried in a. Damn, could it be damn coffin? Why do you get coffin and again? Those I tell right. you, the answer could be coffin again. But now I guess it then she would have written the word again. Oh, oh, oh. Like rhyming again with again. Yeah. Again true. being the second yeah. word. But now if it's a enough. if it's it's probably a two-word phrase. How about Mercedes Benz? <laughs> 
Bins. <laughs> a bins and a gin, or and I again. guess they don't rhyme. Uh, yeah. So if I click on close all rooms, does that give a two minute warning? That gives a yeah. two minute warning, correct. Okay. Read in a pig pen. How about how about a teenage coffin, Susan? <laughs> a pig pen. <laughs> I don't want to be buried in a pig pen. I don't want to be buried in a pig pen. I don't want to be buried in a pig pen. Here comes Karen. Oh, we need to tell uh, uh, Brandy that she needs to be back in this room. No, I mean, coffin, coffin, and again, end in the same two letters. Is it technically a rhyme? No, they're not even close. You they're closer than any other word that's been proposed. Correct. I said Mercedes Benz. That has they're nothing still closer to do with than it. Any <laughs> my friend. Oh, she was about to, to give us a hint and you friend. talked her out of it, Susan. I don't want to be buried in a. I'm going to say well, damn coffin again. Some if you like it. Hi, hi there, Sagan. Hi, Sagan. Oh, now I have to keep my language nice, huh? Well, sort of. I don't want to be buried in a. Putting it. I'm putting the bad you word. You don't have to. You don't have to. Oh come on, you guys! This how many? There's there's only so many words that rhyme with again. There aren't many. You it's, have to be like it's one, one of those one. classic difficult words to rhyme. Okay, so then there are we're limited. What are they, Peggy? Since you're the grammar person, Zen. I can't remember what they are, but Zen, Zen, Zen coffin, Zen coffin. No, Zen. Instead of second instead word, of, and the second word is longer. Instead of yeah. coffin, some coffee zen. bin. I don't want to be buried in a coffin bin. I don't want to live my life again. What What are the chances of in rhymes actually a using the exact same bin. word? You better a put coffin, something. Ten seconds. Again. We have something. We have okay. damn coffin. All right, all right, I don't know right. what it's going to be, but I'm still voting for ghost for number one, I, and I'm voting for graveyard for number ten. Be like, what are you? Oh, that's what we're hearing. Okay. Yeah, we could hear it. I'm going to mute myself. These were sure uh, challenging, that's for sure. I know. That I was fun, Brandy. Yeah. Recognize any, any, any of the songs. <laughs> oh, no. We were just making our own tunes, but no. Yeah. So the challenge was to stop singing the songs because they were so familiar with them right oh yes i i i it just stuck in my head <laughs> yeah, that was it karen karen should have been here for this because she would have kicked ass on it but now she there, showed up late so everybody keep song. that in mind the team that has the lowest score gets karen every second tuesday i have a meeting that goes till 7 30 thursday there was, second there was thursday one, second thursday there was one song that had a lyric that was very similar to another song that i do know so that our answer is based on that so we'll see okay brandy you're up all right so i'll just go ahead and i guess read the answers and then i'll copy and paste and they have links to the songs so you all can right. enjoy them at your leisure i'm looking forward to it <laughs> <laughs> all right i won't reread the song the full song lyrics though no. i'm just going to read the answers all right so number one is poltergeist Yay. <sighs> number two is chupacabra all right uh -huh. Good three one, is bigfoot Yay. oh four oh, oh, I think now i will Wait. say for number three if you put yeti i'll give it to you because um the lyrics are misleading so. is about number one is ghost okay no <laughs> we got poltergeist we got poltergeist it doesn't Brandy alliterate. Brandy is running around. <laughs> well, ghosts Brandy is running aren't around. usually notorious for making a ruckus. Me, well, a poltergeist yeah. is, is, is a class of ghost. That's true. Yes. It's a particular true. ghost. That's why the only answer should be poltergeist. Okay. I what you know what? If you decide. I'm just I'll saying. give you ghost if you have ghost. Ghost or poltergeist. Too nice. fine. We love you. Be nice, nice, Brandy. You're in charge. You're <laughs> tough. We enjoy you can, Brandy. Brandy. You can even make us spell it correctly. <laughs> I would never do that. Okay. Um, okay, so number four is abducted by a UFO. <laughs> yes. Um, 
Number five is x-ray vision or x-ray specs. Six is teenage werewolf. Seven is conspiracy. Uh, okay. Eight. Uh, we, uh, how about huh? Illuminati? That fits. <laughs> That's what we had. We had. <laughs> really? <laughs> we all guessed what? The same thing? That's funny. We all guessed Illuminati. Yeah, yeah we, we did. did too. I think Illuminati would be okay because that. Randy, don't give us a Randy. everybody. It's, it's, we'll it's not a lighthouse category. It's already not a lighthouse category. Don't be nice. All right, yeah. <laughs> conspiracy. Everybody will get a ten. Yeah, it's a song. It's a song. Well, I'm not gonna give you the nine or ten. I think are too easy. So, I was gonna be lenient on number eight though, because eight is Martian. Yeah. But if you put alien, I'll give that to you. Okay. Damn it. Hang on, I'm I'm getting lost. So what did we decide for number six? Number six is teenage werewolf. Number, number seven six. is conspiracy. Okay, so not accepting Illuminati. Okay, good. And then okay. number nine is zombie. Yeah. Eight was what? Oh, eight alien. was Martian or alien. Okay. And then ten is pet cemetery. Yay! Oh. Oh. We even we even mentioned that. Uh, I think what happened to the rhyming nice. scheme in that one? Yeah, that well, one it's going really... into the chorus, so it starts a new rhyming scheme. Out of curiosity, did anybody get conspiracy? We yeah. did. Oh, you did <laughs> for number seven. Did I did no, for, for ten. Did anybody get pet cemetery? Yeah, yeah. we yep. did. We did. Oh. Wow. With an oh, S. About I doing. thought that one was the easiest because it was pretty popular when the Stephen King um, mm -hmm. movie came out. It makes total yeah. sense now that you say that. <laughs> oh, it yeah, didn't it's, keep I, the links. And it's spelled cemetery with an S, not as well. We can, it, if you don't want to put the links, that's fine because all these, you know, we all have Google. Okay. You know, it's not hard for us now that we know. I'm sure you are all going to Google every one of these. Songs. Cemetery correctly. I'm just saying. I have a question on no. on eight. Are you are you accepting Alien only if no teams got Martian? Um, no, I would accept Alien either way because it's a little confusing because it says Planet V and yeah. So it does seem like I think Alien would be the most obvious answer. If we went to a punk concert where this team where this where they were singing this song and we tried to use the word alien, would we be like laughed out? Probably not. They just I, think you were drunk or something. I sing probably. the wrong lyrics to songs all the time. Okay. That never happens. <laughs> On purpose. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. I'm putting these down here. Hold on a second. Really good. Great job, Brandy. That was fun. Yeah, that was fun. I think that you need to category. volunteer for these more. That was really fun. <laughs> I hope it wasn't too hard for you to, to come up with the questions. No, it was actually surprisingly quick and easy. Was... What did you think of being uh, um, watching everybody? That was fun, actually. I liked that. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, and then recorded the room you're normally in. So you'll be able to go back and listen to our whole conversation where we were arguing with each other about <laughs> you saw some of it, but we and really cursing got my into name. <laughs> <laughs> Never. It was really fun. Okay, so let's go over to the scores. Here we go. Um odor in the court. Clarence Thomas stinks. Oh yeah. So uh Karen hasn't heard these. We had nine. We yeah. we put Illuminati instead of conspiracy. Otherwise wow. we got it. All right, 21 is too young to keep secrets. Same thing nine. that Robin said. We had exactly nine. the same. For the, for, exactly for the same reason. The same reason. <laughs> yeah, the Tennessee two steps. Eight. We got the real Jane, and it's not a calamity at all. Six. They really oh, want. I think I know where Team Karen's going to be on. Bad news for the braggart at Fort Braggadocio. We also had six. Oh, so shit. Then, how are we going to let that's how are we a real choose? controversy? Now it's a controversy. Okay, how are we going to pick for no Karen? controversy? We, we were first, <laughs> technically, we are uh around the one. same amount of uh oh, uh oh. I have Alan's name written down here twice. How many people are in 
uh, it's we got the real Jane, Alan, Jane, Mono, and Vincent, and yeah. me, the other, the other Alan. Oh, oh, I put brothers together. Yeah. Okay. All right. So the other one's one, two, three, four, five. Okay, we're gonna have to do this. Does we're gonna have, have to cut you in half. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, a coin. How am I gonna choose coin? Who's got a coin? Two-sided dice. <laughs> Is anybody leaving early on either team? I might have to. But you, oh, but you say that every week and you never. <laughs> oh, well. Uh, no, so I need a coin. You know, yeah, it will probably be the second one because Alan usually leaves early. Or Alan, you leaving early? He never oh. leaves early. He never I does? Early. I leave early. I mean, it just, early. Seems, it just seems like I'm not here. That's all. I, I have a coin. <laughs> I need, I need uh, leave early. Okay, Vincent's got a coin. Heads or tails? Okay, so heads is um the braggarts at Fort Braggadocio, and tails is at the Jane Calamity. <laughs> on the floor. <laughs> it's on the floor. It's, it's, it's on the ski lift behind him. It's rolling down the, <laughs> it's rolling down the, down the hill. To the snow. <laughs> Get another one. <laughs> <laughs> That's wicked funny. He's I'm glad we got this on video. He's gonna walk down the mountain to get it. <laughs> He's He's on I, I don't trust this toss. You know what? You have snow. I could just, and I could just ask you like that. I'm going to flip it. get a shovel and start digging there. Okay. <laughs> hey, you can't have somebody with this. Don't worry. We'll find it. We'll find it with this. Avalanche. Watch out for the avalanche. You should get a bucket Yeah, but Vincent's trustworthy. I also have coins if it comes to it. I got Alexa. I could just ask her. You can always roll any die and go even an odd. You got to show the camera now. We've lost him. <laughs> he fell into the snow. Avalanche. It was a horrible coin yes. accident. The Yeti got him. We never saw him. Heads. Heads. All right. Heads. Okay. <laughs> you see, if you did that on purpose, on purpose, that was brilliant. If you did, that on I did purpose, not do it, it on purpose. <laughs> you could say it. That was brilliant. Well, it wasn't why, why because we he's not, his team isn't getting her. All right, Karen, you're on bad news for the braggart at Ford Braggadocio. Karen's not paying attention now. She's filing. She's filing her taxes away. Look at her. Looking very serious. Or is that our cat? What is that? <laughs> look at, look at her looking at us. Everybody I see a cat. Karen. She's tattooing her cat. <laughs> <laughs> We make Karen jokes, she won't hear us. We're, we're talking to Karen and she's not even looking at her, she's just not paying attention. Look at her. You think she's not paying attention on purpose, or she really I think her yes. I think her yeah. audio is off. Muted a computer. Well, she's muted, but that means she can't we can't hear her. But... Her computer, the sound has been muted. So she so can't she's hear She's not gonna hear this till we get to the so she's message <laughs> message her. <laughs> She'll have to listen to us later. She's missing all the good stuff here. I know. Well, she'll have to, she can listen later. All right. So we have another category. That was really good. 7.6 is what you scored. I think you were a little too kind on your scoring, but that, but fine, Brandy. It's it's okay. Nobody's going to. I saw Leonard do like this. Does that mean you're done scoring the last round? <laughs> we and making we fun of Karen for the last five minutes. We've been talking about you for the last round, <laughs> for the last couple minutes. It's so funny. Are you tattooing your cat? <laughs> she, <laughs> she's she's so, not even got us on the screen right now i think i'm up next yeah all right I so the, yeah i see you on the screen i just didn't want to hear the answers so that i could oh uh, well we were over the answers we've been talking about what team to put you on and we've been arguing about it <laughs> funny as heck all right you have to listen, Karen, later because it was it was very interesting. We've been having a good conversation, thinking you were listening. I'm happy you're having fun. Okay, well there you go. All right, Vincent, you're up. Let me give you your little your little powers to be up here. My Make co-host. There you go. Like power. You have power. Have power. You all feel the power. I feel the power. I feel, I feel power. the power. I have the power. Use the power, Luke. That's all. No. Um, 
Where is it? It's on the ski <laughs> lift behind you. Here. <laughs> it's in the snow. So the category is we love animals. Yay! We do. Yay. You love animals, right? We do. I don't know. know. It depends if we're talking about barbecue or <laughs> well, not, hey, for shame. Not that not that kind. We love oh, animals. Okay. Well, I do too, but you know, they're can be delicious. Oh, is he going to oh. Oh. Not that it matters? Fire me. Good one, it's Kevin. Come on, Zeke. Started. Zeke's in trouble now. All right, mutilating. <laughs> All right. Okay. Oh, that's the wrong thing. Darn it. Uh, copy and paste. Chat. What percentage of the Earth's wildlife is found in the ocean? Plus or minus 10%. Well, that could be measured by number of species, mass of life. I expected um, uh, I expected uh, that to come from Leonard, not Robin. <laughs> yeah, so many different ways too. Just, just general wildlife. If you're looking for like specifics, uh, no, no specifics. Just wild. Here's Rob, and we need him. <laughs> yeah, see, it's Rob's on vacation. Based on based on number of species, right? Yes, based on the number. Rob's there watching this anything. video now. Hi, Rob. So anything that has a heart, at the screen. That has a heart. Anything that has a heartbeat. Yeah. Yeah. Something. What constitutes a? Does that count fish? Wildlife. Are the, Are you counting species or or uh, total mass? because there's a single species in the ocean that outweighs the rest of the animals combined. Just wildlife. Don't, don't overthink People it. People who party. Like the zooplankton in the ocean is like a huge amount of mass. And mm. has no heartbeat. That would... No. That would, what, that would if, what if we... Well. Got a question to... What if we answer the question and then have this interesting conversation when he gives us the answer? Yeah. Question two. So Go ahead, Vincent. We we'll we'll answer. have Brandy decide whether the answer is correct. <laughs> <laughs> she'll oh, yeah, still like be it. generous as she always. Let's did. see what percentage of plus or minus seven percent. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, and Karen will tell like us that one. it's a great question. All right, read this one out loud, Vincent. I'm going to remute everyone. We're resetting. Two. <laughs> And then wait, Vin Vincent has to unmute because he has to say this. What animal breathes through its butt? Do we get a plus or minus? <laughs> no, it's only one. There's actually a few, but this one is the largest of that type of animal that does that. Okay. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Number three. What are baby rabbits called? Her. There is a specific name for baby rabbits. Baby rabbits. Yep. What color is a giraffe's tongue? Another one. While being sucked on by the Dalai Lama. Ew. Ew, literally. Ew. No, that, that like was, as that, if he has some kind of personal knowledge that, of the. No, that, that was a that was that was a thing in the news. Yeah. yeah. Uh, 
Uh, yeah. yeah, I know. Ew. Oh. What? Number five. What animal's nickname is Sea Cow? I'm not giving any hints for anybody, so. Good. No hints. No, nothing. I was thinking about it, and then I thought, no. Good. Be tough on us. Yeah. Well, you know, tit for tat. No. (laughs) (laughs) Terrible. Number six. How many legs does a lobster have? And do they shave them? Uh, well, until people eat them, I guess. I don't know. I heard they're quite delicious. And something completely different, but to do with animals. What species of fish is Nemo? As in from Finding Nemo, the Disney movie. And I wish that Canadian was on for this one, but oh well. What is Canada's national animal? Oh, wait, there is a couple of Canadians. They should know this. Jim's not here. Where's Jim tonight? Jim, Adrian, not here either. But there's a couple of others that were. We have some token Canadians, I think. Canadians, yep. There is. Uh, Ex-Canadians. Ex-Canadians. Ex-Canadian. Ooh, that sounds ominous. Oh, peace. What is America's national land animal? Only one correct answer. Land animal. Give you a hint. It's on the land. (laughs) Yep. Copy. And just because I was running out of questions, I've got this one. How many reindeer did oh. Santa have? Oh. <laughs> oh, it's so far from Christmas. I I just throw that in there. As long as I don't have to name them. All right. All right, Vincent. Good job. Can you do plus or minus five on the last one? <laughs> Okay, let's I mean, go to our rooms. Attach to a is, sleigh or like is there a plus or minus the on the first question? Ten percent. Question ten percent. Yeah. Or within ten percent. Number ten is that before or after nineteen forty ish? Yeah. Uh, well, depends. Bob, no hints. Currently, currently. Well, it does okay. say have, no. not had. No so hints. No tense. hints. Am I'll I sending that. people? I'll take that. Yeah. I'm yeah, doing have. It. You're yeah. Santa, Bob. You should know these things. Oh, there you go. Okay, Karen, you're going to go into room one. What's our name? Bad news for the braggart at Fort Braggadocio. Bad news for the braggart at Port Fort Braggadocio. Braggadocio. Okay. Hello, team. It's so wonderful to see you. I hope I hope I'm of some assistance today for you. Okay. Do you see that? Yeah. Yep. Yes, we do. Thank you, Mono. Okay, I have very little idea about this. Anyone know the answers to, definitely to any of them? Uh, oh, I know, so, oh, I know yeah. a few of them, but not yeah, number one. Yeah, I know a few. Yeah. Let's go well, to the we, uh, 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 well, hang on, Ronnie. I, I assume that it's a beaver for Canada. Yeah, I mean, eight is a beaver. Oh, is it? I didn't know that. Yeah. And we know that Nemo is a clownfish. Clownfish, yeah. Is and, that a species? And, yeah. Is there any chance that the giraffe has a blue tongue? 
I well, know it's unusual. I was going to say, I was going to I, I was gonna guess black, but since you said blue, I think that that's like maybe like a navy blue. I like think you might color. be right. I think it might be. I know it's I mean, an unusual I guess, color. Yeah, I just say blue. Now you don't have to be that specific. What are baby yeah. rabbits called? I know I've heard I this. Might be, I think it might be blue. Yeah. Rabbitlings. They're kits. <laughs> kit. Appetizers. Isn't it? Isn't it kit? K I T. I think that's where the term kid gloves comes from. No, kit. Well, no, that's from goats. Oh. K I T. Yeah. K I T. Yeah, but uh, is that? But I'm asking, is that right? I, I'm not sure. That I, I know, know that is a type of baby something. I wasn't sure about rabbits, but it could be. Number five is a manatee, by the way. Yeah. yeah. That's oh, I, I thought that really. was a. Um, I was thinking. That I, I, was I, a, manatees. Uh, I was line. thinking manatee, but I kept thinking narwhal. Well, but you're right. And manatee's right. You know, at first I was going to say. Uh, um sea lion but but then i thought of manatee that's what i wrote down yeah uh lobsters have six legs i think don't they oh, that's what i, I had down 10. i don't know i wrote down 10. no 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 they don't have that because and and the claws don't count as legs so i think there's uh uh, uh, uh ronnie whoever the hell you are um <laughs> Uh, do they have they have six legs? Don't they? I'm like, pretty sure that's what I wrote down too. Is I thought there's like three little guys and then the big claws. Yeah, but at least the ones Canadian. I've been eating have to have that. It's either six or eight, and I'm pretty sure it's six. Maybe Canadian lobsters have six, and American lobsters have ten. That's right. Well, ten. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. No, down in Texas they have ten. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. For some, I I don't think there because i i don't remember eating that many legs when i've eaten a lobster uh any chance uh the mountain lion would be the uh the uh, the animal it could very well be i have no idea what this that could be uh, yeah i was gonna either say that or the bear or some kind of bear but then you have to have Black the bear? grizzly bear yeah uh, oh. uh, the gri grizzly bear sounds real american so just say bear uh, why not the black bear just say just bear. The yeah, just say bear. Well, in Florida, they they would not be allowed to say a black bear. We just have to be a bear. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, so, but I, 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 I'm, I'm actually still thinking uh, mountain lion, but... Uh, Could be. Uh, yeah, I don't know. A bear would be bigger, wouldn't it? Well, that's not the point. It's just what's... what's well, this the, is America. Uh, it bigger is uh, all it, it matters. Would, be like how, would it be like how many we have the most of? We probably have more... No, it's it's like it's like what's our national bird? I think it's the eagle. Well, it's I the mean, eagle. Right. Although Benjamin Franklin wanted the turkey. I I read somewhere that that's actually not true. So I, I don't, don't know. know. I've I've heard that so many times. I have no idea if it's true. By the way, is it possible that the whale breathes out of its uh, uh, that its its spout hole is also its butt? Who does? No, it's I don't spout think hole. so. Spout hole can't be its butt. I was how about, how about a, like a turtle starfish can you imagine how big the turd is that comes out of <laughs> a, a blue whale <laughs> oh my god I don't want to imagine it might be just the runs yeah actually I Santa saw a show recently nine. that talked about that animal and oh. I can't remember what it was Santa has nine reindeer if what the, about if, are I you singing the song right now if I understand the question correctly there were eight and then Rudolph. And then Rudolph. Well, okay. Rudolph came off the bench. But yeah. it's, uh, are we talking regulars or, or, or full-timers? I assume it's full-timers. Current. Uh, current. He's now currently in there. Yeah, he's in there. An animal that breathes through its butt. I'm going to vote for turtle. Why would a turtle breathe through its butt? It's got a mouth. Why not? And it's got noses. It's got a nose. It's because its, its head is inside its shell. It's its head is up its butt. <laughs> I don't have anything better than a turtle at this point. But a turtle has a nose, so it would breathe through its nose. Are you saying it just exits through the butt? Well, breathes is in and out. I'm saying that it would just have to like have like be able to absorb oxygen through like expanding its butthole but then why not a why not a whale 
He also gave something away. He gave a, a hint away by saying something about the size, the size. Because I don't think that a whale's butt would be exposed to the air typically, unless it. Well, they gotta get air. Yeah, the the whale breathes through its air hole. Yeah. Yeah, he said this is the largest of. There are several, but this is the largest, most common. Oh, he said that. Yeah. yeah. He said there are several that do this, but this is the largest of them, or the oh, biggest I, or something. I, that's I, that's I why I kind of thought whale. Oh, I didn't hear that. Okay. I was thinking, who said starfish? I did. Because you know, starfish is interesting. It doesn't have a. It has a. It, the face is in the center. You don't think of anything. It looks symmetrical. So I was thinking whether it breathes its butt and its nostrils are in the all, all in the center. All the, you know, you don't think of a starfish as having a directional quality like all other animals. But again, I'd be I, shocked if it's a starfish. Know, but, think, but it came I, out of the blue for some reason. I feel like I've heard this somewhere. At, I actually at, think starfish is a reasonable answer because they. I think they only have that one. Oh hole. yeah. It's, it's just that hint about the size. If, about if, size. if I if I get got that, it is just some osmosis somewhere, and it wasn't coming out of my butt. But but, but the thing is, if 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 we're gonna take his his accidental hint about size, yeah, you know, I I, I wouldn't think starfish. Well, there could be other crustaceans that are yeah. like yeah. A, a starfish that are smaller. Well, or uh, now, if that's if he says there's several and he has one in mind, but if we pick one that breathes out, if if the starfish in fact does, yeah, he's got, he's got to give it to us. I think you can take him, Alan. <laughs> I'll put it now for the moment. He can yeah. come to it. Okay, percentage. Who knows? One I can if, it's, if it's of everything, if it's of everything, it's got to be like ninety percent. I would. No, I was going to say twenty percent is in the ocean. Because don't you forget, sure you also have insects, which have a huge portion. They're not exactly would you call living them in wildlife? the ocean. Well, it depends on your yeah. definition of wildlife. I don't know I, what the definition. I is. was going to say just life, like not non-human life. I That's was, what I think he's thinking. Not human, no non-plant. Right, right. I, I would. Oh yeah, plant life. Yeah, non-plant, non-human. Non-plant, non-plant. I would guess. I would guess twenty percent in the ocean. I gotta think it's a lot more than that. But, I, I just, oh. I, I'm still thinking because if you're going to include insects and birds and all that the percentage goes way up on land all I'm right but it's sky. but it would not be yeah but i don't know that it would be as only 20 percent though what are we talking about species or number of species or mass or what i, he, I think he's, he's, I think I, he's talking I, about I, anything that's alive i think he was talking oh. species I think. if it's species then insects are the clear winner in fact one entomologist yeah. saying that to a first approximation all life on Earth is insects by sheer number of species. This is there what Karen so said many, we're going to well, have this I argument think, after. I, the thought he, I, I see the question is if you took everything living that wasn't a plant and yeah. it wasn't a human and you just put them in a room and some are in the ocean, which would be a bigger one? Why would we put them on bigger, an ark? But the question is bigger in what sense? Because you have to have two like mass of or quantity, like everybody got a number. If you counted the number of the number of yeah, and and a whale got the same as a as a insect, right? Then insects, they're both worth one point. Then, then insects, insects win. Easy, easy winner. Animal souls. By the way, every the animal have, has a soul. Did the ark have an aquarium? Like, <laughs> what did he do with the fish? No, fish was <laughs> not him. Fish was not <laughs> I think they but changed they, uh, the, the, soil, the water account, level. Gefilte the fish. The, the, there are two gefilte fish on on. That's on right. The, every every animal started breathing whatever kind of water they needed. Warm, hot, all they all went the same because it's God, you know. Well, there was the cart comic strip this morning there where they were doing pregnancy tests on all the animals as they went onto the ark, just to make sure there were two of them at the end. I can't remember yeah. which comic strip it was, but you watch a lot of them. You read a lot. All, didn't they each uh, have a baby on the ark? Oh, I we have uh, we have Vincent here. We can go and quiz him now. Can I? Can I? I need to uh, 
do something with number two. People are getting very confused. I think them. we got the right answer. I think well, you do. Okay, well, what are you going to do about oh, number okay. two? And then we'll go beat up on you on number one. Uh, I don't know how to say this to like everyone in the entire, I don't know how to do like a, like a, you go from group to group and explain. You can broadcast, but I would go from group to group. Okay. I'm going to go to this group. Number two is both a land and water animal and don't overthink it. So it's an amphibian or a reptile? Could be, but don't overthink it. So again, it so it says that our answer is wrong. Yeah, our answer is wrong. Starfish can be out of water. Yeah, starfish can be out of water. Well, yeah, and they're that's because they're oh, dead at that point. No, no, they're alive. No, they can cling to the to the rocks for a little while. For yeah, a long, long while. while. And then they're dead. Okay, we got that one. Uh, before we let uh, Vincent go, or Vincent Van Gogh. Um, oh, no. oh, oh, God. I love it. <laughs> okay, number one. That was awful. Yeah, you know. Um, it was a dad joke. So for number one, percentage of the Earth's wildlife, are we talking just total number of creatures, total species, total mass, total what? Don't overthink it, animals. Just animals. Number of animals. Each animal. Each wild, wild animal. So, so ant, I mean, if, okay, hang on. It's, it's an so, ant, uh, a uh, wild uh, animal. Wait, Vincent. Let's say we 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 had brought up things like 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 uh, insects. It's not the speed. It's like every if there's a, a hundred billion insects, then that's the number. That doesn't matter what kind of insect. That's it's, that's right. Yeah. Okay. So, just, so plankton is like an insect. So okay, wildlife so. is any non-plant living organism. Right. So Not humans. it has to be has to be a wildlife. It has to like it has to be like, you know, alive. Um like and a not a plant. Like not a plant. What yeah. if it's domesticated and it's not wild anymore? A domesticated <laughs> plant? You, you haven't seen my cats. Okay, we can let we can go and uh, talk to the other groups now. Okay, go go to the other groups because we're almost done. All yeah. right, so you understand number two yes. is both a land and water animal. What would that be? Okay. Yeah. Yep. Uh, okay. All right. Like a like a turtle. <laughs> I, I, okay, go back to the put the turtle. And if it's starfish, a starfish turtle. Oh uh, well, wait. Then a, a turtle would, may may work out because it is a land. La it lives in land and and sea. Yeah. Well, that's or, it's an amphibian. Yeah, that's right. Okay. Put a. Or it could be a tortoise, but I'm so we we'll, we can use that for turtle. Or Which a one's tortoise? bigger, a tortoise or a turtle? Yeah, tortoises are bigger. Well, then that's the answer because he says it's bigger. So what are we doing for one? I say 25% because then that gives us 35%. Or or go 30% and then that gives us 40%. He said don't overthink it. I don't know, flip a coin. <laughs> well, he, he, he even mentioned plankton, which really threw things off because plankton's a huge number, but I don't think it beats insects. So if you say 10%, that takes us from zero to 20. Well, we know it's not zero. Well, then what about, we why don't you do 20, a, fifth, a 15 20%. or 20%? Yeah. If you do 20%, then you've got 10% and 30%. That's that's my vote, yeah. Okay, okay. All right, we got well, that. Yeah. So we're gonna go with turtle instead of starfish and there goes my starfish. And, and Stu, Susan can go na 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 when I we find out we're think, wrong. I actually think starfish is is a good answer, but I don't think starfish is considered a land animal. So, no. so I don't think that that's what well. It, it could be. It could be a land animal, like 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 Ronnie says. It's it's just dead when it's on the land, but it is a land animal. We see it up. It's a wall animal. We yeah, see it, it up can, in the wall. It can it can live for a little while out of water, but it. It would not be considered a land animal. Yeah. I don't 
So I don't think that right. I agree. They can live a long time. I mean, you could see them for hours, uh, just hanging out, and they're not dead. Right. They're just there. They're only mostly Maybe they have dead. water just... that's inside. Like they they like when they stick on something, they might have the water in the wherever. Or... Uh, Susan, they're only mostly dead. Yeah. <laughs> Only mostly dead. What? Only mostly dead. So possibly, I don't know. I think we did really good. So do we have any other ones we're not sure about? I know number nine. Um, there was we still from, some discussion. Do we have to say what kind of bear? No. We're not going to. I wouldn't. Yeah, I think a bear is bigger than a mountain lion. Mountain lions are kind of uh, white. Yeah. Very. Can you focus on the size? It's nothing to do with size. I mean, this is America, so you immediately oh, think it's got to be yeah, big. Right. But, For some reason, I thought it's the biggest. No, no, that was that was number two. No, it's just what is the national uh, the national land animal? And America, it says Americas or Americas, so it's well, just it's the United States the, or all of the, America. The United, well, there's it'd just be it'd be United States. I mean, the only other one I was thinking of was the moose because that's on one of the coins. Oh, or a buffalo or a bison. Oh, that's, that's, that's possible. another possibility. Yeah. yeah. Are there oh, any great. left? Well, you we'll just what? put bison the singular. You know what? That could be it. Yeah, I like actually kind of like that one even more. Mm -hmm. All right, we're gonna go with a buffalo or a bison, and I can never know what the difference is. Got, why don't you go with uh, the spelled different American, with American yeah. bison? I think that they're close enough to the same. Or you can go with the uh, the team called the Buffalo Bison. Just to confuse That's everything. Right. The Buffalo Bills. Well, there is a team called the Buffalo Bison. Yeah. yeah. Oh, there's a Buffalo Bisons? Yeah. No. There's a Buffalo Bills, but not a Buffalo Bison. No, it's like a minor league team, some sport or something. Why would you be called the Buffalo Bisons? Hey, my favorite. Uh, uh, my, I think, you know what? I think that was the uh, the Buffalo team before before they got an NHL franchise. I so think so, too. Yeah, there. I think it was Buffalo Bisons there. Not as good a team name as the Macon Bacon, but hey. The Naked Bacon? Macon, Macon, Georgia. They have a team called the Naked Bacon. Oh, oh no, the Macon? best name. The, the best I know, name Swarthmore. Is the, the Swarthmore Mother Puckers. Mother Puckers, yeah. That was their hockey. That's the college hockey teams. The Swarthmore yes, Mother the Puckers. The Swarthmore Mother Puckers and the and the uh and the Haverford, Haverford Lame Ducks. And the Haverford Lame Ducks, yes. Yeah. Not uh, not uh, Division One, uh, Division One. Not, not, not even two. close. <laughs> Very good. And we're going to count. We're going to count Rudolph. Yeah, we're counting Rudolph. Or else, well, we all know he's. And Susan, Susan's Rudolph. going to sing the song just to prove our point that it is nine. <laughs> Do I think I know them all? Let me think. I don't. There's Donner and wait. Start me on it, Jane. How does it go? Esha and Dancer and Donner and Blitzen. Dancer and Donner and Blitzen. Well, Donner and Donner and, and, and Cupid and Nana and Donner and Blitzen and the one we da 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 da. Now Donner and Blitzen. The greatest reindeer of all. No, wait, that's only eight. I counted. Yeah, Rudolph just nine. Plus right, plus Rudolph. Donner and Blitzen oh, is, yeah, yeah. is a Donner and Blitzen is a uh, is a Johann Strauss uh, uh, tune, I think. Uh. Donner and Blitzen. Really? Let's see, Dash yeah. and Dancer. Donner and Blitzen. Donner and Blitzen. Blitzen. Crumpy and, and Cupid. Nobody and you know, Vixen. Blitzes. Nobody and Vixen. Prancer is one. I don't Prancer, think that's Vixen. Prancer and Vixen. Prancer and Vixen. Yeah, Prancer and Vixen. And then Comet and Cupid. Comet and Cupid. Yeah. But right. the greatest rainbow. Where, where, where are our Dopey and Doc and Grumpy and. Is Rudolph the Red Nose Reindeer? Okay, is time up yet? You got it. <laughs> you do research. Yeah. Well, I tried to do the research and I tried to verify and I did check couple of websites but um it is what up, it is you guys so you, you look on like, the internet right vincent they all pretty much said the same thing yeah, all right here we go everything on the internet okay. is correct yep. no arguing i don't want to hear Hello, any arguing. 
Are, are, are Republicans considered uh, animals that breathe through their butts? <laughs> they talk out uh, their butts. Do they breathe? They <laughs> up they breathe other butts. Yeah. So I'm going to post talk. the... Oh, uh, look at... She's, look at saying it's got little puppy ears or something. Uh, bear ears oh. or something. She's right. an honorary member of our team. Are they bunny ears? So I'm They're going to, supposed uh, to be cat uh, ears. Yeah. They're kitty oh. cat ears. Okay. Okay. They're ba baby hey, we're almost at break. Come on. So I'm going <laughs> to post the answers. And then All right, I let's go. Answers. Okay. Should have done all of them. Okay, so wow. 94%. Yeah, we were close. Wow. But Vincent oh, we got turtle. Vincent is going to say them as well so oh. the reporting can get it. So, so it's, 94% thank you, Karen. live in the Oops. ocean? Huge. Huge. And not on land, 94% are in the ocean? 94% are in the ocean wildlife. More than what's on, on, on the earth, on, on land. On the dirt. On the dirt. Number two is a turtle. Oh, and I'm so sorry, nice. I really had to be more specific on that. Number three is kits. Yeah, got Number four is purple. I know blue? there was no purple. Blue. I know that there was oh, one. That number did. one is 84 to 104. The answer he's looking for <laughs> is 95. 84 to 104. Plus or minus 10. Okay. Not yeah. Plus or minus 5. Did anyone say 104? <laughs> That's why I'm laughing. It would have been better than our guess. Okay. Uh, number five is um, a manatee. Would you accept yeah. Number six is ten. Sorry, Jane. Yeah, I can. I can test. I can test that. You doesn't it? Test. It has. It has ten appendages. It's a decapod, ten footed, but the mm. the two front ones are claws. Yeah, so they're not legs. But so bi biologists. Biologists consider them legs. But what well, if well, Vincent considers but them? This is Vincent considered, level. He considers the answer 10. I, I'm not, this is. And the answer is 10. Let's move on. It's fun. Okay. We're having uh, fun. It depends <laughs> on if you ordered the app or the entree. <laughs> That's true. Just they're delicious. Okay, number seven is a uh, clownfish. I think everybody got that. Yeah. Uh, number eight, uh, the national animal is the beaver. Hey, yay team! Yeah, uh, hey. I think everyone got that. Uh, number nine is uh, American bison. How about buffalo? Oh. Uh, uh, buffalo would work too. Bison, buffalo, yeah. Uh, and then uh, it's the the number for number 10, I'll accept either answer eight or nine, yeah. which of course is counting Rudolph. So it should only be taken nine because it's present tense. Oh, well, or zero, you should be taking zero because Santa isn't real. Zero, well, I <laughs> didn't point that out. Yeah, yeah. It's an, it could for, be for all the song. children watching this video. Kevin is a little delusional. We pretend <laughs> that what he says is true. a big fat lie. We know Santa exists. <laughs> of course, Kevin's been trying to steal Santa Claus's job for years. Sorry, kids, <laughs> go for a ride on Polar Express with uh, me. I'll have to be a church. Church. Oh yeah, Bill's got the bought the, got the Polar Express right there. Okay, so here we go. Guys have fun with this one. Or? Yeah, I thought it was fun. Good one. I liked it. Was good. I did enjoy it. Good. Thank you. I liked it. It. No, there was something that no. Okay. Those no. were real trivia questions. I liked it. Those okay. Those were real trivia questions. Yeah. Going to scores. Bad news for the braggart or port braggadocio. Seven. I just gave you Karen, so you should have done well. You got a brand new member, fresh. I, I, I talked about it. I, I led them to frog over turtle. Lovely. Well, we were going with starfish. I thought. But it was a secret. <laughs> starfish don't have butts. What are you talking about? <laughs> oh, I'm going to clip that out of this video, and that's just going to be playing in a loop so on TikTok. Starfish don't have butts. 
<laughs> they don't. <laughs> I, did, I did try to clarify number two. People were very confused. Did, did anyone else have blue for the tongue? Yeah. yeah. I yeah. looked it up. It can but, be considered blue, black, or purple. That's kind of what I'm seeing. All too. right. We so. got the real Jane. It's not a calamity at all. Seven. <laughs> okay. The Tennessee two steps. Eight. All right. 21 is too young to keep secrets. Oh. I believe we got 10. 10. Or odor in the court. Clarence Thomas stinks. <laughs> Seven. Wow, somebody went and took a little bit of a, a, a rise. In. That's good. 7.8. Good job. Let's take our picture. <clears throat> Everybody get yourself some ready. Make yourself as beautiful as you can be. And we'll take a nice photo. A photo. We're going to take a nice photo. Okay, everybody at their most glamorous. Okay, ready? I'm copying, copy, 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 copy. Got it. Okay. Five minutes. So Five next minutes. time I do these, I'm going to specify one answer only. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> You'll be <laughs> fine. Don't worry about it. As long it. as you make sure there is only one answer. Yeah. Well, yeah. That's the toughest part of writing a question. <laughs> that is the toughest. Why oh, in the heck would they breathe out of their acceptable butt? Acceptable answer. And, and make sure that the... Oh. Answer it's doesn't require belief. They in breathe the out of their butts when they hibernate. And apparently, well, the answer oh. to number eight and the answer to number nine. And is, apparently, they both appear on the nickel. Their butts too. Oh. Pigs. Pigs. And nickel had a beaver, oh. and the American nickel before 1938 had a bifolo, a bison. Some sea cucumbers have a fish that live in their butts. Ew. Some people have a worm that lives in their intestines. Mice and rats that's, can breathe through their butts. That's butt true. Too. It's gross, but anal aspiration. It happens. <laughs> Susan. Yeah. Thank you so much You're for that. You're going to be talking face. to my colleagues. You're welcome, Leonard. I had Sorry, to share. Wednesday? Not Thursday. Yeah, Wednesday, Wednesday. right? Yeah. Wait, right, let me see. What do I have written down? It's April. I have it written down my time, two o'clock on Wednesday the 19th. Is that right? And have they, have they sent you the link yet? If not, no. I will send it to you. Well, you it's not, it. I'm, I'm not too worried about it having okay. it fast, but if, yeah. I'm, I'm, are you going to, are you going to have a, a PowerPoint or anything? So you need to. Learn? What do you want me to do? Well, I was going to ask you what you wanted to do. I have told them about you in general terms, but I also talked about the Wikipedia particularly because you might find volunteers there. So at least I hope you'll mention that. Well, yeah, I mean, you could do you could do that same workshop I attended because they this is a group that would probably really um, how how long do you want me to talk for? Well, I have an hour and a half class and you have as much of that time as you'd like. Um, let me think about it, how I want to do it, um, okay. because, yeah, yeah, let me think about it, because I don't know if I want to do a workshop, because I think that they get on screen is kind of, that's more of like people who are definitely in skeptics, and they're like prepared to be doing a workshop, where they know they're going to be on camera, and yeah, uh, you, you, uh, what I have found is that half of my class doesn't even put on their, they, they stay black the whole time. Yeah, so that wouldn't work for a workshop. Um, I, I'm leaning more towards psychics. Oh, yeah. That because would be good, that's because I haven't done that at all in this class. I did it in the last one. It's a two part class, and this is part two, and psychics are in part one. So some of these people maybe I'll do psychics time. because, because I can show examples and, and uh, that kind of thing. Oh, and Robin, thank you for the for for subscribing. I saw you subscribed to my channel today. Good job. <laughs> I'm trying to get to a thousand so I can make a dollar fifty a week or something. Do, do we get do we get a, a a call out if we subscribe? Did you subscribe, Leonard? No, I haven't. Oh, okay. I'm I didn't bad, think I saw person. your name on there. Do I have to subscribe to your channel? 
you know, nobody has to do anything, but if you no. do, I'm going to get closer to getting to a thousand. And once I hit a thousand, I can monetize no. my channel and make money. But um, I'm going to, I'm going I'm sure to, it's not a lot of money, but you know, it just I'm feels good. Is it, is it your about your time channel? channel? No, it's uh psychics explained right there on the, in front of you on the screen. It's my psychics explained. The, the misspelled physics explained. Right? Psychic sex explained. Yeah. And I just uploaded a video today and I also did a hour talk with Kenny Biddle. And I will talk about that in a minute. Let me, let me. Um... Well, I won't be surprised if we can't get you a couple of people subscribing at that class. Oh, that'd be fun. Every time you tell people about your channel, do you make the joke about psychic sex planed? I've never, I've never said it to anybody except that one time I mentioned on Facebook. Because yeah. you can't tell right now when it's all capitalized, you guys, it looks like psychic sex, sex planed. planed. Hello, Susan. I might actually get a few people closer to home too. If, uh... In Lodi? Yeah, if Sacramento doesn't work out, I talked to, I was at Trivia Club last night with David Diskin and a couple people. So, you know, in the future, just. You know what, Carolyn, I'm happy to do Sacramento and go over to Lodi or Lodi and then go over to Sacramento the same day or whatever, or that night, the night before. If it's a <coughs> close group of friends, we could even do it at somebody's house. Okay. I mean, I'm, I'll, I'll talk to them. I'll, I'll have my car. I don't care. Just as long as I have time to get from place A to place right. B. Right. Yeah, of course. So, uh, Susan, so yes. yours, I'm on um, YouTube, and it, I just subscribed to your name, Su Susan Gerbig. Well, that's no, good. You, you, yeah, please subscribe to that, because that's got all our trivia on it and everything. Make sure okay. you got the yeah, right I, one, though. But the, but the one that I'm talking about is the one right in front of you. It says Psychics Explained, put at Psychics Explained. Oh, at Psychics Explained. Okay. Make okay. sure you got the right Susan Gerbic, though, because I sent a message to her cousin once. And she... That was on Facebook. Oh. I just put a picture in the chat. I think you have to download it. Um, oh, are we going to see a giraffe stick is us? There's a giraffe okay. sticking his tongue out. That's my daughter who went to Nairobi in January. Ooh. Okay, I'm going to be right back, you guys, but I'm still recording. Anyway, I think that I think the tongue looks blue, personally. You can say purple all day, but how do we know that giraffe didn't purple, just have purple, a slurpee? Purple, 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 purple. And if it's a purple, chow, purple, they purple. call it black. Purple, it's, just, purple. it's a name for a color. It's right? bluish, purplish, blackish. Yeah, and so any of those should be how yeah. how precise. <laughs> <laughs> Because they, they 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 say you know in American Kennel Club's breed standards they say chows have a black tongue. There is no way that tongue is black. It's a dark purple color. So yeah, I think we need to get tongue. someone with some color swatches to stand next to the giraffe. And what we what we need is to know the panto number. Exactly. There you go, Leonard. The well, Corporation. Well, I'm sure win. there's genetic variation among giraffes. Sure. Oh, you, want the, you want the you We're want the print pantone, <laughs> the the screen computer screen pantone, the ink print pantone. So, the, did I, uh, did I, I want I, the animal pantone? The animal so, pantone. Oh, okay. The one that will match the, the giraffe's tongue. Either the animal <laughs> one or the really slimy one. <clears throat> Did I did I not pick a good question then, or did I pick a good question because you guys are still arguing over it? We're not so arguing. Everybody involved. That's a good thing. We're having a friendly discussion. Nope. The lobster You're question just, was a, bullshit. So get another opportunity for pedantry. It's all just fine. That's which I uh, which I appreciate every opportunity I get. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I mean, you know, what what would we do without that? <laughs> so do I apologize or do I like no you, take you accept our you accept you, our you gratitude. apologize while taking a bow <laughs> I think you, you double know. down the next color uh the next category is all tongue colors oh, I love it yeah 
Yeah, there's several dog breeds, I think, that have dark tongues. Yeah. Look at my dog. Chow, chow. Look at my yeah, dog. You know, we could have a, a we, we category of all the, the funny. In the middle of it. <laughs> like all the funny colors of certain parts of it, like like blue-footed boobies and and blue-tongued and animals blue-footed and boobies do in fact have blue feet they do have blue they're feet. so they're cute. very blue aren't they, they look like fake they look like they walked in some no, weird paint or yeah, it's, a, it's a it's a pretty shade of blue it is it's pretty really it's, pretty yeah but doesn't look like it ought to be real though <laughs> they've got a very interesting courting dance yeah I'm sure they do. Well, wouldn't you if you had feet like that? So, Kyle, I was mm-hmm. listening. I've been listening to your. Oops. Pip of Kala, any Kala. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <geez>. <laughs> <laughs> these are these are paint colors with a national RAL number. They call it. Oh God, no! Yeah, he's not doing a category today of paint colors, is he? No, <laughs> no, no. We're just. To settling a thing on colors. <laughs> what was no, what was um, Janine starting to say? I started to say I was listening to Kyle's um, podcast with you on the surveys, and you were writing the survey and stuff. Oh, this yeah. morning, I heard the most horrible thing on NPR about children taken. They were using AI to identify children that would go to foster homes. Mm -hmm. And um, there was a story of this one child that um, there were some signals with the parents. They had some, the parents themselves had some learning disabilities. So AI had kind of picked them out. And then the baby was their baby was losing weight. And so they took him to the doctor and the doctor said, will change the formula, but it was during that time when there was a shortage of baby formula. And so they kept having trouble. They couldn't find a formula that the baby would really drink. And, and, but they were trying, they were doing the best they could. And then they finally had to, had the baby hospitalized uh, for dehydration because it wasn't taking enough. Well, the parent had filled out a, a, survey and one of the questions was and the father filled out the survey and it said how many times a day do you feed your baby and he took that to be how many times do you feed the baby not how many times a day is the baby fed so he put down two because he was (laughs) he fed the baby twice you know but other people fed the baby too and they put the baby in a foster home because um, of that question. Wow. That's crazy. Yeah. Where did you hear that? The, it was something on NPR, maybe. I gotta look into this. Yeah, I'll see if I can track it down. And if so, I'll message it to did you. Did they ever get the baby back once they figured out that he it was, just... was unclear? But I think the baby's still in foster care because because they were going, oh, there's some learning disabilities with the parents, and the baby was. It's was called literacy dehydrated rate and the, the baby was losing weight and blah 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 and then the father only fed them twice a day so oh wow <laughs> that's once, actually pretty once, good in some households yeah, i could have been a zero <laughs> yeah. well, for, for a newborn you know that right, i accidentally muted you tr- when i gave you your co-host thing sorry anybody so said i came up and said the exactly host wants you to unmute yourself like well, okay. Yeah, I, I muted you, meaning that I, I was trying to give you your powers and I muted you. Oh, oh, I, oh that yes. was wrong. Okay. I'm not thinking I'm right. right. I, I ain't right. All right, we're she back, right? right? She just, I I'm right not right. I'm just not right. She's not, I ain't right, not in right in the head. <laughs> so, uh, Kyle, what's going on since we've been talking about you? Well, this week on Data Skeptic, the latest episode is an interview with a researcher about non response bias. So in cases where you're taking a survey, maybe you want to interview the same people once a year for a couple of years, not everyone is going to follow through. You're going to lose people in that process. And then what does that mean to your analysis? Uh, Does it skew it in any way? And so we talk about some of the methodologies used for trying to balance when people don't respond to your surveys. Pay them cash. That's one option if you've got (laughs) the cash, yeah. Well, there's, There's a limitation to that one. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> yeah. Surveyor limitation. Sure. Yeah. Funder I mean, yeah, I've gotten, Funder. I've gotten super skeptical of all surveys. I always think if, if somebody wants to survey me, they're gathering my data for their own purposes. I also <laughs> suspect every political party uh, as masquerading as the other political party to try to She's skeptical. <laughs> trick me into um, answering a survey. And um, so I basically have just given the middle finger to every survey of every kind. Yep. And so that was that's going to bias the survey against skeptical that, people. That's a form I of think, non, non-participation. If yeah, exactly. Pluto is really Thomas John in drag. <laughs> <laughs> He's right under her hair. <laughs> I think you're right. You know, it's, it's, I, I'm sick and tired of surveys. Yeah, you know, me too. You know, and it's been going on for years because I worked at a company in, in a JCPenney's for a company called Life Touch. And my God, that's all we were evaluated on is your freaking survey. And it was so, so annoying. You have to, you have to constantly be like, get them to do the survey, get them oh. to do the survey. They got to say your name in the survey. And now even I go get like, um, I talked to at and phone company. They want a survey. You go to the grocery and store. Right. They want a survey. And if yes, you don't and answer, every, every, they everybody who's giving yeah. you a service it's says, so well, annoying. I fill out a survey. Yeah. And so I'm like, no, I, I don't have time for this shit. talking about how we <laughs> survey so much. Yeah. Derail it, Susan. I'm sick of them. I'm sick of them. Because this is the new economy. The data is wealth. I have a I have a little story about customer survey. So, like, long time ago now, I got a new phone. And this was, you know, before the days of seamless transfer, I took the phone into the Sprint store and said, hey, I just got this new phone. Can you guys transfer my contacts from the old phone to the new phone? And they go, oh, that phone's too new. We don't have the software for it yet. I'm sorry. Is there anything else (laughs) we can help you with? I said, no. I go, okay, well, would you would you like to answer a quick survey about your satisfaction? You know, how well are you satisfied with the, the, the service I gave you today? What and sir? I said I said three. Now, as a preface, you know, at the time, you know, I had experience in management, and our standards for evaluation and management was, you know, three is meeting an acceptable standard of doing the job, four was really above board, and five was you're in the wrong job, you need to be promoted. So to me, three is good but not great. But when I said three, she looked at me like I took a dump on Thanksgiving dinner. Said, three, oh my God, you can't give us a three. Like, like yeah, well, I, I came in, you weren't able to do something. It was like, well, but I mean, we didn't have the ability to do it. Yet. Well, I'd have given you a five if you said, leave your phone here and come back in an hour. We'll manually transfer all your contacts and type them in by hand. But you didn't do that, so I gave you a three. Said, well, is there anything we can do <laughs> for that? that you, what, what if we give you a $50 credit on your phone bill for, for next month? Oh, sure. I'll give you a five if I do that. So, so the store's compensation is, oh my based, God. On, is based on the survey, but they have uh-huh. the, the freedom to improve customer satisfaction by offering a discount when someone's unsatisfied with the service. So oh, it's hilarious. built into their model, this incentive for, for the stores to just give people discounts on their phone bill so that the store would get more money, even though Sprint's getting less money. Right. Hilarious. Oh, that's that's that, awful. That's crazy. I would take them. I agree. When you build incentives into a system, you have to really think if they make sense and if they can be too easily gamed. Oh yeah. You should Carl, go back Kyle, you got to have Carl on your show to tell you that story. Go back every month, Kyle, and give him a three. <laughs> well, not, <laughs> yes. Yes. Every month. Okay. Every month, back and give him a three every month. So I hear Richard Saunders has a podcast. Somebody told me that. I don't know if it's yeah, true. I've heard that. I don't think I they do. exist in Australia. I mean, well, that's why I'm going to Canada. You are. <laughs> Finally, yeah. Okay. So after 54 years, I'm going back to Canada. I'm going to Calgary to the We Can Reason conference, which is on the 5th and 6th of May. I think 5th and 6th of May in Calgary. And I'll be speaking on the topic, Are Ghosts Afraid of Skeptics? Oh, they better be. And making origami. Um, In fact, I've just said to Adrian, everybody who attends the conference will get a magic rabbit in a hat. I love your magic rabbits. Oh, Oh. So come along to that if you can. 
But uh, on the Skeptic Zone podcast this week, I interview Adrian Hill right here in the Skeptic Zone studios about her cruise from Sydney to uh, New Zealand and all the woo she encountered. She giggles a little bit. She does sometimes. I heard that. Yeah, yeah I've heard she does that. Also, uh, the Trove segment looks at a whole page of a uh, newspaper from decades ago, or um, the whole page is dedicated to the paranormal and the supernatural, and some other things which I have to write. That's coming up on the Skeptic Zone podcast. <laughs> Very you good. know what the great thing Ooh. about uh, coming to Canada is, or coming to Calgary? You don't have to go anywhere because the airport is like so close to the hotel. Oh, now that's good news. Oh, well, I, yeah. I, I, I'm going to be staying with Adrian, not at a hotel. Oh, okay. Yeah. Then you'll be a bit further away then. That, that, cool. that suits me. I can meet her dog, the earring eating dog. Cool. Yeah, yeah, cool. Yeah, <laughs> cool. She Let's actually lives. She actually lives fairly close to the airport, so. Uh, I'm yeah. jealous. But, you know. All right. So I have, what have I got? I've got something, I'm sure. I'm going to be. I just did an interview today with Kenny Biddle on my channel. My channel is Psychics Explained, and it would be nice if you would subscribe. I would really feel nice about you. Hey, Susan, what's the story with Thomas John? He's going nuts on on Twitter on um, TikTok. Uh, TikTok. I was yeah. like, he is he's going viral on TikTok, which is making my videos go uh, get bigger. He's I you know I I can't he's uh, buying ads on um, TikTok. He's he's been hey. buying the. Uh, He's been paying people to endorse him on TikTok. And he's got like, he like I saw this one tarot reader. She's got like 160,000 subscribers on TikTok. And he says, we're going to do a thing together. And she just went like nuts. Like, oh, the great famous Thomas John is once me. And I'm like, he wants your TikTok followers, man. You know, he doesn't care about you. He just, <laughs> it's just crazy. He is just going nuts. If he doesn't get another show, I'm going to be shocked. But After every one of them, I'm going on saying, you realize this guy's a con man, right? Look up on Wikipedia and I'm pointing him towards your Oh, good for you, Kevin. It's I don't have the patience for it. And how many people have argued with this? Just look up Thomas Flanagan. Look up Lady Vera Parker. He's a drag queen. He, sh he should stick to that because that's a more honest living. Yeah, sure Washington. is. And then, and I say that <laughs> you know, he's a convicted felon. Yeah, we're 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 battling, and we have two Facebook groups that have started up. There were Thomas John uh, trying to get refunds. Plus, Kevin's got one too that's got a lot of stuff in it, and I am battling him. And I just I hear from people all the time fighting for getting their money back. It's really been incredible. But anyway, I just did a I just did a my first live feed today. It was with Kenny Biddle. We did it kind of impromptu, and I think it turned out really well. And it's about how. We investigate how the skeptic community actually goes into great depth to investigate something, the work we do, because I've been having a, a challenge with a medium on Facebook. You guys may have seen that before. We have totally different, um, you know, the conversation. We have totally different ways of defining the word evidence. And it's been really, it's it the psychology of this whole thing is just really interesting. It's sad, but it's it's an interesting thing. Um, I'm going to be giving a talk to the atheists in Florida, Florida atheists on sunday um maybe i have a link um and anybody have anything else i should know about i'm going to be talking to uh gail's group on wednesday hey susan yeah I heard a knocking on the roof. We were just talking about surveys and customer surveys. Well, I just bought travel insurance for my trip. And what, what email has just arrived? Can you see that? Are, are you service. satisfied? Oh, it's how have we done so far? <laughs> I just bought it. How, how are we doing? Oh, Delete. my gosh. That's how you're doing. Delete. <laughs> they want to get you before you. Because you're spamming me. Susan. Yes. I just subscribed to something called Psychics Explain Grief Vampire Edition. Is that the one? That's us. That's me. Is there more than one edition? Or is no, there's only that one. Oh, okay. That's, so that's that the, the, the channel is devoted to me breaking down uh, psychic readings. And my, my thought process is, is that very few people do this. Nobody does it just 
just psychics. I mean, they might have some debunking things on their channels, but the, completely devoted to it. And what I think is happening in the skeptic community, the more I'm thinking about this, is the skeptics don't really understand what mediumship is or how a reading is. And what we do is we come across with like a flippant answer and we say, you know, they're just throwing out letters out there like A and B, and you're, who's got an M, who's got a Michael. And they're throwing that out. And the person who's actually a believer is going, it doesn't work like that. No, no, they're not doing that. My my psychic, you know, gave me a full reading and they said these specific things. And so psychics, I mean, believers and skeptics are butting heads because the skeptics aren't really aware of what is being done in modern mediumship these days. And so, so when they're trying to poo-poo the psychics, the believers are going, you don't have a clue. You don't have even a slight clue because that's not what it looks like. And it isn't. So I've been breaking it down in depth and um, I'm attracting a, my YouTube channel is completely different from the skeptic community. It's, it is believers. And I've had quite a few people already tell me, oh my gosh, I had no idea that that's what was happening. I just had a woman write to me yesterday that she, she bought a $500 reading for Thomas John two days ago. She, she bought a $500 reading and then felt like something was wrong, looked it up, found my videos. She binge watched a bunch of my Thomas John things. And then she attacked him. Like, I guess she's like an executive in a company somewhere. And she's like, oh no, we didn't talk about customer service. She's like, you are giving me my money back. You have 72 hours. I want it in writing. I'm going to, you know, and, and he, and she just texted me right before we started. Here it is. I got my refund. Oh, he, he got scared. He was scared because she was like, oh, no, I'm not putting up with this shit. You're giving wow. me my refund. I have watched this. Oh. I have watched the Susan Gerbic stuff. And she has shown me what what bullshit this is. And you know what? They have oh. this answer because whenever my name comes up, the answer is you're going to love this. You guys don't believe her. They're lying to you. She's an atheist. <laughs> yeah that's, that it. is what they that is exactly and i've had many people tell me that's what they say well that person. i'm an atheist and so therefore don't listen to what i'm saying and and some people tell me they'll say this is what they said about you and i don't understand what being an atheist why should i be afraid and then and then i said i think it's working with some people i think there are some people they're all women that are very christian and they're afraid of atheists well, it, it, it's By not the way, when I was in the ghost hunting, atheists, when I was in the ghost hunting, I'm sorry. When, when they, one they at a time. Hear, do they hear that you're an atheist and therefore you can't be trusted? Exactly. Or maybe I don't believe in the afterlife. One of the least trusted groups in America. No, you, you can't be trusted, period. And well, you can't be trusted. Don't God, believe God, if you don't believe in God, how could you have gotten the power? When, when I was growing up as a Christian, you didn't go to psychics. That was, that was bad stuff no you didn't yeah, go to but psychic we're, but, we're old, but you Bob. went to you went to people who were um um uh what is it called um rapists <laughs> no what is the word there's another word for psychic they're called uh people who Clergy. are Clergy. 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 mediums no no quiet everybody susan explain what you're trying to say it's a word that is used in the Christian faith uh, that is people who first letter. Are, Prophet. <laughs> they're um prophet sayers. Do you mean prophet, Susan? Prophet, thank you. Thank you. Right. Prophets. Well they, prophets they, are they, there. they get their words. They well, get see, their word the You're a not for profit. Yeah. All yeah, right, Carolyn, they, what they were you trying to say, Carolyn? And then we'll get started back to the game. Okay, when I was in the ghost hunting community, there were a lot of atheists who believe in ghosts. That's all I was going to say. Yeah. I find that fascinating. Yeah. The problem I with using atheist as a word to discredit you, <laughs> it works with a lot of religious people who don't have any atheist friends and they conflate. I know it sounds crazy to us. Atheism with it's Satanism. Satanism. Yes, yeah, absolutely. Right. Yep. They, they just yep. conflate the two. Absolutely. Well, they, Sylvia Brown was on the, on the television show with, with Randy. Yeah. She said that the problem with Randy is that he's an atheist. You and know what? I think I do remember hearing that. You're right. 
Okay, so let's go back to the game, even though this has been fascinating. Yeah. Because <laughs> because they they have to get people who believe who are willing to believe in bullshit. Yeah. And atheists don't believe in bullshit. So oh, of course uh, they no, do. No, no, yeah, we do. Yeah, <laughs> oh my do. god. Well, there's just one kind we avoid. Yeah, this is just one. Theoretically. Okay, so Troy is up next, you guys, and Troy's only done a couple things before. So this is you can be marginally nice. You don't have to be all the way nice. Right, Troy? Right. Okay, right, what do you got, Troy? The pressure off. All, All right. right. Tells me Troy can take care of themselves. Yeah, Don't yeah. Be mute, everyone. Well, we need the category. We need the category. It is grown. gardening. Gardening. Okay. Can you mute us, please? Yay! I like gardening. Who does the muting? Zeke. Zeke. Zeke's doing garden. Right. She's talking to herself. She's like, I gotta find okay. a customer. Okay, so um, I picked these questions to include a spread of like history, geography, geology, chemistry, and biology. There's a little for everyone. And it's all related to gardening because, you know, it's springtime, unless you're in the Southern Hemisphere. Sorry, Richard. Hi, <laughs> right, Richard. So question one, which botanist published Species Planetarum, Latin for the species of plants in 1753, classifying all plant names into a system of genus and species that could be universally understood. Question two, what are the three basic types of soil which when combined well make up loamy soil? Three, what is the name of a family of plants which fixes nitrogen into the soil? If I'm going too fast, let me know. Four, where is Kew Botanical Gardens? How accurate. What? How Bill? I, I, don't, I didn't get what you said. How close do we have to be? Uh, city or city and country. I guess. Thank you. You're welcome. Five, why do you not use sand to amend clay soil? And what should you use instead? Six, fertilizers are rated by NPK numbers. What do NP and K stand for? Seven, what is the generic name for an old cultivar of vegetable that's been around for many decades? Eight, when a plant has beautiful lush foliage, but almost no fruit, the plant has an overdose of what? Nine, what is the name of the scale used for measuring the heat of peppers? And number 10, which noxious weed which is part of the carrot family, is often mistaken as Queen Anne's lace, but has reddish or purple spots and streaks on its stems and will give you a serious rash. Hey, so you got, uh, there's a couple here that we should probably look into because they have multiple answers to them. So um, on question two, you have three basic types of soil, which when combined make up loamy soil. So the three basic types of soil are three different answers. So sh can we say what are one of the three basic types? Would that be all right, Troy? Nope. I want three. Um, Do they make sense to be like? It would be Queen like Louis? we were asking what are the four elements? Earth, air. Well, Rob's not here to complain. Water. <laughs> yeah, Rob's not here. 
you know what I mean? If you say, what are the Oh, so it, they're common, like they would make sense together. Yeah. Okay. All right. That's fine. And then the other one was uh, about sand. Yes. Why would you not use number five? Why would you not use sand to amend clay soil? And what would you use instead? So would that make sense if they were both Two together or should we just pick one or the other? I don't want to have people have to do two different answers. If you get one, I think you could answer either one. What do you think, Troy? Count it, I would say. Uh, if I had to pick just one, I would say do the first half. Why do you not use sand to amend clay soil? Okay. So we'll we'll go with that as the default. And if, if you come up with the second them, one, you get brownie points. Okay. We can go with brownie points because I like brownies. Okay. I don't like them with nuts in them. Just letting you guys know. I don't. I don't either. Good. Oh, good, good job. Well, we're on the same level, Troy. Yeah. yeah All right. Okay. So everybody ready? No more questions. Okay. Pushing the button. Go for it. Alan, you are in room two. And I be in room three. The answers. Hello, team. Hello. Hello, team. Hello. Do I look crooked to you guys? I am crooked. Why? Slightly, yeah. My camera keeps doing this. I tried to readjust things and now it's slowly just tilting. And I, I. Susan, I'm supposed to be in room two. Okay. So nobody say anything. You still have your powers, don't you, Vincent? No. Or do I? Oh, yeah, no, I didn't I take do. them back away from you. Because I, I keep know. having this problem. So I've been leaving people with them. Okay, no, I will go to room two. All right, bye. You, you uh, Susan, I noticed you're digging through the archives, finding stuff I forgot about years ago. You like that? I've never heard yeah, of that. That, that one thing. that you put up the other day where you analyzed some psychic or other, that's that's from 15, at least 15 years ago, 16 well, years ago. Well, I thought ago. it was the 1990s, but I guess it's 2005 or something. I just just guessing and just looking at the hosts i think it's more recent than the 90s but it's it's wild it's yeah it's an old show yeah mark said don't go into the old things and i said you know what i like the idea of doing that because it shows how little has changed or how much has changed it's, it's exactly the same as what they would do now but if you look at the mitchell coombs file then you'll see a lot of hot reading there oh that might be interesting yeah very mitchell good yep. in fact i've okay. labeled some of them Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. I'm sorry. Okay. Yeah, Richard, I've, I've seen the file. I just picked that one out at random because I thought it was a good representative of just some, somebody. I, okay. Um, is, number one, is, is number one Linnaeus? That sounds familiar. Yeah, that was right. yeah, he was Linnaeus. a botanist. He was a botanist, so he did the, you know, the Linnaean classification but i think he yeah. might have also written a book about plant species and the dates the dates right yeah i was gonna say linnaeus too so i agree okay. with you. I, I think that's a good guess we don't know three basic types of soil i don't know types it, of soil does anybody I don't know would, types of soil. would it be I like think, um dry green no, wet no 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 i think it's hummus sand and clay hummus, hummus oh that makes hummus. sense yeah yeah and that would make sense, yeah. like Troy said, they're like all three together. Yeah. Like who Huey, Dewey, and Louie. Yeah, it's they're not they're components of soil. So any soil is going to have a certain amount of this, certain amount of that, certain amount of that. So I think, yeah, loam is the really nice, rich. It's friable and and you know it doesn't compact too badly. So I think it's hummus, sand, and clay. I, I, I agree. Think does that sound good? Yeah. Yeah. Got yeah. oh. it up there okay. already. Okay. Good deal. What is the name of the family of plants which fixes nitrogen into the soil? Legumes. Oh. Or like beans, right? Yeah. Beans, alfalfa, clover, indigo. Oh. Well, this we found Bob's category. Indeed. What is Q Botanical Garden? Where is it? London, London. England. Oh. London, yeah. I think. Q Gardens. Yeah. Never heard of it before. Is it beautiful or something? Got a reputation. Yes. Why do you not use sand? I knew that 
I don't, it doesn't work, I guess, but I don't know, Gail, how it would does, you... That's a good answer. <laughs> well, yeah, it doesn't, doesn't break. Well, I knew the second half, so it's kind of frustrating when... Well, why don't we do, do, the, do what the second, second half, half, Bob? Yeah. You add gypsum to the clay. To because sand up. is too... Yeah. I was going to say hummus based on our answer to... <laughs> I was, yeah, I was hummus say, would help too, is, yeah. You're, you're what we what what we're, you're saying sand and clay by itself doesn't have what the hummus would have if the gypsum does. How's well, that? What is it about gypsum? Gypsum is that little white I, stuff. It, yeah, it's like a it's like a, a styrofoam looking calcium sulfate. I think is what it is, and it yeah, but it's the treatment for overly clay soil. But that's the part she didn't want, so I don't know. So, well, what would be the reason? It'd be because soil, because clay, um, sand doesn't have it doesn't the have. what is in gypsum. Yeah, I think that's the answer, right? The answer is there are three parts, and sand isn't going to give you that part. Well, whatever has is in gypsum is missing. Exactly. No, it's the nature of the. The way it bonds to the clay and breaks it up. Well, that's it... a good answer. Okay, hey, what's the NPK? Na uh, nitrogen. Oh, yeah. Nitrogen. Phosphorus. Phosphorus and potassium. The K is potassium. P, P is phosphorus. K is potassium. Is that right? Anybody else? Yeah, that Chemist. fits. Yep, okay. And the next the, the next one is legacy, right? Heirloom. Oh, heirloom. Legacy, heirloom. Oh, heirloom. Yeah. Heirloom. Yeah. heirloom. You're right. Yeah, that's, oh, that's yes, what I was yeah. Like a rose, heirloom rose. Yeah. 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 Okay, when a plant has a foliage of Oh, is that what the problem is? I've been having Too much problems. nitrogen, yeah. How do you get yeah. more nitrogen nitrogen in the soil? Yeah, that's the How do you do it? it? Well well, you okay, we buy a fertilizer, you might have 10, 10, 10, which means they're equal percentages, or you might have something like 60, 10, 10, something like that. Uh, if you, you're going to fertilize your lawn, you want a lot of nitrogen because you don't want it to flower. You just want the leaves, you know, the grass. So that would be a high nitrogen. Yep, so there are well. different proportions for different uses. So we want. So if I want more fruit, I need to get rid of the balance. nitrogen, less yeah. nitrogen. If you want to get fancy, you can do a soil test and see what you're missing. And then no, I don't want to do that. Tweak it like that, you know. But yeah, it's it's a whole sciencey thing, you know. Ugh. Okay, and the Scoville, Scoville scale, yeah. Scoville scale, yeah. Okay, uh, didn't we just talk about this today before you guys got here? When I went and grabbed my broccoli back here behind me, there was something, yeah. I just weed is part of the carrot family is often mistaken for Queen Anne's leaves in this reddish or purple spot. Is it is it hemlock? I don't know for sure. Sounds good. Is that uh, hemlock will kill you, not give you a serious rash. I don't know, it might. Well, if you make a infusion of it, if you concentrate it, but I think is hemlock part of the carrot family? I thought the answer was Queen Anne's lace until she finished doing the answer because I knew those were ca well, no carrot. Carrots. That's just a wild carrot, yeah. Yeah. This has, it doesn't have the purple splotches. They're they're umbellifers. They're all umbellifers. Um, you know, there's parsley, cow parsley, angelica, carrots, um, fennel, I think. They're all umbellifers. But I just, and I'm not sure of this, but I think it's hemlock. Well, it, the serious rash part makes me think that it is probably something like a hemlock, you know, that has a problem. I'm going to, 
I'm going to go get something and show you something. Ooh. You don't oh, have to expose yourself to a rash just for the question. <laughs> well, hemlock will, hemlock will kill you if you eat it, but a rash may just be from touching. Hi, Max. Max. You realize this is all going on the video, right? I don't care. <laughs> is, that, being, is that like Clucky Venus? Well, there's a chicken right there, Richard. You see this? Can you see the stick? Yeah. It goes all the way. That's a. This is the flower stalk of a plant called Angelica. The seed it's again. A, it's, a, it's called Angelica. This it's all the way up, six and a half feet up there. But it's they after the after they die, the stems just dry out and this long. But they're kind of fragile, but they're they're really. I mean, it, it's a weed. Oh, it's, it's a seven foot weed. What would happen if you licked it? I don't. Would you get a rash? Kyle, no, said. I think I think I think there it has um, herbal uh, herbal herbal uses. When you said I'm going to go get something, Kyle said, "Don't get a rash, just just to show it." No, this is really cool. They're they're just they're way over your head, and it's just it's a it's um, related to carrots and parsley and celery and all that, but it's just a really big one. Interesting. So, well, Troy, we had a ringer in our group. Indeed. Well, good. Um, but I want to clarify something for you, just because I can see some of your answers. Number five, it's the first half of it. What do you not add to sand? Oh, I see. You answered both. You added. You would not yeah. add gypsum, but you would add humus. Is that how I'm reading your? No, the other way around, right? Well, that wasn't the half you wanted anyway. Yeah, the, yeah. the half I wanted, if I had to work? pick one, is the first half. What? Why do you not use sand to amend clay soil? And neither gypsum or humus is a why answer. So, so Bob was explaining it to us. So Bob. Tell Gil how to write what you were saying earlier. No, it was, yeah, it was why, why doesn't adding sand work? Uh, why, why do you not add sand? Right. So you were explaining to us why, but we just didn't know how to write I, that. I don't. Because okay. it doesn't bond or what was it? No, I, it doesn't solve the problem, but I don't. I can't. Yeah, yeah that's exactly. the reason not to because it doesn't solve the problem. Uh, yeah, anyway, okay. that's I just want to point that you're looking for. Okay. A did, but I everybody about that done, you, Troy. The answer to the uh, second one group half. is long done. Another group is still floundering because one group has a bunch of gardeners and the other group does none. So <laughs> just give a two minute warning if we're about mid middle and. Okay, yeah. I will go I check with the guys. rest of them. Okay. So, Bob, how do you want to say this? Because it makes it. I don't. I don't. It, because if you, if you do it, you just got. It's still heavy, and the clay still sticks together. I guess. So it doesn't. It doesn't have enough, like, because gypsum is, like, larger pieces. Of, it looks like a little tiny styrofoam. It's the stuff you get when you buy. Um, it adds more air. Gypsum has like a more air, and sand is going to be really just, dense. I thought you just added the. I thought you just added the powdered form, and it was the way it chemically reacts with the clay to loosen it up. I thought, I thought it was. I thought, I thought it had to do with air. Like when you buy yeah, a plant. That's not the, not the question. Is why doesn't adding sand work? Because it's the problem too compact. Is it's, still it's still heavy and it needs something. So what is it? Yeah. It needs air. It needs like that, like uh, yeah. filler. Yeah, it's an yeah. airy kind of. Uh, yeah, it doesn't. It's still it heavy and needs air. Yeah, I think so. Because if gypsum is, is that little 
white uh, stuff that you find when you're buying a plant. It's mixed in there and it's like air. It's like a... No, oh, no, no, no. That's perlite. That's little... Those are little inert. They look like little tiny pieces of styrofoam. Yeah, but that's not gypsum. This is be a powder. Okay, well then maybe that's what it is. It's not gypsum that needs to be added. It's 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 this, but because well, I know what you're talking the question, about. There's like the styrofoam balls kind of thing. The, yeah, it's a uh, perlite, or uh, yeah. Okay, but so is that what is, we're talking why about? Why doesn't sand work? Because it doesn't loosen the soil and and it needs and make that. It it needs something in there to give it like a like an air, like a so moisture can go in. Sand makes it too dense. It's too yeah too bonded. Yeah, it's, it's, well, that's what I wrote. Yeah, it's now. it's like, so heavy and it needs air. Okay, so something like, like adding, that makes sense. Okay, yeah, that's good. It's just like adding sand to concrete. It it adds bulk, but it's still going to be a solid thing right. when you're done. So you need something that's going to have allow it to. Yeah, to allow water yeah. to go through and allow air to go through. Yeah, allow... perme perme add permeability, I guess, is the answer you want. Okay, air so and permeability. Um, Troy, just put uh, close all rooms. Oh, that it's is it. Long. Okay, and then it'll ask you confirm, and then just hit yes. Very good, you did it. Ta -da! And I put that... hemlock for ten. That's what you okay. all yeah, agree, I, right? I think that that seems right. I I don't know. We don't, don't really have a lot of it. We know that hemlock, if you eat it, is is poisonous. Yeah, it's toxic. But if you touch yeah. it, will it give you a rash? Yeah, I would think so. Okay, it's then the it's probably toxic. hemlock from what you're saying. Yeah. Yeah, I we a, don't have a, a lot of that. Of... We had something that was growing in our yard, and I thought it was Queen Anne's lace, but it's not yeah, a common that's... thing. It's like a weed. Isn't Queen Anne's lace a weed? Yes. Well, yeah, yeah. But it's, it's pretty, native. right? But it's Very pretty. yeah, yeah. It's a real lacy, and it's got. If you look underneath, it's got the stem, and then the, these little branches that come off, and then at the end is is all this. There's a tiny flower on each one, so that's the umbel. Is that structure that has all these little branches coming off of it? So one of the yeah, things that's really amazing <laughs> is to look at some of the before uh, we started cultivating plants. And look at the original carrot. And yeah. then you realize oh, yeah. why it's related to Queen Anne's lace. It looks a lot like Queen Anne's lace. We have changed yeah. it to make the vegetable that we're accustomed to. Yeah. Yeah. And the, the original carrot was purple. Yeah. The ones that the, when they were uh, breeding them to, to be edible, they were purple. And then the orange came along later. There is still purple ca carrots available. Yeah. You can get yeah, them. yeah. Yeah. But I'm saying that the original domestic carrot was purple but they don't taste as good i tried them mm. the, the orange ones are sweeter yeah thanks guys good 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 category yeah for sure yeah I think well we'll see fun. i think so uh... good category Trey. Hey, Deborah. Yes, sir. Did you know that we're being recorded? We are. Yeah, <laughs> I think I heard that. Thank you, though. Yeah, you're welcome. So I didn't want to, I wouldn't have wanted to miss that. You oh. have to watch your language, Deborah. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. All right. Yeah, so that's going to put a real kink in her style. Okay, so I'm just yeah. going to say the answers here. Okay. Number one, Carl Linnaeus. Yay. Hey, at least we got that one. Number two, sand, silt, and clay. Well, oh, okay. They were really close. right. All right, good. Good job, Karen. Three, if you get to order, legume. Well, yep. that was right. Well, yeah. Huh. Huh, we got number, it. Number four, London, England, or London, UK, or whatever. We had a discussion about that. That it's in Q, which is not in London. It's outside of London. Oh, you guys, you know what it means. Come on. 
According to the Wikipedia page, it's in London. <laughs> and, so, but, and, and let me tell you, Troy knows Wikipedia. Well, but he me, said it was me, in Kew. Let me tell you something. And Bono's been there. I've been to Kew Gardens. Kew Gardens. Yeah. And there is a very popular nursery rhyme in England that says, go down to Kew in lilac time, lilac time, lilac time. Go down to Kew in lilac time. It isn't far from London. Yeah, well, that was then. <laughs> London has, <laughs> London has moved it's out now. It's in continental. Con it's continental drift. It's moved a little closer. Ur urban <laughs> sprawl. So is Q is Q allowed as an answer? I don't know that it's a city. Um, and I did ask the city. The first sentence in Wikipedia says is a botanical garden in southwest London. So uh, the answer you, is no, you Ron. That Las Vegas Strip is in Las Vegas. Yeah. You're technically wrong because it's not in Las Vegas. Yeah, London refers to the city of London, which is the tiny bit in the middle, and you've got Greater London. It's like Sydney, right? Sydney okay. is this it little says place near Q the Harbour Bridge, and then yeah, it says Q hey, is Matt, a Mano, take, Mano, take the point anyway. Yeah. Okay, uh, I think so. Yeah, well, I, I agree. It's if, <laughs> if they had a discussion in their room and said, "Well, it's London," and then they said, "But it's not exactly well, they London." Knew what they were talking That's about. That's right. Yeah. They're cool. They're, they're, they know knew what they were talking about. <laughs> what I wrote was Q near London, England. That's right. It's in. And, and in. Q is a district in Richmond. Somebody kept which, asking me about part New of London boroughs, and I was like, huh? Are you the guy that gives 007 his weapons? <laughs> Let Troy finish. <laughs> we're on question five. Thank you. We're on five, indeed. Uh, this was the original answer to the duel. Adding sand to clay creates heavier, hard, or solid soil structure akin to concrete. Instead, amend clay soils with organic matter, such as compost, which lightens clay soils. So the first it. half is, if you said anything that makes it hard or solid or rocky or concrete, 18. Then, then you rise. Good. Yeah, we had to have a little discussion. And ours is on ours is on video. Just letting you know. For the chemists, yeah. um, we said. Wait a minute. My husband said gypsum. Oh, I thought we stayed with concrete. Yeah, I thought we stayed with concrete. We stayed concrete. Okay. Wait. Wait. So some people, I did correct one group whose um, answers I could see. They were answering something like gypsum. I said, but it, the question is why? Why do you not add it? Not what do you add or what don't right. you add? So there that doesn't so you wanted a why and so that it's a y compound y question why yeah. do you not and what should you use yeah, but we're instead only, we're only counting the first half right we, we, we were only answering the first half we would only so count the first half altered the question at time so if you answer oh, the second half I, correct you got brownie <laughs> points for that if you answer the first half correct you get a point right i think we've okay, got brownie I, points. Yeah, we got it wrong. all of us had concrete okay yeah. okay all right then Number six uh, for the chemists, nitrogen, phosphorus, potassium. So does everybody potassium. agree that that was a concrete answer? Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> Just good. <laughs> okay. We're going to get the name dad. He is the king of the dad jokes. <laughs> <laughs> Number seven, heirloom, heirloom yep. plants. Yay. Nice. Mm. And number eight, nitrogen. Nitrogen yeah. will help produce lush foliage, but too much cool. will make the plant concentrate on leaves, not fruit. Mm -hmm. I actually got a question right. Holy moly. So if you feed the plant lots of nitrogen and yell at it so it can't concentrate, does it flower? <laughs> no, you have to distract it by going up Banner. and like slamming your it hands makes next it to it. Shrivel up and shrink <laughs> away then. How do you get okay. rid of all the nitrogen? The this is why you don't piss in your garden. Too much nitrogen. <laughs> oh, is that what's been going on? Is somebody been peeing reason, on my trees? Huh? That may be the reason why you don't piss in your garden. I do because the fourth ticket is triple. <laughs> <laughs> I learned my lesson. I do not get it at all. <laughs> In other words, she got home drunk. Okay. Number nine. A lot of you got this right. Scoville. Still thinking about Karen's answer. On the Scoville scale. 
And the last one, I heard a lot of correct answers. Poison hemlock. Or yes. Enough Good job, lock. Bob. Yep. Or what? Hemlock. Oh, shoot. We was got there that one. She was that reading, is what um, we got. She's reading we, the, um, her voice kind of went, her audio went away. She's reading the Latin. We changed. We, changed no, we, we left the, it at hemlock, Vincent. You'd let, you, don't oh, need to, okay. you do not need to know cranium maculatum, but if you want, and wrote that down, then you're right too. Yeah. Very How about good. Giant hogweed. Hogweed. We uh -huh. also had hogweed. Hogweed. It's called we had dog. hogweed. We had hogweed looks like it's a right answer, though. It's, uh, it is not. Hogweed called. looks like hemlock. Hogweed is has the right look. It's in the carrot family. I would say umbrella for. I've never heard of hogweed. I yeah, have found the the detail. Detail. Potter wet there, right? Yeah, it totally looks exactly like we like had. Like, you mentioned it two minutes ago. Does it have reddish or purple spots and streaks on its stems? And will give you a serious rash. It, it will does. Go. It does hogweed do does rash. not. So that therefore the answer is hemlock. No, it, it does give you a rash, though. It does it have purple? Playful, but it's a playful rash. Does it have reddish or purple spots and streaks on its stems? I'll have to do more investigation when I do my doctorate study in. <laughs> well, do it totally, we get a point. Have you seen the a picture? Let of me Hogwarts? tell you. You here. do not get a point. It is ham hemlock is the answer. It's yes. always up to the qu to the question giver. So okay, right. and I will answer that. If you go to Wikipedia and look up hogweed, it says is a common name for several unrelated plants. And conium masculatum is not on the list. So if somebody there calls it hogweed, that's just what their granddaddy called it. But that's it, how you do it research. Not like a hemlock. It's hogwash. <laughs> hogwash. Hogwash weed. Hogwash. Okay. So the what, what, is, were the, what were the colors that it needed to be? Purple, reddish, reddish or purple it's, spots and streaks on its stems, and we'll give okay. you a serious rash. It looks like. Queen Anne's lace, it will grow on the side of the road. Do not pick it if it has purple spots on it, unless you want to get poisoned in, you know. Yeah, so that that so that looks just like the description in the giant hogweed Wikipedia page. I see a stout throw. bright I green see. stem with extensive dark reddish purple splotches. I don't know what you're looking at because I'm looking at Wikipedia for hogweed. What are you looking okay, at? Okay, I'm looking under description. Yeah, just under the one of the pictures that has that word exactly. Yeah. Okay, hold on a second. What is now? Uh, Wisconsin.gov uh, has a description very much the same. It says reaches up to eight to twenty feet when in flower, hollow ridge stems covered in coarse white hairs and reddish purple mulling. The difference is poison hemlock has ferny foliage or foliage. That is the uh, hogweed page. There's nothing on it. But I didn't. Who, That's who not said the hogweed hog page who, I'm looking at, but it's from the environmental weed? conservation place. Y'all were saying hogweed. New York State has giant hogweed. Giant hogweed. Yeah. Wisconsin giant has hogweed. A, giant hogweed. The Wisconsin Department of Natural Resources has a page that describes it just like that. With the with the purple oh, no. modeling and the hey, That's a cool that picture. Stuff. What about the what about the Latin name? I think you should have stayed with the Latin name. <laughs> yeah. Because there's too many common names. <laughs> yep, that's that. And if you look at the. Uh, okay. I, there it is. Okay. Yes. See the purple? This is the hogweed. That's, that's, that's the, the hogweed. Hog yes. Yes, or, that's the giant hogweed. I don't think acceptable. anyone's saying that are giant saying hogweed is the same as hemlock. It's They're not just, the same, but it's got the same. Right. It's they, same both, but they both answer the clue. Yeah, they both, they both fit the clue. Yeah. They both fit the clue perfectly. I think they, we're going to lose this one, uh, uh, Troy, and we're going to have to give him hogweed. What do you think? I agree. Ever, I agree. But does it ever get mistaken for Queen Anne's lace? Yeah. It looks Look like a gigantic it. Queen Anne's lace. It yeah, does. Flowers okay. do. There you go. I think we should spend at least 10 more minutes talking about hogweed before <laughs> moving on. <laughs> <laughs> well, now we all know if we ever have to go to the South, we don't Bob touch that sucker. Vented, vented the questions. Did Bob it say New Zealand? 
Where's Rob when we need him? <laughs> oh God. <laughs> we love watching you, the video of this. Oh my God. Okay, you guys ready for scores? So everyone yeah. got it right if they got hogweed or Troy? Hemlock? <laughs> I said no. Like who's <laughs> but if y'all want to do it, I don't this point out here. She's not, she she doesn't <laughs> care. All right. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm willing to, the argument was enough for me. I'm done. <laughs> okay. So I agree with the, I'm done. Yeah, I'm done too. Okay. So let's go to the scores and your conscience is your conscience about what you put on that last one. All right. And we've so, got 12. Uh, <laughs> bad news well, for the braggart at Fort Braggadocio. We have 10. 10 and a brownie point. Oops. Oh, no, that's okay. I like the first one. Okay. So we got the real Jane. It's not a calamity after all. Six. Uh, no, we got seven. I... Which one did you? The... Yeah, we're, we're taking Q, right? Yes. We're taking Q, but that's, we got uh, the question two wrong. We got one, three, four, six, eight, nine, and 10. But 10, I thought we had poison ivy. No, I thought we we, we went st stuck with hemlock. Oh, we did. did? We hemlock. Yeah. Oh, we stuck with that. Okay, I made a. I kept the. Okay. Other. Odor I, in the court. Ten. We had ten. All right. Uh, Tennessee two steps. Ten. All right. Twenty one is too young to keep secrets. Time's up zero. Either either nine or ten, depending on how we. Um, I need an answer. I don't want to hear you guys debate about which <laughs> one is nine. Our answer is nine. Our answer's which, nine. which question, Lenny? Did we answer? <laughs> so the only question I have, uh, whether or not we got it right, is number five. We, uh, where we said that the uh, um, that clay soil, if you add sand. Uh, doesn't um, add or enough organics, which has the effect of, so of of making it break up and softening it. No, that's wrong. Uh, the opposite. So, well, no, it's not the opposite. Um, but it's uh, but fine. I that's why I said either nine or ten. Nine is, nine, is, well, I think nine, nine is. Nine is uh, so, Troy, what do you want to think about that? Well, that's not the fine. reason why sand in particular uh, shouldn't be added to. Clay. Right. So it's yeah, so, nine so, points, so nine. right? Okay, got Nine. it. All right, so there's your scores. You guys I can't believe you're fighting over this category of all of them. Oh my God, and our team got last place. Woo! <laughs> Are you relieved, Vincent? <laughs> <laughs> We're still in last place. Were you, right, you guys the non gardener group? <laughs> Maybe not. So, everybody, remember before you exit the room, double check that everybody has that this what you've got written down or whatever. You shouldn't be coming back out here saying, I don't know. Did we put that? I don't know. Did, somebody should read it over. So you need an official, an official um Yeah, you should scribe. have an official answer. You should go scribe. through it and say, what do we well, put? Describe, yeah. And and it's helpful to review it just before you break up. You know, oh, yeah. we did that. Yeah, we did that. And exactly. you still didn't know what okay. But I didn't write anything down because I'm tired. <laughs> You really there have other people on your team. Three and a half hours, folks. Get a, get a scribe who's. Um, it's already tomorrow. Whatever, I don't care. Yeah. Good job, Troy. All right, Bill, you're up. I can. All right, one. can you hear me? Yes, sir. Yeah. All right. I'm having trouble with my PC, so this might take a little longer than usual. Oh, perfect night uh, for it. I'll say. <laughs> <laughs> Let's argue about that. All right. <laughs> Did Rob vet your questions? Oh, oh, come on, stupid. You can send them to me, Bill, if you want, and I'll just paste them in. Uh, well, okay, just a second. Uh, the thing is, I can't do a copy when I've got both uh, uh, my Gmail up and uh, and Zoom. Zoom. So what I'm going to do is 
Hang on. Text me the answers. Susan, I, you're <laughs> missing a gargoyle. Yeah, Naomi's gone. She had to go in the garden or something. No, she's in the she's in the dining room. Oh, she's, she's, in, the dining, she's in the other room. She's a garden gnome. I saw oh, a relocation uh, photo. I feel like we're in Bizarro World, uh, Susan. I think you need to bring it back. Oh no, she's she's she was always giving me the wrong answers anyway. She just always said a background. <laughs> I think my I think now my I, I'm answering better now because I'm relying on my own gut instinct instead of her whispering in my ear. I oh. think that she was interfering with the feng shui. <laughs> that too. Feng shui. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you gotta oh, be careful back. of your the, feng shui. The, the flow of energy in the room was all wrong. Susan, are you going to tackle that after you're done with the uh, psychics? Oh, the feng shui? Yes. It, it, it's been no. done already. Doesn't, doesn't all the way to and you're never done with the psychics they're always there oh well, so, yeah yeah the pen and tell bullshit on feng shui is very good but you know what we're learning every generation needs to have the thing debunked again because they don't go back and look so it's got to be like so tiktok's big so that means somebody's going to debunk on TikTok. And whatever the next thing comes after TikTok, it's got to be debunked on TikTok. Because it's, it's never, you can just, they, they're watching Seatbelt Psychic going, oh my God, look at this psychic thing. Wow. <laughs> You're like, yeah, lost one yeah, of I think, the two I think after TikTok, have. we've got to have um, stones and, uh, and, and, and spears because it'll destroy <laughs> civilization. You still with this, Bill? <laughs> Bill's sort of there. I, I, yeah, that's World War Four. They call that World War Four. Okay. Wait, let Bill talk. I, I'm got two different systems here, and they don't talk to each other. And when I, I can't do a copy paste. Right. So only so the other one logged off, Bill. You're only on with the screen you're speaking on right now. I'm aware of that. Okay. Uh, I am. Um, my. PC is the memory is totally full, so I can't do anything with it. <coughs> if you email the file to Susan, <coughs> she'll cut and paste for you. Can you do that? Okay, hang on just a moment. I've got to okay. find it. Carl's got my Naomi in it. She's back. Yep. She she teleported to St. Louis. <laughs> nice. Oh yeah, everyone's gonna have to redo their pseudo susan room yeah huh? susan do you have folks for next week you know well, what a great question karen i do not have folks for next week thank you for that intermission so that i could probably get um some folks for next week so i think rob's got four categories next week no he's not back next week <laughs> Oh, I have him on for 158 oh, so i'm looking God. for 157 so who would like to be on 157 I could do bonus. Okay, Deborah's doing bonus. Am I allowed to do another category? Please, <laughs> I liked your category. Okay, Ron's doing a category. Okay, I got one. Yep. I oh, can go God. something. Rats. Carl <laughs> has something. Yes. What else? I always have something. Gail's got something. Okay. What's an email address I can send this oh, to? Oh, send it to Susan Gerbic. at yahoo.com i tried that to send you something and it came back to me well it just loves you that's because no. it has a dad joke filter no, <laughs> no i think it's, it's i don't know why but it got bounced back to me instead it of you. a junk mail folder it puts it in a groan zone did you use the <laughs> The Celsius but does Yahoo do alphabet? that or did Susan's do that? Did you use the Canadian Celsius alphabet? Hold on, Bill. Do you need the email address spelled out? Is that what you're asking? Uh, yes. Susan, S U S A N. Yeah. G E R B as in boy. Yeah. I C. Oh, no K. Okay. Oh, no. We don't, we could afford a K. <laughs> She's not good enough to be with a K. Carl's got oh, all the carries, sorry. Oh, oh, oh. That, oh. that one hurt. Right Thank here in the heart, Carl. That's just cruel. 
You're just, you can be an honorary not, with a K. You're not you in his Vincent league. jealous. I'm not jealous of that. <laughs> oh, I'd have to be pretty. Uh, yeah, pretty where are your standards? Uh, <laughs> K's, are, K's are special, you know, special K. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wait, while I'm waiting for the email to come through, does somebody have another category? I have Carl, Gail, Ron, and Deborah's bonus. I could do lighthouses on Cape Cod if you want. Yeah, we already I saw just had a cold. Want that. No. I'm not going to go. I would enjoy a good Kevin. Bye, Richard. Round. Thanks, Richard. everybody. Take care, Hi, Richard. Richard. Nice to Hi, see you. Richard. See you Hi, in Canada. Oh, oh darn you. Bill's category was on Australia. Origami. <laughs> <laughs> totally looking forward to meeting Richard in person. Yay. He's a oh, wonderful yeah. human being. Oh, uh, well, some say. I'm yeah, the teasing. people that have met him. Yeah, the people that have I'm met him. teasing. <laughs> Everything Suna? okay, Bill? Did you get that? I'm waiting. I'm refreshing it to see. It might take a second. Oh, so, I, I, as I was saying, I oh, here it is. I still need one more person. I'll go. Okay, and I'm not going to look at those answers. I can see that they're there, but I'm not going to look at them. Robin right? also said yes at the same time. Robin? But, but I was drowned out, so. Okay, Robin. Well, Vincent just yeah. did today. Yeah, take a week off. Okay, so we'll put Vincent down for the following week. Okay, Atta just boy, remind me. Vincent, you're on the phone. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I was waiting for that. It was like, you know, hey, hey, Vincent, it just, right just a reminder. Now. You're on for the following Vincent, week. Are you ready for? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so go ahead and read the category. What is it? Category is things I've learned at the California State Railroad Museum. Right. Okay. Very right good. Now. now I'm going to just paste them in, <clears throat> and then you can read them. All right. You're going to paste all ten of them in. One at a time. One by one. One at a time. Very good. Okay. Here Number we go. One. On January 8th of 1863, a significant event occurred at what is now Front and K Streets in Sacramento. What was that event? I find this on the web. Does somebody, does somebody Siri just answer? Siri on my watch Siri, just quiet. answered. Yes. Oh, no. I'm oh gonna, that's funny. I'm going to okay. mute everyone. So, Bill, get ready to unmute yourself. All right. Number two. In what year was the Transcontinental Railroad completed? Number three. Where was the Transcontinental Railroad Golden Spike Ceremony? Oops. Now, the ceremony was scheduled for May 8th of that year. It actually occurred two days later on May 10th. What caused the postponement? And if anybody gets this, I'll be very surprised. Oh, dear. I'm actually teaching this next week, and I did not study it yet. Oh, <laughs> I, I vote we postpone this round until next week. Thank you. <laughs> no, because okay. she might not be on your team. Number five, the last spike was composed of a gold copper alloy. What was the purity of the gold in carrots? Plus or minus 10%. True or false, the last spike is on display at the California State Railroad Museum. Number seven, the largest item on display at the CSRM is locomotive number SP4294. What aspect of its design is in unique to the Southern Pacific Railroad in American steam locomotives? Number eight, the 4294 is an AC-12 class 4882 locomotive, the second largest class of steam locomotives built in North America. What does the A in AC-12 stand for? 
When the tender was full of fuel and water and the boiler was full, how many tons did the 4294 weigh, plus or minus 10%? And finally, number 10, what fuel did the 4294 burn? And you will, you will definitely know that how honest I am that I'm not looking at the answers that are at the bottom of the email. <laughs> Whenever I get to my team, you will know I did not look. <laughs> okay. That, that worked out just fine, Bill. Okay, good. Crisis averted. Thank goodness. <laughs> <laughs> All we're right. a relaxed community here okay so uh, somebody else will have to uh send people to their rooms all right that's miss queen lace there zeke i have to let everybody go uh no more bad dad jokes yeah sorry all right good night, good night vincent. everybody thank you hey, very vincent, much vincent vincent you're you're being recorded Yes, I do. I do know that. Thanks, everybody. Bye. Bye bye. Hello, team. So, so not sure it would have done us any good, but Carolyn, I think, lives in Sacramento. <laughs> oh, she left, huh? Look at uh -huh. it slowly. My, my, my thing slowly. I'm going to fall off. Here. Yeah, I don't know why. It's, it's because I have a tape. And it's taping, and the tape I think is just coming down. It's just slowly coming off. I can see it, but I can't. Oh, for your camera, your camera. I can't reach it. It's too far away. So we'll just have to. I feel like I'm Batman. Batman. Susan, oh. Susan I, I fear you're unbalanced. <laughs> it's my chakra. Yeah, yeah really. I mean, your your feng shui and your chakra. <laughs> like, so I'm not a lighthouse. A lot of I, whack. Uh, the only one of here that I have any clue on is number five. Yeah. And I believe it's 18 karat gold. Okay. I figured you would if you if anybody knew that, it would be you. <laughs> All right, let's see. All right, let's see here. Um, I think probably just because of the question, right? On January 8, 1863, a significant event occurred in what is now front and case the streets and the only thing about that, Leonard, is 18 karat gold would be very soft. But it was mixed with copper, wasn't it? I know, but still, it would be it would be soft. That's a high. That's a high carrot. Eighteen uh -huh. carrot. Yeah, well, and, it's, and, it's it's and it's ceremonial. Yeah, I mean, so they didn't have to yeah. do much. Yeah, but what's it. jewelry that's cheap? Jewelry is ten carat, right? And that's the hard stuff. Was my wedding ring was ten carat. I, yeah, but that's that's the low Gee, end. I think we paid thirty bucks. Yeah, no, I, I I'm pretty sure it's <laughs> okay. It's just under eighteen. Okay, so go yeah, ahead. It was ceremonial, one. right? So that would make sense. Yeah. Ceremonial. Okay, let's skip it then. You're right. At what significant event, train related, occurred at what is now Front and K Streets in Sacramento? Has anything significant ever happened in Sacramento? Apparently, I, something did on January eighth. Maybe that was the last of eighteen sixty three. Eighteen sixty three. So, not a clue. Um, how about a train crash? The first train crash. <laughs> Ooh, no, no, the seriously. Best, the best train crash. Or a train the first, derailed. The first train death. Death from a train. Well, we're talking about a, tr a thing that started at the other end of the country and had been going on for quite a while before it actually got to Sacramento. <laughs> well, I think oh, the likelihood well, of that's it, true. Of that's thing, true. It's pretty low. You have to get all be rational and everything, Deborah. Oh, would this be like a presidential? Um, someone mm -hmm. kicked off the presidential train run or something like that. The eighteen sixty three. So, well, so the, the transcontinental railroad. I think it was like started then. 1863? Oh, so maybe we yeah. started our end of it or something. Do we um, do we do the first part of the part that went east? Because it didn't it they do it at either end and it met in the middle? Matt. I believe so. Yeah, so this was the start of it. The maybe. start of the transcontinental railroad. Of the western end of it or something. Well, just the start. That's about the right year. They, they might have started yeah, at the same the right time year. in each end. Yeah. Okay. And it took like six or seven years. Yeah. So 
Yeah. So, so 18. The first, like the, you know how they dig the first shovel in a building will be the yeah. first spike. Right. Another ceremony. Okay. Ceremony, the start of the first transcontinental railroad. So what? Yeah, so, so what year do we think it is? That it ended. It's, it's, that it was done. Eighteen sixty-nine. Okay. The year is there already. Yeah. So it's just what is no, the no, event? But, you know, we're talking about number two. Oh. <laughs> Bill, you know you can hop from room to room, right? I don't know how. Oh. You have to fling them. Oh yeah, yeah. You can. You can go to, how would it be on an iPad? Do you guys know? You're on an iPad? I'm on an iPad. Okay. Do I'm going to flip it. Do, do you have a, uh, a panel at the bottom that has something called breakout rooms? I have, a, the only panel I've got is a more at the top and, and it does not have breakout rooms. I'll just fling sure. them from room to room. Yeah, Because the room you're in right now, we're all, you're going to be able to watch this. So yes, I'm going to put you right. in rooms, but... That may mean you're flung without me knowing you're okay. Just you just with, enjoy. Without, whatever. Send you'll be flung around, without gonna, warning. Yeah, you will be flung without warning. I my favorite. Flung like a old frisbee. Remind me to fling him once in a while. Okay, so every other question. Sixty nine. Okay, where was the transcontinental railroad spike golden spike ceremony? Promontory, Utah. We had this question a couple of weeks oh, ago. Good. Spell me. Spell me it. Promontory? Yes, we did have it a few weeks back, but I didn't Good. remember. I would never remembered it. Okay, the ceremony was scheduled for May 8th. It actually occurred two days later. What caused that? Rain? Somebody got stuck. Somebody didn't wasn't able to show up because the train was late. <laughs> Whoever was Probably. The... I'm, I'm, I'm not sure that that spelling is right, but that's... Okay. Could that be it that the train, the whoever was supposed to be there to to do the ceremony the, was late from the train? The, the dignitary was late. What do you think? I have no idea. Wasn't it kind of like Civil War time too? The president no. was shot. No. Eighteen sixty nine. No. That was after. Okay. He died in eighteen sixty five. Hi, Priva. Hi, Priva. <laughs> we're saying hi Priva <laughs> do you know anything about railroads I don't think she does Leonard didn't even ask her he just assumes she doesn't know anything about railroads <laughs> you know anything about uh, um, the Transcontinental Trans Railroad uh, so we need to know uh the ceremony was originally scheduled for May 8th. It actually occurred two days later on May 10th. What caused the postponement? She doesn't know. Ask her if she thinks it could be because the train was late for the person. You think it's because the train was late? Uh, she I'm going to put that. No. <laughs> okay. Um, it's not less likely than a blank, to be correct. Okay, so <laughs> the last spike is on display at the California State Railroad Museum. That's where he works. So it seems like that. Well, I know at one point it was in the um, in a museum at Stanford, but I don't know if it's been moved. How long ago was that? that, you that I'm I'm trying to remember. I haven't been in the Cantor Museum at Stanford in years. Um, Why so was it at Stanford? Because Stanford was, uh, Leland Stanford was a big railroad guy. He went to where he made all his money in the railroad. <clears throat> um, so I, I, I know it used to be in Stanford. I don't know if it still is. That's a good well, then so let's put no? False. False. Yeah, okay. I, I, it may, they may, may have moved it. I, I don't know. Okay. It's not like we're playing for money, so you won't hold it. You know, no, are you we're, kidding? We're, we're playing for pride. I know. Our pride remember, is hurting. You were on my team last time I said that. that and was remember, it's, it seems like if they'd moved it, <clears throat> there would have been a big fight about it, and we would have heard about it. Well, it depends. It, there's Would have heard about it, and then there's everybody would have heard about it. And given how much we care about railroads... And we're the, we're the spike. Yeah, you know, you know, that's yeah. like... 
I don't see why. If we're you not told me it was in the next. Smithsonian, I would believe you, though. You know what I mean? Well, yeah. I got well, yeah, fling him one. He ain't got a clue. I'm yeah, just thinking, given that a lot, for, lot of us are from California, one question, of us would have heard fling about him it. again. Fling him, fling him again. Yeah, the largest on, item on display in the California State Railroad Museum is locomotive SP forty two ninety four. What aspect of its design is unique to the Southern Pacific Railroad in American steam locomotives? You know, if he'd asked about SP4194. Or 4293. I mean, no problem. Mm -hmm. but, you know, 4294. Yeah. I mean, I mean, obviously, they put that one in the museum because nobody knows anything about it. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so what kinds of things could it be? It could be it's plumbing. It could be. And it be, says large. It had, no, it says it's on display. It's a large. The, large, the largest item on display. Well, no, no, the thing that's that's different about so it. So, what yeah. aspect of its design? Did it have like two stack, two like spoke stacks? So did it have man. like a double shoot for the coal or wood or whatever the hell they fueled it with? Or did, did it could it go both directions like the modern ones do? Um, that, have, that, that was the, that that was something that came to my mind is that it yeah. could go backwards yeah but would that be on display well, no the question is it's on display what is unusual about it what is the unique oh okay I, now i'm reading it right you're right so um, and it's part I, of its design so it's not like just because it's made out has mahogany window frames or something <clears throat> although it could so do you want to say that sure. it can go either way? Is that likely? It's bisexual. Is that what you're saying? <laughs> mm -hmm. It runs both ways. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> by yeah, that, by that locomotive. Be, by, by direct. That wouldn't be unique, though. That would other ones follow. This would well, be unique. Yeah, I don't know. So I would have been it's unique that. for its time. Yeah. Well. It would be maybe, the first it's, of its kind. It's unique it's, to the Southern Pacific Railroad. Yeah, I think, I think Kevin's yeah, I right. I would it be no like idea. a cog type that that um, that can climb up a mountain or something? We have mountains in California. I know. That's what I mean. Yeah, that's I why it no would idea. be a cog type that could climb mountains in Colorado climb. too. Yeah, and Nevada even. Yeah, but there's have a, to the we ones have a cog in railroad that goes up Mount no. Washington. <laughs> it makes it sound like this is a unique train, not the first of its kind, but this is the one that is, is the only one. Yeah, this is the only one in the it's southern, unique, so the southern we, Pacific. Is, is someone taking notes and being the I'm writing it down, here? yeah. Susan's writing it down. Thank you, Susan. I'm typing. I'm typing the quick gray fox jumped over the <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I don't have any answer for seven, eight, nine, or ten. I just don't have a yeah. Have, have a eight is kind of like what spaceship is this? <laughs> oh no, I get that. AC <laughs> I know, but <laughs> to me, it's like <laughs> right. Okay, what movie. Which which version? The a stands which, for uh, automatic. Let's just say that. How about anteal? Did that word well, even exist then? Automatic? Yeah. Sure. How about okay. air? How about air? How about aardvark? Like, like AC, <laughs> like air condition? Like able. <laughs> it has an air conditioner. AC stands for air conditioning. No, it's an air. No, come on. <laughs> We're talking about the air. We're talking about oh, a no, hang on railroad now. in the 1800s. You know what? Not necessarily. Yeah, it could be the 1900s. You're right. We don't know when. It, this it could just, be a newer one. This, it, could, this be could be a new from one. From 1940 or something. Yeah, so, really, really modern. Are we writing hard work? <laughs> I want to say automatic. Like Okay, I'll, I wrote okay, down automatic. automatic is good. Automatic is almost certainly better than hard work. Yeah. Hard work. <laughs> Oh my God, that'd be funny. What do you suppose the sucker weighs? Those things are heavy. Okay, when the tender is full of fuel and water and the boiler was full, how many tons? This is math. I'm not doing math. It's not math, it's numbers. Okay, well, which is 500 tons. 500 tons. tons. Let's see. That's a number. 500 tons? I'm just guessing. 
Yeah, plus I, or I minus ten percent. That yeah. makes sense, right? I am how they say clueless. Okay, what no fuel idea. did it burn? Aardvarks. Uh -huh. <laughs> Aardvarks is slightly better for this answer than for the other. I get a fling bill somewhere. Well, it had to be either He's coal gonna get a or, lot of or, or wood, right? Well, okay, well, wood. I don't know. If it's new wood, enough, it coal, could be fuel oil. Like water, if it was steam, our well, How about, about oil? Well, okay, you so. You, you don't burn. How about oil? Yeah, you don't burn water in a steam engine. Do you burn oil? You, bur you could burn oil, fuel oil. Mm -hmm. I mean, fuel oil is obviously a fuel. That's why they call it fuel oil. Well, okay, so we got coal, wood we've got or oil. Wood. We've got right. water. If it's a steam no, engine, it's no, not. No, right? no, no, no. It's not water, water is not the fuel. Okay, so it's coal, <laughs> wood, coal, wood oil, oil, gas. That's those are fuels. But they I would use they gas. Back there. That would be explosive. They they use diesel now, I think. Yeah. But this is the four ninety two four two nine four. Yeah, and I have no idea what decade that came out in. Well, it's no look, it says right here the 4294 is the second largest class of steam locomotives. Yeah. Okay. Built in the North America said so be like a long time ago. Uh I don't know. Did they, have they stopped building steam locomotives? It's only it's a second class. It's a second one. Second largest class of steam locomotives. Right. So but it was a long for time I know ago. Those were, for all I know, those were built, you know, 10 years ago. I, so I, could no they have used water? Water is not, not a fuel. for fuel. <clears throat> Water is so, what expands. Okay, so steam, steam is like they, they heat it up and, and it expands and makes the thing run. Like Yeah, those, when the yeah. water changes to steam, when it heats up, that's what it provides the power to the piston. Yeah. Okay, so what are our choices? Wood, water, coal, <laughs> not water. Wood, coal, um, oil. What else would be fuels at that okay, time? Okay, let's see. This is 4294. Wow. This is 4294. So there's three choices. Okay. Unless you want to add aardvarks. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, mean, I do, but it's, it's wrong. You oh. could add aardvarks. You could add manure. Um, yeah, that's true. How about uh, little itty bitty squirrels? Well, no, the, then it would be peanuts. The, that the would squirrels be a are on engine. a. That uh, would be a hamster wheel engine. The, the hamster. Peanut oil. Pe <laughs> <laughs> they're they're on a little little um, uh, hamster wheels, little little wheel. Yeah. And, and all right, what fuel do you want to say? <laughs> Wood, coal, nuclear energy. That's coal. Oh yeah, nuclear energy. Not, yeah. Nuclear. Okay, I'm putting coal. All right, so what we're missing the largest item on display. What do we want to say about this locomotive? It's ugly. <laughs> no, no, because it's only one of the kind. <clears throat> it's unique. Well, we don't know it's only it's, it, okay. So it's it's one something aspect that was of the design is unique. It may be unique and ugly. Is that one of those Southern trains Pacific that, that lays its own that lays its own tracks kind of a thing? When they build the railroad, they use these machines that now build the railroad. Is yeah, but that, but that would think... be called a locomotive. Yeah. Um. Clueless. I'm thinking it's. I, I mean, I just like the idea of it that it could go backwards, but I don't know. It lays its um, own tracks, is what I would say. I know it's that wouldn't talking. be a locomotive. That would yeah, be a, a machine that. That's lays a construction. Like that. That's an that's automatic constru truck layer. That's, that's construction oh, okay, equipment. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Um. So something that's unique to the Southern Pacific Railroad and American steam locomotive. So, so give so, him a fling. I can't. Boy, you guys are on him. Um, Every time we get mad at him, give him the flame. Um, well, actually, we're doing house. a lot better than we thought when we first got. Yeah, it's a little better than like. Well, I, I, we're getting answers, but I have no idea if any of them are right. Yeah, I think we're I, making logical I really logical don't choices. think that Rob that Rob reviewed this one. Um, this, <laughs> I don't think this, he reviewed any of them. This I don't is think that's um, what I think. This is uh, in contention for lighthouse. No, no, we're actually getting actual. No, this is not a lighthouse guy. This is actually. We have like well, you probably have, have the at answers in front of you. Have, no, I'm not. I've closed that you, screen. You have you have the answers available. But I've closed bios, the screen. I've never liked. Osmosis, you're absorbing them. So <laughs> trust me, I'm not. Okay, I okay. So, what do we think for seven? Um, okay, let's think reverse. about that. Um, had had uh, the fuel tender was part of the engine thing. 
um, or did it have a, did it have a separate one? Um, it had. There was a bathroom in the locomotive. There was a bathroom. I have no idea. <laughs> I have no they, idea. Used, <laughs> they used urine to. Oh, urine. it could be the first one that. Oh no, it's not the first one of anything. <laughs> I was just saying it has like a like an eating. No. Oh, a kilo right. cafeteria. A, you're not going to have a cafeteria ca in the locomotive. And a microwave. <laughs> Something with the wheels. It has wings and it can fly. There you go. Ooh. Oh, it's got a giant unicorn head on the top. Oh, it's got like a big and old thing that impales people. Rainbows. Maybe it's the first it one that had rainbows. one of those cow catcher things. You know, the things on the front. No, no, because it's, it's got to be unique. You guys, something unique. Well, I like parting rainbows. I say it's it's going to cog it in the ability to climb a mountain. Well, they all could climb mountains. Not real steep ones. You need a cog for it. Yeah. If, um, you grab the rail. Be, because of the low uh, friction between the wheel and the rail, it's very hard to get um, trains to go up steep hills. I always wondered about that. Metal on metal yeah, and hills. When it's hills, too yeah. steep, they put right. a cog and they have a cog rail underneath where it's like a gear and it actually climbs. Right. Okay. Okay, so let's write this down. What is it? I'm it had, it's a steep mountain. It just, it's, it's a cog wheel. It had cog wheels. Cog okay. Well, I know that what we were doing for a while there to get over some of the hills is they had, in some of the big hills, they had like, they had to have something drag them up. Like they had a pulley system and they'd pull them up. Huh. Right. And, and uh, getting from one place to the other. So they so had, had like a winch thing on the front. Yeah, like yeah, you had to like car. pull one up and then and then well, the, the San way Francisco would... cable cars would kind of work like that too. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, cable cable are like uh, everything? Let's bring them have, back. We have something written down for everything. Okay, I'm bringing them back. Fling them. We're fling them. So are you bringing us all back? No, I'm just bringing him back so that okay. we can make, see how if everybody's doing. So we've got started the west of the rail. 1869, the Utah place, the train was late, 18, false, cogwheels, automatic, 500 tons, and pull. How, how's everybody else doing, Bill? Yeah, Bill, how's everybody doing? Uh, see, the one that that I just came from that had uh, five uh, Robin in it had all done. Mm -hmm. There were, yeah, and the others, people were arguing over one or two of the questions so so they're mostly uh, done kind of two minutes they're time. mostly done why don't we give them the, the two minutes okay yeah. let's give them the two minutes we're we're, we're playing football warning. and we got we, we had a lot of fun actually with aardvarks yes <laughs> and somewhat about squirrels too well so it's, it's either aardvarks or farting rainbows farting rainbows we think is the answer for question seven but then they came up with something so i don't know but yeah, I do remember this, Bill. So I'm going to ask you this because I remember this when the railroads were were like they were trying to go over the biggest mountains. Yeah, they had these systems where they had to pull them up, like a uh, in the Rockies, I think it was just like this area where they had to actually pull the train up. Do you remember that? If it like had like that, a oh yeah, that was not uh, railroad trains. That was wagon trains. You know, I thought they not, had it for train trains. Not trains. not not uh, not the big railroads like the uh, the two that built the transcontinental, which were the Union Pacific and the uh, Central Pacific. Southern Pacific came later. Hmm. Wonder what I remember then. No, there there are a number of places where. In moving uh, heavy equipment, they had to have uh, cranes and uh, like a weight system. Like a, there was a yeah, okay. like a they had a very heavy weight on one end that would they could use to pull. And then I think I thought it was like you know you had to move one by moving one and move the other, and then you move this one down and then the other something like that. I can't remember. Shoot, dang. Anyway, all right. Good, good team, guys. You guys, great. You better than I would have done for myself. Well, we'll see <laughs> if we got any right.
So officially, what is the threshold for a lighthouse category? <laughs> it's really not a lighthouse by far. We answered things. So good job. Yeah, but did the yeah, janitor answered, correctly? Yeah, we answered I, we answered every question. I, well, lighthouses, we couldn't come up with shit, you guys. <laughs> I mean, there was no way. There were those answers were so obscure that there was nothing. This had answers. Okay. So Bill, you want to read them out and I'll just paste them in the chat. Hmm. Bill is not talking to us. Bill's on mute. Bill's muted. Bill? Louder. He's disappointed in our lack of train knowledge. He just gave up on us. <laughs> no, here I am. Here I am. There he is. He's not disappointed. He just wants us to go to his museum. Yes, do come to the museum. It's lots of fun. I'm going to be next, at your museum pretty soon, Bill, because next time I'm in Sacramento. In May. Let, in let May. Know, you know, let me know beforehand when you get there. We're, we're looking at doing a um, talk. I'm looking at doing a talk May sometime. May okay, 20th. Well, May 20th, okay. or not the 20th, but maybe the 21st. Okay, but yeah, not, not the week before that, because I'm going to be out of town. Okay, well, I'll tell them I can't do the talk. Then. Okay, so you want to <laughs> right. answer? Number one, number one, the significant event was the groundbreaking for the West Terminus of the first transcontinental <laughs> railroad. So wow. uh, anything that says start of the... Uh... Good job, Robin. Hey, okay. good. So Robin, Robin pulled, Dolan, uh, right? It out right. Okay. If we said, we said the contract ceremony to start the process was okay? That would work, yes. Okay. Wow. I'm, I'm being generous. Okay, number two, the year was 1869. Wow. We need a plus or minus one on that. Plus or no, minus you don't, one? because it's it, it was less than less than ten years between start and end. So a ten percent ten percent would still be less than one. So. <laughs> Right, but it doesn't have to be a percentage. It can just be a plus or minus X number of years. Yeah. Oh, well, I'm sorry. I yeah. That uh, Rob suggested that to me, but I didn't think it. You know. Anyway, you didn't I think we were this this dumb about trains. <laughs> <laughs> didn't want us to be this dumb about we, trains. We've See, had if, that, our, if someone we've got had the exact event. year, then. Yeah, we, we did get that, the exact year. Event. Thank you very much. Previous, yeah. uh, and Rob I, is an engineer. At least, at least two of you got the exact year. So and Rob is an engineer, and Choo Choo Charlie is an engineer. Not that yeah. kind of engineer. <laughs> All right, number three. The location was Promontory Summit or Promontory Ridge, not Promontory Point. Oh. Yeah. We got it. Promontory Point is down on. Uh, the Great Salt Lake and is about 20 miles from where it actually happened. Is that with a groundhog? Miles and out? miles away. Yeah, to Tommy? No, it's nowhere. Okay, this one has Tierra del Fuego written all over it. <laughs> <laughs> all right, number four. What happened was that Dr. Thomas Durant, who was the Union Pacific Railroad's vice president, was kidnapped on his way to the ceremony. Oh my his car God. was cut from the train he was on and shunted onto a siding until the railroad workers, who had not been paid for five months, saw a box car full of $80,000 in gold coins. Wow. wow. There were also weather issues, but it was the kidnapping that really caused the delay. Wow. How awkward. Okay, so Bill, our team said the train was late. <laughs> no, I don't think that's good enough. No, come on. No. Can I ask Troy or Brandy? Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Who is more likely to no, be not that I did nice so about it? When I asked the question, I said, if anybody comes up with the correct answer, I'd be very surprised. Well, we so, said he was uh, late. Well, that was, that was rather obvious that somebody was late. No, no, no. It could have been a lot of things. So. Okay. All right. The purity yeah. of the gold spike. It was 17.6 carats. Oh, that's so, 15.8 to 19.4. 
Oh, oh very good. Very out. good. Leonard said 18. Sorry, team. What do you know? Very good, Leonard. Should have went with Jane. Yeah. yeah. Shoots his scores. Okay. Number six, the answer is false. The true <laughs> last spike is on display at the Cantor Arts Center. Yes, Leonard! Woo! Leonard should win scores. again! Yeah, I, I've, said, seen, I've right. seen it there. I just wasn't sure if it was still there. It's still hmm. there. However, there is a re replica cast at the same time out of the same gold as the original, and it is on display at the California State Railroad Museum. So if you yeah, want to bogus. look at the gold spike, but not go to Stanford, you got a second best at the CSRM. Hmm. Very good. Okay. Now, what's special about the uh, locomotive is we are the dying control to know. cab is in front. Hey. Ah. It is a cab forward or cab ahead railroad. Uh, Yay, railroad Zeke and Ben! Yay! You knew that? We I went there. at Rainbows. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not kidding. That's what we said. No, we ended up changing. Trust me, we needed this one. Okay. <laughs> Number we eight. Did. The A stands for articulated. I know at least uh, one of you got it, got that right. Wow. Which means that the that two sense. sets of eight driver wheels are in different chassis. Mm. Um, well, duh. Yeah. <laughs> of course they are. That's why we put our part. We said our part. Leonard totally had that one. Yeah, we weren't <laughs> articulate, <laughs> but I can tell you. What, Okay. I always wondered what the plural of chassis was. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, yes. the uh, number nine, everybody that I heard was very low. Whoa. Uh, we got the it. The whole thing oh. weighed, or would have weighed uh, 525 tons. Mm -hmm. yeah, so Kevin got tons. it right so on. Yeah, we got that one. Yes. We got 475, it. 472. To 577. That was uh, a lucky freaking Kevin, you got it. And that's good. Yeah, so, that's what Kevin that, said. Kevin was, Karen, Kevin guess was what that, that equates to in pounds? I was just, I wasn't going to ask. I thought people would laugh at me. How many we pounds is that? We thought you wanted this for ton. We thought you just wanted 50,000 pounds. We thought you wanted just one wheel. So that's what we've been stars <laughs> on. Bill, how many pounds, Bill? 1,050,000. Oh, Baron, Karen. you're on it. A lot. That's a lot. Yeah. Is that what Karen's answer was? If you, a if lot. If you, yeah. Who's arguing for the million? Take, take a look at this monster, and the word monster is appropriate. It is huge. One million. Well, pounds. I would have actually <laughs> said like 20 or 30 million, but they were so shocked that I said a lot. And I said, well, like a million. But I was thinking like 20 or 30 million. Well, well we asked the question. Be, that would have been a little high. Kevin just goes 500 tons. How, how okay. does it compare to a Union Pacific big boy? Uh, it's uh, okay. It's seven feet shorter and uh, about uh, hmm. about 70,000 pounds lighter. Not a lightweight. <laughs> Wimpy thing. Okay, and the answer for number 10 is bunker oil. <laughs> uh, we almost made oil. Bunker oil, oil is what you get left over when kerosene and gasoline are extracted from raw crude. Feet Up were until perfect. the mid 60s, uh, you couldn't, they didn't know how to crack it to get other organic materials out of it. So uh, until about uh, 1910, uh, they'd pump the oil out. Uh, take the kerosene and gasoline out. And gasoline was actually a byproduct. What they were really looking for was kerosene. And then they mm. just throw the rest away. Mm. To a lake or something or some river. Where does they throw river? it? Huh? <laughs> well, if we just said oil. Is that good enough? Oil is good enough, yes. Mm. Yay. You said sand trap oil? Uh, but so that was uh, before the trap bunker, yeah, yeah. Invention of propane. <laughs> All right, so uh, that was that was good. That actually turned out well. I got that. I, I got that, Carl. <laughs> so so keep in mind, you guys. See how easy that worked out. If you're on 
in a, if you're doing a category and you're worried about cutting and pasting for whatever reason, like, like uh, Bill has with, you know, the tablet or the, you got your screen there and you got your questions there and all that stuff, just, just send them to me and I'll, you know, it's easy, simple. Okay. As long as it doesn't involve macros on a spreadsheet, spreadsheet. Susan's got it. <laughs> That's right. I could do or, this. Or, or difficult to pronounce words. I can do that too. It's just, I just have a new way. I have a unique way of pronouncing them. That's all. It's just not the way you guys do. No. It doesn't mean there's anything wrong with that. Who all right, let's you? go to scores. Don't let them tell you. Don't let them box me in, man. He's all picking on me. Oh my gosh, I'm going to tell. All right, here we go. Well, we have a score range from 20 to 28. So that's not so crazy out there. So let's see what we got the real Jane, and it's not a calamity at all. Yes, it is. <laughs> Zero. <laughs> no. What? Yep. We are aiming for the lowest score here. All right. No You're way. Really playing golf you got zero zeros wow and yeah. proud of it yeah and you know guys this might be the first time that somebody's gotten a zero has somebody got no, a zero? outside of lighthouses. Lighthouses. lighthouses i got us a zero this one got a zero here oh yeah and this one got a one what was the category that was mine i think I think it was, I think it was, yeah, that somebody was got a 10. Yeah. Table. Somebody cheated yeah. or something. Ron Steiner. Yeah, yeah you, that's right. You. Ron, good you know job. They had a shower curtain. <laughs> 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 okay, bad news for the braggart, Fort Braggadocio. Four. All right. Okay. And if we, and if we would have gotten the point instead of the ridge, we would add five. Oh, yeah. yeah. Whatever. The Tennessee two steps. One. Oh, this is a lighthouse. Pointer okay. Ridge was okay, I think. It was just yeah. the no. ridge is good. No. Summit was bad. He Point only accepted summit oh, Point. Or ridge. Point is not good. Summit. We had summit. Yeah. Nope. Okay. Point. Odor in the court. Clarence Thomas stinks. Seven. Seven. Mm -hmm. Get out of here. That's better than <laughs> the nerds, train ones. nerds. Train nerds. <laughs> <laughs> Train nerds. I can see the kids teasing you in school now. Okay, 21 is too young to keep secrets. And this is Bill, Bill's team. And you were keeping and you were keeping track. Oh, I'm supposed to know this. Well, you were you said you were you were writing. I was way. keeping track, but I changed the answers here. So we got we got uh <laughs> We got one. One, two, we got two. We got three. Three. Um, we got four. Four. Five. Um, six. And we didn't get seven. We didn't get that one, huh? Right. We did not get that one. We got six. That's right. I was keeping score, but I just went and posted over them. Six. Mm. Oh, that gave us one away. One away. Okay. Oh. okay. So it's all up to Robin. <laughs> no pressure, Robin. No pressure. Okay, mine's going to be a little easier than the train questions. Yeah. Uh oh, I don't like it when it's all ten. So make, so make it harder. Yeah. Keep I, your team in mind. It's awfully tempting to say something like that, and then you discover that people don't know what you know. Yeah. <laughs> okay, let's let her say. Um, what is it? That never happens, Leonard. Name <laughs> ten breeds of dogs. State yeah. capitals. United States state capitals. If you were to put them in alphabetical order, give me the last 10. Oh. <laughs> the end of the alphabet. Final 10. That was an evil laugh. Oh, right. Lord. <laughs> this is going to take me a minute. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Off to the breakout rooms? Yeah, please. Oh. I'm trying to figure out how to put that in words here. Last 10 state alphabet. Last ten state. By alphabet. Oh, this is gonna be hard. Oh you're cruel. Cruel, you woman, you're cruel. I gotta put okay, here we go. Put on name. 
They go uh, starting by the capital. How do you do this without oh, writing right. all 50 down? We can do that. Well, we have to think of long ones. Like Providence is probably up there. Providence. Yeah, you you got you to gotta write them down because how are you going to do it? Yeah. Um, well, Sacramento. Oh, Sacramento. Oh, Sacramento. Sacramento. Okay. Springfield. Springfield. Topeka. Uh, Santa Fe, Salt Lake City. Is Topeka, is that? I think that's uh, Kansas, right? Yeah. Uh, A rally, maybe? I don't know. Uh, Trenton. New Jersey? Oh, Tallahassee. Oh, Tallahassee. Yeah. Oh, Tallahassee. Oh, yeah, Raleigh is good also. And then um, St. Paul's, Minnesota, right? Yeah. Salem is Oregon. Oh, that's Minneapolis. So Oregon is Salem. Oh, good. That's so good. that's in the S. Yep. Salt Lake City? Yep. Yeah. Um, uh, so, are there anything capital starts with a W? No, I don't think there's anything after T. In Washington DC doesn't count. It's no. not a state capital, yeah. Oh wait, um, Washington is Tacoma. Yeah. Um, what were the first couple you guys said? You said Sacramento, Washington is said Tacoma. Janine would know. What would what? I thought Washington was Olympia? Oh, it is Olympia. Is it? Mm. Yeah. John. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So, um, what were the first two you guys said after Sacramento? Um, uh, Springfield, Santa Fe, Salt Lake City, Raleigh, Tallahassee, Salem. Um, Trenton. So Olympia, you're right. Topeka. I've got Sacramento, Topeka, Trenton, Tallahassee, Raleigh, St. Paul, Salem. Richmond, Richmond should bump out Raleigh. Yeah. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So there's no there's no W. I don't think there's anything after T. West. Why? What's Vermont? Oh. Uh, um. Montpelier. Yeah, Montpelier. Yeah, Montpelier. Okay. What's yeah, okay. um? What's um? Connecticut. Hartford. Hartford. Oh, that's right, Hartford. Okay. Hmm. What about in Pennsylvania? Is that Philadelphia? Is it Pennsylvania? Harrison. What, what's the capital of Pennsylvania? I thought Philadelphia. Is it Philadelphia? Um, uh, Harrisburg. Yeah, I think Harrisburg is right. Yeah, I I think the 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 ten uh, not necessarily in alphabetical order, but Sacramento, Springfield, Santa Fe, Salt Lake City, Topeka, Trenton, Tallahassee, St. Paul, Salem, and Richmond. Oh, St. Paul. I have 11 on the list. Is that what you got, Carl? Okay. Do you have the Raleigh on the list? Start, yeah. Work, Cross it work, out. work backwards. Yeah, okay. So it's R-S-T. So the T's would be... T's are Topeka, all the, Trenton, all of the T's. Well, all the T's and all the S's, and then we just need one R. One right? R, yeah. And I think Richmond is the last of the R's. Yeah, so do we have do we have all the T's? 
Topeka, Trenton, Tallahassee. Topeka, Trenton, and Tallahassee. Okay, and there's no other T's? Don't think so. I don't have powers, um, Susan, so I'm... You sure? I can't go to the other rooms. This really? is the only room I, I can come to. But that's wait, okay. Wait, wait. No, 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 deal. I, when you guys I, are done, I'll just... I'll fix that. Let me move you to the main session and then I can give your powers. Yeah. Okay, let's go. Let me go over there. How did I forget to give you your powers? It's just so unlike me. Hold on. Sorry, Robin. Tricks are for kids. There you go. Now you have your powers. Go be kind to everyone everywhere. How are you guys doing? Are you like halfway there? I'm just kind of. We're just double checking. Okay. Springfield. And St. Paul. Oh, yeah. I St. Paul, because I have it abbreviated. As something I do, but. St. Okay. So yeah. Springfield. Sacramento, Santa Fe, Salt Lake City, Salem, St. Paul. And then Springfield. Field in my neighboring state. Are you coming back again, Ursula? What's West Virginia? West Virginia? Uh, let me think. What is West Virginia? And Maine is Banger, right? Yeah, that, um, that doesn't yeah. sound right to me. Um, I can't think of what it is, but I've been to Banger and I don't remember it being Providence. Is there a Providence, Maine? Providence is um Rhode Island. And it has to be anything after R to kick out any of our right. Or uh, an R that after has a, R I. It's after Richmond. It has to be after R I. Oh, Richland, not not Raleigh. Yeah, Richmond, it's Richmond. Yeah. Raleigh's the A. Okay. Ames, Iowa, Michigan. Uh Michigan's like Lansing, right? Lansing. And North Dakota is Bismarck. Yeah. South Dakota is Pierre. Walls Drugstore. Okay. <laughs> Pierre sounds right. What what's Montana again? Billings. Oh yeah, yeah. And um, Idaho is Boise. Yeah. New Mexico. The original Bay. capital of Missouri would have made the list. Okay. What's the capital of Missouri? I don't know that. Well, right now it's Jefferson City, but the original capital was St. Charles. Hmm. Um, what are we missing? Arizona? That's Phoenix, Phoenix. right? Phoenix. Yep. Um, Sacramento. Louisiana is New Orleans. Baton Rouge. Baton Rouge. Yeah. Send it. Um, Baton Rouge. <laughs> Mississippi uh, is Mississippi. Jackson. 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 Florida is Tallahassee. Tallahassee. Oh yeah, Tallahassee. Arkansas. Georgia is Atlanta. I hope. Arkansas is Little is, Rock. Is Little Rock. Yeah. Tennessee is Nashville. Yeah. Kentucky. Mm. Louisville. Uh, Louisville. Okay. Louisville, yeah. Iowa. You put Tallahassee Ames. down? That's why. Yeah, we have there. Tallahassee. Iowa is what? Ames. Ames. Oh, yeah. Colorado is Denver. Yeah. Right? Oh, um, I, thought, I thought Iowa was Des Moines. 
Yeah, the boy. Gloves, yes. Forgot oh, you're right. Room. My roommate was from Ames. Ohio is Columbus. Uh, Indiana is Indianapolis. 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 Chicago um, and Chicago's. You mean Illinois. Illinois is Springfield? We've got that on the list. Yep. Yeah, we do. Michigan. We are in Okay, so now it's the New England states, which are the really confusing ones. New Hampshire is. Um, let's see, what is New Hampshire? Um, we never did think of Vermont's, right? Or West Vermont Virginia. Is, no, we saw yeah. someone said Mont Montpelier. Montpelier for Vermont. For Vermont. And, and West Virginia is. New Hampshire. Um, Virginia. Virgin Hampshire. Virginia's Richmond. Right. Yeah. Connecticut, we already have. Harper. Right. Harper. Okay, so it's Maine, New Jersey. So we, what are we Trenton. missing? Trenton. We got Trenton for New Trenton. Jersey. We have Trenton. Good. I think we I must have it. Trenton. What states have we? Well, we didn't. We don't know West Virginia, right? Is we, it? We missed all the flyover states. <laughs> what was Michigan? I mean, uh, West yeah. Virginia. That's. Yeah, um, Topeka for Kansas. That's flyover territory. Yeah, that's true. Missouri, Missouri is quintessential flyover territory. Oh, Concord. New Hampshire is Concord. Yeah. That's right. West Virginia West. is... Charleston. Something. Is that Charleston? Think, West uh, Virginia? Oh, yeah. Charleston? In West Virginia? Charleston? Is that it? Well, that's not fair. It's confusing because sometimes the largest city oh, is not Honolulu like and Alaska's Anchorage, right? Yeah. Yep. Gosh, Wyoming, I, Wyoming, I can just imagine um, us forgetting those two. Whoa. Yeah. Wyoming is. Uh, no, uh, Alaska. What Alaska is Wyoming? Archen, Archen, Archen. Alaska's Juno. Is it... Yeah, Alaska's. Oh, it's Juno. No, it's Fairbanks. Is it? Oh no, it has to be Juno because yeah. I walked up to it to the government. Yeah, I I walked Juno. It. It's Juno. Juno. It's um, Juno. What's in Fairbanks other than nothing? No, it's a big city, isn't it? Been to Juno. Yeah, but you have to fly into it. Actually, Juno, you do too, or take a boat. We took a boat. Yeah. I, I cruised. Fairbanks, you have to fly into. What, Carl? I said I took a cruise ship to Juno. Yeah, I did too. So did part I. Of that, it's part of that that cruise that goes right in that little area, but I don't remember you know, it being the capital. Yeah, it yeah, seems well, like I that was a small was city. Good. And the, the wonderful. It is a small city. The but I walked up to the of Prince the Rupert. Oh. Did you storm the capital, Janine? Mm hmm. Sarah Palin, remember? I had to. I had already driven up there on Google Maps once, so I knew exactly how to get there. I went. I went salmon fishing in Juneau. Mm. All right, forty-five nice. seconds. We're pretty confident, right? We got it. I think so. You guys are I great. So. I I would never have been able to do this. I didn't. Think I had to I write out the alphabet. It sounded a lot harder. <laughs> it sounded a lot harder. There's probably going to be a lot of tans or close. Well, she didn't say it was pretty easy. Mm -hmm. She's trying not to sink us because we're one point away from winning. Yeah. But if everybody gets a 10. Yeah. I know. Then we're. I don't like it when everybody still gets one ten. point away from first place. Good job, everybody. <laughs> hey, it wasn't as hard as we thought because I was on a team that figured it out. <laughs> we have a record. If I was this is... myself, you guys, that would have been really hard.
But this is the latest we've ever had an out uh, round. So is it late? I can't even it's tell. Oh, it's only two. two in the, it's this two this in the may morning. Be the latest you've ever been, but Gosh, well, yeah, yeah, yes, where is that's it? Two in the morning. morning to eleven in the West Coast. I can't okay. imagine how the people it are answering yeah. this. Oh yeah, it's, uh, yeah. it's, it's a quarter. It's a quarter to two on the East Coast. All yeah. right, we can do you it. You guys ready for the answers? Sure. Yes, yes, please. Please. I'm gonna put Paste them in, in the there. chat. Get in there. They're, oh, they're not in there. And then if you enter. say them. And Richmond, say them too. Virginia, Sacramento, California, Salem, Oregon, Salt Lake City, Utah, Santa Fe, New Mexico, Springfield, Illinois, St. Paul, Minnesota, Tallahassee, Florida, Topeka, Kansas, and Trenton, New Jersey. That looks just like our list. I yeah. bet just, we didn't put them in that order, though. Yeah, we I did. think <laughs> there might be a couple tens coming. I don't think we had Trenton, but one, two, three, four, five. All right. Did we only have two T's? I think, I we think had we Topeka miss, team. I don't think we had Topeka. I yes, think we missed. Yeah, one. we did. We missed St. Oh, Paul, I think. <laughs> yep. Topeka. So I think we had nine like of them. Yeah, I think we got nine. I think we got ten team. Yep. Uh -oh. All right, you guys looked at your list and checked it over twice to find out That's if you've been naughty or nice. This should move us from fifth up into last. <laughs> Good one, Ron. Well, okay, here we go. This, time, this time of the night, my dogs are lobbying you, you, heavily. You got this. Uh, I, I remember so the night. Your dog the dogs you are this, lobbying. Okay, lobbying. we got the real Jane. That's you, Mana. Oh, um, I'm still uh, checking the list against. I get that we have got eight. Am I right? Oh, is it eight? I don't have it written down here. I know we missed St. Paul. We made, we didn't get uh, our answer for Tucson and Wheeling were wrong. Oh, okay. So eight. Eight. All right. All right you're at 28. Hey, we're so not last. Next, we have bad news for the braggart or for braggadocio. Ten. Good job, team. Wow. Oh. And the Tennessee two steps. We had five. Ooh. Oh! Somebody needs to go back and do your geography, your state capitals. Why not? We had lots of state capitals. They just or, missed, we just missed or, the wrong one. You could just stop doing trivia. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is Robin's cat um, team. Odor it, in the court. It, it improved my self image. I'll tell you that. And Ooh. and twenty one. <laughs> young to keep secrets. Are you holding on to your lead? We are. Oh. Ten. Ten. Damn oh, it! By one point. Woo. Damn it! <laughs> Nothing. Um, I don't know why I compete. I'm on everybody's team, but I know you missed some somewhere. There was a killer. I think you got a nine. I got a good slate, folks. Bye. Bye. All right. Bye. 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 When, when did you stop keeping the Susan score in the spreadsheet? I never kept a Susan score. There was a Susan score for a while. Yes, oh, well, you could yeah. go back and figure it out. When I Rob think, gets back, you two can sit and figure it out if you want. But I've I think never that turned into the average, right? <laughs> you never had where a the score. Average is. And there's also <laughs> Naomi you got to consider, too. You know, she's, she's influential. So she's gone now. So. Yeah. So I must have done really good. <laughs> just thank saying you again, Susan. really fun yeah thank you guys thanks Susan. all right everybody i'm gonna go look at the see what's going good on good job here. on the capitals team karen karen do we want to stay in chat for a minute you and me okay you <laughs> yes. were in coffee the other day and you wanted to talk and i said i don't have time right now Okay, I'll try and remember what I want oh, to do. I'll hang in here and listen. <laughs> no, I got to call you because Susan has to go. Oh, okay. Oh, it depends on what it is she's going to tell you. It's so hard for me to have a phone call. We're all sticking around. I'm like, what, what was it? Like right now, I don't, my, my phone reception at my house is shit. Your so dog I can't. has to pee. My dog has to pee. Yeah. What is it you're going to tell her, Karen? She's Something probably very waiting. important. Gossiping about family drama, I think. Uh oh. Oh, I just oh. wanted to tell you what happened when I went to get all my my brother's belongings in L.A. Oh, oh, what happened? I'll tell you another time. We'll have a glass oh. of wine. We'll talk. We'll talk. Oh, we're waiting to hear, Karen. Inqu inquiring minds want to know, Karen. 
Oh, yeah. Gosh, the dog's All right. I heard this story already. I'm going to go to bed. Okay. <laughs> All right, you guys. You keep My robbing me I'll tell you later. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you later. Good night, everybody. Great to see you all. Bye. 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 Bye